And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Air Podcast. It's okay, ladies. You can stare at the screen now. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition, guys. We're joined with eight lovely ladies. Got a lot to talk about tonight. Got two videos to react to. Let's, Let's get go. Right into it. All the night, if I was, did he like? If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious. Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not just what I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's time. All right, and we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Ship Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joining a bunch of lovely ladies. Quick announce before we get right into the show, guys. Number one, catch us on patreon.com slash freshfit. We will have that Zoom call tomorrow. I just got to figure out what time we're going to do it because we're leaving for Texas, guys. So this is going to be the last show of the week for y'all. Yeah. Uh, we leave for Texas on Friday. We're going to be in Dallas, Texas. Guys are going to meet up with a bunch of you guys over there. As you guys know, we hit our goal on Patreon. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, meet up with you guys, you know, do some yeah, meet meet some meet some people, shake some hands, kiss some babies. Dallas, meet I don't up, really man. kiss any babies, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But it's gonna be a meetup, guys. We're excited to meet a bunch of you guys out there. So yeah, it's gonna be great, man. Going back to the great state of Texas. Also, um, <clears throat> check us out on uh, Spotify, Google Now Podcast, every single platform you guys listen to podcasts. We're there. Just make sure you wear headphones. Um, and then also get the Fresh Up Podcast Store uh, merch. Okay, FreshUpPodcastStore.com. Um, it's okay, ladies. You can stare at the screen now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Chris got them all. So, oh shit! <laughs> uh, uh, and then um, also, guys, uh, yeah, get the merch there. I feel like hoodies, t-shirts, all there. Fresherpodcaststore.com. Also, check us out on Fresh Fit Clips, guys, our other YouTube channel. Where we post clips, two clips per day on there, somewhere between two to ten minute clips on there. So if you don't got time to watch a full podcast, go ahead and check out our clips, man. And then also check out the shorts, guys. We gotta get that channel up. To 10K um, at least. Yeah, to 10K at least, man. Fresh Fish Shorts, guys. All the videos there are 60 seconds or below because we got kicked off TikTok. And then, uh, Fresh, you want to tell them about your, I guess, new live stream channel? Yes, guys. So we're going live on the Fresh Mint Seal channel. We did one today with a massage uh, therapist. I know, random as hell. I was getting a massage, talking about dating, lifestyle girls. It's pretty lit. Shout out to Larissa. And uh, yeah, guys, check out for more content on that channel. Uh, we'll do some more live streams earlier uh, and uh, later. And uh, shout out to y'all. Cool. And then check out my other YouTube channel, guys. Um, Feta1811 on that channel. I break down criminal cases for you guys. I did the 42 Doug case. I did the YSL Rico case. Basically a bunch of cases uh, from my prior experience working in law enforcement. So I break it down on a different perspective where I give you kind of an investigator's perspective on how they build gang cases, how they do terrorism cases, how they do robbery, drug cases, etc. All that stuff, guys, if you're more interested in like the crime type stuff. Check it out. I read the court documents with you guys and kind of give you guys an insight as to what your favorite rapper or celebrity is actually looking at when we break down these cases. So check it out. Feta 1811 channels growing pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, check it out. And it, other than that, um, Chris, you want to talk about ladies that want to come on the show? Yep. Send me a DM on Aaron C. Poxon. Make sure uh, if you flake, you asked. Um, and if you fly in from some other state uh, to Miami, make sure you let me know ahead of time. Next year, we don't know what we're doing. I don't know. You know, just make it happen. And other than that, uh, make sure no guys in the studio. Stop asking me. It's not going to happen. Boom. And uh, yeah, let's make it happen. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> um, okay, so let's uh, introduce the lovely ladies on the panel, man. So ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, current dating status, education level, and if you want to, of course, your body count. Your body count. <laughs> I will start. You said kitchen level? <laughs> Education. <laughs> Education level. Oh. I will start right here. Hello. My name is Jules. I'm 21 years old. 21. I am a college student, um, but I also make content on the side. I have a podcast. And... Oh, a podcast? Mm -hmm. What's it about? It's uh, like self-love for women, empowerment for women. Self-care. I love that. Yeah. And I am taking bacon. Okay, she's bacon. funny. Bacon bitch. Does that mean you like bacon or you're taken by a guy? Taken by a guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Oh. All right. Cool. Hello, everyone. My name is Jamisha. I'm 29 years old. Damn, 29. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I know, right? I'm knocking at the door. Um, I'm a program coordinator for the city of West Park. Okay. Slash hairstylist. Um, I got my master's 
Also, what's the next question? A uh, dating status. I am in a relationship. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, what'd you get your master's in? Psychology. Okay. All right. All right. Are you gonna pursue like a PhD and become a psychologist, or you're almost there? Mm, nope. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. That shit trash. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> um, and then where'd you get your uh, master's degree from? I'm a gay at the University of Florida. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Um, and then what? What was your highest education level? Or are you in cool school still? Yeah, I just finished my junior year. Okay. All right. So you're in college still. You're mm-hmm. going to go into your senior. Right. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Hi, my name is Tatiana. Um, I'm 25. Um, I'm a beautician, a model, a bartender at G5, and um. At G5, holy shut shit. Shut the G5. Oh, man. In the oh, building. Lord. Shut the lizard. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, And I'm taking. Okay. Uh, how long have you been in a relationship for? Two years. And what about you? Three. Three? Seven months. Okay. Wow. Oh, all right. That's awesome. Cool. And then uh, education level? A bachelor's. Okay. Where'd yeah. you get your bachelor's from? East Strasburg University. What was that? East Strasburg University. That's in PA. Is it Pennsylvania? Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Is that where you're originally from? No, I'm from New York, but I got recruited for track for years. Okay. She's, right. Right. She's a track star. Hey, she is saw. You what? 5'11? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 5'11? Yeah. 5'10. Yeah. Okay. 5'10. Yeah. All right. Cool. Wait. And then what'd you, what'd you run? Uh, you sprinted or what? No, I'm a high jump, long jump, and triple. Okay. All right. Cool. Mm-hmm. You're 5'10? Mm hmm. God damn. Why? You want to stand up? No. <laughs> Wait, you want to do this battle right now? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> All right, Fresh. Uh, we're going to compare. <laughs> Heights. Uh, Fresh is about to tarnish his height credibility <laughs> here in about five seconds. Let's do it. Um, okay, let's see who is actually taller. Back to back. Oh, oh no, Fresh got her. Okay, so uh, so uh, inch. Yeah. Uh, how about this? Stand back to back, guys. Stand back to back. Stand back to back. All right, cool. And then hit camera seven real quick, Chris. Yeah, that's fine. No, them, All right, and then angles. move a little bit this way, this way, bam, so they can actually see what the hell's going on here. Them angles, it's man. his okay. forehead. Yeah, uh, so yeah, <laughs> Fresh, Fresh taller. is taller. He got her. He got her by like half, by like uh, an inch. <laughs> inch Good <laughs> stuff, my friend. We are still undefeated, man. Yeah. You know, but, Yo, but, all my uh, talkings, <laughs> my talking, uh, 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 if, if not six three, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So, so what, what you say? You're what five ten? Mm-hmm. So there you go. Fresh is like five eleven, six foot, man. There you go, man. For all the haters out there. Dang. God damn it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'm Liv Margaret at Liv Margaret on all social media platforms. Um, I'm 21 years old. I own a cosmetics line, a bathing suits line. Um, I'm a foodie model. Um, <laughs> a, a foodie. A, a foodie I'm model. in college currently. I just take online classes and I'm taken. Okay. With the same guy from before? Yeah. <laughs> now a new one? Not got, the same one. Got got a same new one? <laughs> the streets were tough, huh? <laughs> he said, fuck it, I'm coming back. It was cold. Hey, man, <laughs> that familiar dick, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, And then uh, what are you majoring in? Marketing. Marketing, cool. And then what did, what did you major in? I was communication, television production, and business management. Okay. Oh, and then your psychology, and then what are you majoring in? Psychology. Okay. All right, cool. More useless degrees. Fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, Sheesh. cool. And then uh, what about you? Me, well, yeah. my name, name is Dutch the Duchess, Dutch for short. Mm-hmm. Um, I am a tattoo artist, music artist, graphic designer, muralist, self-employed artist out here in South Florida from Oklahoma City. Cool. I am a traveling tattoo artist, um, more private. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm trying to avoid hitting the edge of this chair right here. But um, yeah, what where did I leave off? I'm okay. 26 years old. Yeah, uh, dating status. I am very single, but I'm grinding. So, um, yeah, by choice, I'm single. Keep okay, okay, clips. I'm grinding. Uh, <laughs> single and grinding. <laughs> okay, um, at 26. Okay, and then, um, are you? Uh, what's your highest edu- education level? Completed? Oh, graduated high school, and I got straight to the money. Okay, okay. all right, yeah, you go. I don't. Yeah. All right. Shout out to y'all, cause y'all different, cause. Yeah. Y'all different. All right, two chains. Right. Cool. <laughs> all right then. Um, and and you're a vegan, right? You. You're... I am very. Okay, so no no so, killing so, animals. You don't wear leather, none of that. No. Hold on. Okay. No. I live in Florida. It's hot. No meat? No, no, no more. Oh, you used to. Yeah, I'm from Oklahoma, the Yo, fast food capital. Don't cap, ma'am. I'm, I promise. No meat. No meat. I'm a chef. I'm like a chef, you know. So no, no, I don't mean that kind of meat. He means penis. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's the only meat I like. So you're not vegan. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you? My name is Laisha. I'm uh-huh. 19 years old. Um, Laisha? Laisha? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's already capping already. <laughs> she got lie. Her name is Laisha. <laughs> she's already capping already. All right. Yeah, I'm 19 years old. I'm a model. Um, highest education level is 
um, high school. And I hope single. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm single by choice. Okay. Are you in college now or no? You're just chilling. Yeah. Yellow. All right. Um, and single by choice. Okay. Is it single and available or single or, or not looking? Not looking. Okay. Independent. Okay. Wait, I think wait. that's the first lie that Laisha has told. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's keep going. Let's I'm gonna put it out there. I, I'm low key looking. Oh, okay. Just a little bit. Just a little okay. bit. Ooh, I'm sure some chat niggas would hope so. <laughs> I, it, it always amazes me how girls say like, "Oh yeah, single, but I had a choice." Well, you know what? I, I haven't smashed in three years, and you know I'm celibate by no, choice. I got options, choice. But no. it's a single AF. Mean. Yeah, but not the options you want though. True. Uh, <laughs> True. All right, cool. So uh, I think yeah, we're we'll covering her. Um, what about you? Yep, your turn. Okay. Um, my name is Leah. I'm 20 years old. I'm a model and I do marketing and I manage OnlyFans for other girls. And I'm pursuing a music career. All right. And, Are you um, a single relationship? Single. Okay. Right she had to say that for a it. second. Uh, uh, if you have a sugar yeah, dad, you can uh, say that too. No problem. I'm single for now. Oh, okay. shit. Okay. For now. So she's on a break with her guy right now, probably. Or he fucked up. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. And then uh, what's your highest education level completed? Are you in college right now? I am a freshman at Arizona State University. I do programming. Oh, shit. So Sun Devils. You do programming? Com- computer science. You like it? Yeah. That shit's trash. Not <laughs> as funny. It's, I do like the coding is actually kind of fun. Okay. So you hold on. You code full time? No. I took a break because I have to like. Oh, you took a break. Out each but i no but i'm going back this summer so okay yeah yo all right so you got coding there. degree bro you're like yeah i'm about to be a coder you realize what it is you're from computer all day right googling code is like bruh yeah it's not fun and you're the probably the only girl in there right um there's other girls but there are boys but there's not a lot that's actually a lot of girls i'm surprised really Over up? what's the breakdown like what 20 percent 10 normally um, coding like, is like 90 percent guys I like 200 students and i'll see like about 70 girl names and like the rest boys mm. oh like okay a that's, a, that's a change it's like almost damn near uh, you said 270 are girls no like uh in total there'd be like 270 people and i'll see like 80 girls and then the rest the boys it's like almost a third kind of all right that's, that's not bad big. yeah well that goes to show what i said before women girls entering, dominate college campuses yeah, college, now yeah. like almost 70 percent of college campuses are women you know what i'm saying so yeah, it's changing. Independence. Yeah, it's, it's changing. There we bro. go. Um, only, yeah. and, and AS, you said ASU, yeah. Sun Devils. I'm only doing coding, so when I own like a business for that, um, for that, I want to be hands on, so I know what I'm doing. Okay. So no one can ever like play me. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. okay. All right. I'm sure no one is gonna play you when you manage their only fans <laughs> accounts. Uh, okay. Well, imagine it. What about what about you? Well, my name is Addy. I'm uh-huh. 21. Send me to Addy. I'm coming to you. <laughs> What? That's pretty funny, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm a medical receptionist at a doctor's office. Wait, medical. medical. Chris, your mic is muted. I uh, know. Thank okay. you, Mo. And uh, I go to school for dental, assisting, then probably going into hygiene. And I'm want to start YouTube. Okay. Soon. So you're you're in college right now? You said or in school? Trade school? I'm in. I'm in college. Oh, you're in college. Okay. So, uh, and you, you said you're what? So you're probably what a sophomore or junior at this point. No, I'm doing dental assisting first, then going into hygiene. So right now I'm getting the certificate. So it's just college, just a regular college class. Okay. And then you graduate and then I'm going into college for three more years. Okay. Okay. And you, and you want to get my passion. Do you eventually want to become a dentist in the future or? Um, a dental hygienist. Not okay, a, dental hygienist. Does a dental yeah. hygienist require a bachelor's degree nowadays? No, I think you just gotta well, bachelor's, bachelor's or licensed, licensed. I think you well, just gotta be licensed. I will but say, you do have to go to school for three years, and you do have to have a bachelor's degree. I will oh, say you'll okay. be a great ambassador. A bachelor's degree? Wait, okay. Oh, yeah, you don't know? I think. Well, yeah, yeah. I will say about her, she will be a great ambassador because her teeth are really white. Yeah, super white. Mm-hmm. Are, are are they uh, veneers or are they real? They've been years. Yeah. Oh, never mind. It's Miami. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, I mean, it's I did dental hygienist before. Hey, you get learned a lot of like you know game on you know taking care of your teeth and shit. I learned a bunch and of stuff hygiene. from her. Yeah, yeah, for your mouth. So, all right, cool. So, uh, it looks to me like pretty much everyone here is either in school or graduated, and then we have one person it. that uh, finished high school. So, and then everyone here is single or no? Excuse me, half of y'all are single. It looks like, and half of y'all are not. You're oh yeah, single, you're single. Okay. <laughs> 
So yes. okay. So half and half. Very interesting panel. Single AF. Okay, yeah, come single on, AF. Single. And it's that. What was that? Oh, I said, come on, single. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like... okay. Fantastic. Um, all right, so I'll read some of these chats real quick. All right, Myron's hair follicles goes, uh, and it says gone. <laughs> uh, Myron, on behalf of what's left of us, I want to say thank you for cutting at the after hours to three times a week. I got you, my friend. Uh, it was tough. And that was all there from South Africa. ER, five bucks goes, YouTuber Tech Lead got fired from Facebook for misogyny for tweets saying mothers shouldn't code because it's a time-consuming job. You have wow. a response to that? They said that mothers shouldn't code? Yes. I'm not a mother. <laughs> no, no, but in general, like he tweeted, mothers shouldn't code because it's time consuming, you know, for their time. Agree, disagree. Oh, he I got get fired. what you're saying. Cause um you have to be at the computer like honestly the whole day. That's why I asked you, like, <sighs> do you like coding? Because bruh, that shit's gonna yeah, be trash. Yeah, but um my class, like since it's like like five hours, like I discipline myself and I just do like every day. So I don't have to do it all in one day. Okay. I like separate. All right. If you like it, you like it. Uh, oh, no. We got purple hair on the panel tonight. Hold on tight, my fellow follicles. This could be rough. That's from Myron's hair follicles. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, is it a red flag when a girl has tattoos? No, it's not. If it's too many, mm, it, it depends. Might, it might be. If it depends. she had a nice one on her chest that says gangster, then yeah, you might get you a hood chick. How about like, a trap stamp? You need a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering, like, because it's a lot of pain to go through to get tattoos, right? If they're heavy handed, they call me feather fingers. Oh Ooh. shit! Or to get them removed is really painful. Oh, to get them removed is is ten times worse. I you got a tattoo. Speaking removed? of removed, oh, I'm getting all mine removed. Oh, oh wow. shit! Wow. Why? Mm. Just throw the whole hand away. I like <laughs> wanted them, and then I just decided I don't. I like them, but I don't think I'm gonna want them when I'm like forty. Okay. So, and which ones are you getting removed exactly? All of them. All of them. Okay. What what is that? You got like a cross on your hand or something? No, it's Lana Del Rey lyrics. Oh, <laughs> Lana Del Rey lyrics. Bruh, I no wonder. Yeah. Gay. I would want to get those removed too. What did the lyrics say? Happiness is a butterfly. Every day is a lullaby. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay. And then what else? Uh, what's the other tattoo? Know. Um, there is like it's a quote from a book, and then I have. What's the quote say? It is safe to be powerful. Okay. And then. Just like symbols from and water is wet. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. and then what else? Um, I oh, I have like that a third eye before. that I. What was that? A third oh, eye yeah. tattoo. Oh, uh, okay. That I I used to draw it a lot when I was a kid. Okay. And then I have like a star and a moon because I like space. Okay. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> why not get them covered up though? Like it's gonna be more cost costly and more painful just to even get them removed. You're really like paying. Damn near 20 times more just to I get... think she doesn't want tattoos at all. I think yeah. is the thing. Yeah. That's I'm like an all or nothing oh, kind of girl. person. So I was yeah. I really wanted them and so, then I really didn't. Quick question for you. Out of guys and girls, who gets more tattoos, in your opinion? <sighs> My ladies. Ladies? Because okay. they can take pain more. Mm. Interesting. No, okay. I got much free time. I have a theory. About <laughs> no, that. I'm mobile, so I, you know, I'm just very, you know, convenient. Okay, interesting. We got three diglets. Three diglets, fifty bucks. Okay. Shout out to you, bro. Um, Fresh BBC. It's it's actually rare nowadays if you don't have tattoos. Yeah, if you don't have tattoos. Girls, like, yeah, no, no tattoos on me. Yeah, I got one though down below. I got none. I'm so scared. Oh, you don't have any either. <laughs> no. Yeah, one same. big one right here. That was my first one. Oh damn. Yeah. Well, no, I was kidding. I don't have any tattoos. I meant something something else. I got you. All right, fresh is BBC. Fresh, I'm gonna need the tall black shorty with the long hair for tonight. She looked like she know how to throw it back, and she actually looks like someone who can handle me. Make it happen, my brother, because I will have mine. Period. What the That's Fresh's dick uh, shooting a shot at you. Do you have anything you want to say back to Fresh's oh, dick? dick? I'm good. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> this nigga, bro. Uh, dick Maximus. Holy 304, Bat Myron, that ninja Chris let the Joker's side chick in y'all studio. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh Summer Justice League. She looks scarier than the Heath Ledger RP. Anything you want to say back to him? I'm a Marvel DC fan. If they want to put me on, baby, make sure you come and see me because you started it. Okay. Y'all come, come hire me. Okay. Marvel DC. All right. All right. Myron have Dollface and the Indian chick from Fresh's Lab earlier help you free Vibes Cartel and laws are similar. Okay. The laws are similar. All right. Homie Clicks, 100 bucks. Hypothetically, for the ladies, we have two finalists who are going on the cover of Vogue this coming month. It's you in shape for Yumi new fit, you unfit. She beats you for the cover. How do you respond to that? She beats you because social construct and gynocentric society. Mm -hmm. Bro, what? That. Who understood that? Home clicks. What are you saying, bro? <laughs> uh, I think we got to figure out who this girl is. Yumi, right, Chris, Chris will be in the back Googling who these chicks are. Okay. Um, H goes, hey, thanks so much for that, by the way. You get a Don DeMarco for that, my friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, then we got uh, H, uh, 10 bucks goes, hey yo, shout out to Fresh Fit and the whole damn squad. Question for the panel, would you rather eat lightning, cable, or 10 feet left pinky toenails? What? Get your energy over 9,000 BBC, gang. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Uh, let's fucking go. What? Bro, uh, what are these questions, about, bro? It's uh, this girl from, uh, remember, uh, Jordan Pearson? The, oh, yeah, the this, girl from the, the um, yeah, the big yeah, girl. But what's the question? What was it again? It's like, would you? There you go. Oh, because she's thick and she's on the cover or something? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah she yeah. made the cover of Sports Illustrated uh, go, Swimsuit girl. Edition. How do you respond to that? She, you go, girl. Like, how, what up? I don't know. Okay, this is the question. So basically, now it makes sense. He's asking, let's say you're in shape, right, and you're a model, and you comp you're competing with her for the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit, which for some of you guys, you guys are all pretty young. You might not know. Sports Illustrated Swimsuit is, like, very coveted. Like, a lot of models, like, really, you know, if you can get on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, you're fucking somebody. Or if you can get featured in that magazine. You bust your ass, you go to the gym, you train, you get in good shape, you diet, etc. And then you lose it. To this chick right here. Can we pull that up, Chris, real yeah. quick? Sure we can. Yeah. Uh, how, what would be your response? If we could start here and then work our way back. Um, yeah, this is the chick that you lose to. How would that make you feel? She's beautiful. You think she's beautiful either way? Yeah. She is. There's something wrong with her. What? Okay. Uh, what about you? What's your thoughts what on that? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Sports Illustrated. That's all I have to say. Go, man, say it with your chest. What you want to say? It's say it. Sports. This is a fresher fit. You don't got to be all politically correct and worried. Keep it's it real. We're controversial <laughs> in the first place. Keep it real. Um, She's beautiful, but if you're like trying to be athletic, you know. <laughs> I, I hope you guys are. I hope you guys are taking notes on the girls' responses. I'm, I'm, this is very interesting for you guys to see. Hmm. All right. What about you? What's your thoughts on that? You bust your ass, you diet it down, and you lose to her. What's your thoughts? I mean, if those were the requirements and she won, then but the sports, I would want to know what she did to, you know. Or who she did. Yeah. Well, if you look at it, Sports Illustrated, historically, it's been women that are in shape. But this year, they decided to pick her. What's what's that going to make you say when you trained? I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know. Like, I, w I would want to know what she did. Or who. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Okay. What about you, Ms. Vegan? I mean, if she won, you go, girl. But I mean, it obviously wasn't my my time, my my place to be there. And obviously, they was looking for a beautiful, thick, thicker woman. I mean, shit, I would have put on the front of my magazine too. <laughs> so would. All right. Okay. I mean, it's a different look. She's beautiful. Interesting, Chris. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, I think they're trying to be more like body inclusive. You know, like. I saw Kim Kardashian was on the front of it as well. Like, she obviously has, like, surgery. So, you know, they're trying to be more inclusive with... Okay, but what's your answer after you busted your ass to train and get to a certain look and then you lose to that? What's your thoughts? Well, I'd probably be upset, but not because of the way she looks, you know, more so because I didn't win. Because anyone... Stop being... the cap. I mean, no, that's true, but... Um... Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad. What are your thoughts? Um, I'll be annoyed. Like, I feel like they only March. probably picked her because of the simple fact that they're probably getting backlash for not using bigger girls. Like, okay. so they just, you know, picked a bigger girl to put on to like save themselves. But in real, realistically, like that's not what you guys normally go for. So, but I mean, it is what it is. Okay. okay. Keeping it 100. Mm -hmm. She holding back, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm holding. Yeah, she holding back, but low key, I be mad as hell. First of all, like, wasting my time. Sheesh. I could be eating a cheeseburger because I like hey burgers and fries. Yeah. And then y'all just I busting my ass and do all this, and you gonna tell me you are gonna put thick thick girl on there? That's fine. You look good, but still, I be mad as hell. I know how much I put in time, so for me not to get it, I'm like, damn. Keeping it one thousand. Yeah, I tried it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think you can't look at a picture of someone and decide that you know or like really know what kind of lifestyle she has necessarily you don't know if maybe she's a bikini competitor and on her off season so i think i don't know if you can't necessarily just decide that you know somebody doesn't deserve to be on the cover um when maybe she is a really healthy happy person and represents what that brand wants to represent yeah sexiness yeah. so i mean she's she's sexy to someone probably a lot of people and maybe not you, you know, but she's serving face though. Yeah, she yeah. looks good. Give it up. She she's serving beautiful. the face. Mm -hmm. The other girl probably wasn't even serving Sorry. face. I love that she ain't got no surgeries, none of that. But still, confident. I work beautiful. my ass off, and I ain't get down. No. Right. 
She was probably bigger. She needs lipo. Man. man. Oh. All right. <laughs> this was fantastic to see the girls' responses. And here's the thing, man. You guys literally, all you did was, you triggered my trap card. Here's our point that we say all the time. Women can't tell each other the fucking truth, bro. <laughs> they really can't. I mean, you kind of, you kept this uh, so, somewhat real. But the, truth. The, the reality is, is that she's overweight. She's obese. It's, it's not attractive to a majority of men. And it's man. Sports Sorry. Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Mm -hmm. That's unacceptable. There's got to be a standard to some degree, you know? And I get it. Oh, my God, that's shallow. Well, guess what? You're on the cover of a sports magazine that's designed to go ahead and elicit the attention of men. You got to be shallow to some degree. So it's like, bro, and I don't know a lot of you ladies are like, oh, my God, she's beautiful. <sighs> But you know, some men think that's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, so, no. so, I mean, <laughs> to be can, honest. Can't be Here's the sure. thing. But I always say guys are going to call what's beautiful based on what's available to them. Mm. A lot of guys cope. Mm. So, for example, you take a man that has some options or whatever may be is an attractive guy. He's going to stop fucking fat bitches pretty soon. I promise you. <laughs> yep. This is true. You that know what I'm true. saying? Once you have access to bad chicks, you start smashing bad chicks. If you put a girl that's a nine, that's in shape, that's attractive versus a woman that's obese to the side, and the guy has the option, nine out of 10 times he's gonna take the more attractive girl that's in shape. It's just that a lot of people sit there and cope with their inability to have certain types of caliber of women or options or whatever it is. Oh, I like fat girls. Bro, stop fucking lying. You like fat girls because that's what you can attract right now. If you give him, leave a man his own device and you can put a bad bitch in front of him that's in shape or a fat girl, nine out of 10 times, he's gonna pick that bad chick. Maybe on a slow Tuesday, he'll take the fat chick. But in general, they're going to go with the more fit chick every single time. That's like, true. attraction isn't a choice. There's certain things that men are hardwired to look for, just like you guys like a man that's tall. Men like a woman that isn't necessarily fat. This is true. So it's just that we live in a crazy clown world now where we lie to women and tell them, oh, bodies, body positivity, no matter how you look, you should be accepted. That's bullshit, bro. Like, if I'm a fat dude, like, girls are not going to like me. And I'm okay with that. Like, I've made my bed. It's time to sleep in it. I ate too many calories. Now I'm fat. But why is that when a girl's fat, no one wants to say anything about that? They don't want to hurt feelings. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then, Go ahead. I feel like, too, like, people will probably think you hating, like, oh, she's a yeah. hater. Like, That's true. Or, like, if she's pretty, but she's fat, oh, she's hating. She thinks she's all that. She's conceited. Da, da, da. Like, you start getting mad back. The well, fact is fact. If she's obese, she's obese. Mm -hmm. There's no yeah. way around that. But Which people, she is. Some people can't handle the truth, so you just leave them be, like. Yeah. I mean, I just found it very funny how the girls' answers were all tailored to be politically correct and not be offensive. Whereas, like, with the guys, it's like, no, you're fat as fuck. And I've, and I've said this before. I've given this scenario a lot of time. Women aren't honest with each other. Like, if you're out going out with your girlfriends, right? Let, let's say Dream World. Get ready for the club, right? And your homegirl comes out. She's wearing a white dress. And she hasn't been going to the gym. And she's looking a little chunky. But you guys are trying to go to Club Live. And you know they have a strict policy. And they don't let fat bitches in. Look, you already laugh Because yeah. you know what time it is. You go to certain clubs. They're not going to allow certain girls in. You ain't going to look at her like, yo, what the fuck? You fat as shit. You need to change. What you're going to do is you're going to say, yo, I got a black dress that fits great. Try it on. You're going to look great. Bam. You ain't going to tell her you fat bitch. Or, you, or you're not going to tell her, you know, you're fat, whatever. She's going to fight your ass. She's gonna, you, she, oh, my God. Oh my feelings. Like, she's going to start crying if you do that shit. Right? But us, guys, me, Fresh Chris, we're getting ready. Mo comes out. Looking fat as fuck. Like, nigga, you fat as shit. What the hell? You look like you got a picnic table shirt on. See, blah, blah, blah. Joking no, way. no, no, no. E e even if you were serious, it, it is what it like. Guys like are OK with pointing out our flaws and making fun of each other. Right. Matter of fact, you will be made fun about it for decades as a man. But with women, y'all y'all can't tell each other the truth. We can, though. So I found it very interesting that the, the difference, because I already knew what was going to happen when I asked you guys this question. I saw all of you get, oh, this is uncomfortable. What do I say? Oh, my God, I'm on a big platform. I can't make it for the fat girls. OK, uh, she's beautiful. Well, I would say she asked the question, she what did you do to get there? <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Yeah. And then she kind of... Uh, she skirted it. It's yeah. because so, I don't yeah. like to be like a hypocrite. Because like, what if one of us were to get pregnant and we just get fat? And now we look I like her. And I used to be a girl. So I like girl, to like, so. not contradict myself. So I like to think... But being fat is a choice. That's true. Because you can, cause you're being lazy, to be honest. You choose yeah. every morsel of food that goes in your mouth. No, <laughs> do. Well, you can be genetically fat. fat. Team vegan. Yeah, some people are genetically <laughs> is. Bro, show me genetically fat people in Africa. I'll wait. There's no no. Th there's no genetically fat. It's you either in a calorie deficit, calorie surplus. Do you go to the gym? Do you exercise? Do you eat well? That's more Western propaganda. I'm big boned. I'm thyroid. Blah blah blah. No, bro. No You're just fat up. and lazy. Carmen eat well. Go to the gym and you will lose weight. I promise you. Calorie deficit. It's science. You can't you can't argue science. Eating a calorie deficit, you're gonna lose weight. Can I ask something? 
Somebody else? I saw someone's hand go up. Oh, oh no. go ahead. I think though that in our society we have these ideals of like the epitome of fitness and maybe you're kind of trying to say that sports illustrated should represent that ideal but in reality we know if you really like look at the reality of a bikini competitor or bodybuilders they're not necessarily following the healthiest practices so maybe like sports illustrated could have been trying to encompass a more realistic vision of health and maybe your truth is that she shouldn't be on the cover but maybe their truth is that like this is an example of a healthy woman not like this is an example of the most attractive woman so i disagree with you on a few things here number one there's no such thing as your truth my truth there's just one truth okay whether you choose to accept it or not is up to you but the truth is not subjective it's objective one plus one is two i can't sit here and be like my truth is it's one plus one is three no that, that's <laughs> that's that's just some bullshit. So there's only one truth, number one. Number two, as far as like health goes and everything else like that, as soon as you want to compete for Sports Illustrated swimsuit, swimsuit Edition, you have to start to forfeit certain things. You're going to be on the cover of a magazine seen by millions upon millions of people, okay? So being average is not acceptable. You need to be exceptional. And sometimes you have to do exceptional things to become exceptional, which what might mean you might have to be a little bit uncomfortable. You have to diet down to a point where you don't feel so good. You might have to train extra hard in the gym. You might have to restrict your calories to a point where you're not necessarily comfortable. This is called competing. This is called competition. It's called being not being comfortable. So putting a woman on here that looks like every other chick, quite frankly, in my opinion, is stupid because people should strive to want to be better. Now, Am I going to sit here and lie to y'all and tell you like, oh yeah, bodybuilders are the most healthy people and people that come penis swimsuit editions are the most healthy. No, they're not. They're not. But, 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 but to put someone like that on the cover of a magazine that is supposed to be um, geared towards showing female aesthetics, it, it's unacceptable. You know, you don't see guys on the cover of muscle and fitness fat as fuck. You know, it's only with women do we coddle them and let them get away with being uh, gluttonous. It's ridiculous, you know? I look at it like a woman that is fat is the equivalent to a guy that's broke. It's just not acceptable. And also, you could save somebody's life. What if she gets two cheeseburgers away from di dying from diabetes? Mm -hmm. okay. You know? And Never what know. if she did lose weight, but it's still technically big, but she lost a lot of weight and it's a lot of skin? Then what? Well, that's her fault because if you lose weight slow and systematically, you're going you're gonna to reduce... Um, excess skin to mm -hmm. some degree you're going to mitigate yeah, it yeah, you can work or, or you could have okay, just not yeah. been a fat fuck in the first place and not had the let loose skin that works too you know at some point we got to have no, accountability no. ladies only in the united right. states do we sit here and coddle fat people mm -hmm. it's crazy to me how we just sit here and coddle fat people it's, it's unacceptable to be fat yeah. it says a lot and here's the thing about being fat it says a lot about your personality says a lot about your character and it says one big thing about you you don't have fucking discipline and self-control. Exactly. One more. Trigger. That's nothing to be admired of. You don't put normal people on a on a on a magazine like that because she does have an average woman's physique, which is terrible because the average woman nowadays is obese. Uh -huh. well, over fifty percent of women now are uh, technically obese. Oh really? Yeah, the average woman is about five foot three hundred seventy pounds. Oh, I didn't know. That. Yeah, these chicks are bigger than dudes. <laughs> it's crazy to me, man. And we only say this shit here in the United States. You go to anywhere else, any other country, even Europe, where food is abundant, they don't have as many fat people as we do. We have the highest obesity rate in the world. There you go. Any comment? I don't know. I think that like, this sure. idea that being fat is unacceptable is an opinion rather than like a truth because you don't know what people's circumstances are, like what they've been going through. What if they just were diagnosed with cancer and they went through therapy, they didn't have time to prioritize their health and they gained weight in that process. Like, is that unacceptable? Well, Here's I mean, the thing. Oh. I mean, I've never met a fat person that has cancer, but um, I have. Okay. But here's the thing. That's an extreme example. I'm talking about an able-bodied, healthy person that is, uh, you know, that's in going through life. Not like we can't use extreme examples to try to demonstrate a point here. Obviously, there's going to be exceptions to the rule. But if you're able-bodied, healthy, etc., and you're just a fat piece of shit because you don't want to exercise, that's a problem. But how do we know? Like, do we really know if all these strangers we see are able-bodied? Do we really know what the behind the scenes of their lives are or even just the, the personal things they're going through does it really affect you so much if somebody else is overweight you know here's the thing if you want to be fat cool but that does not mean that society should accept your poor decisions <coughs> as as acceptable True. like if i if i drink alcohol all day and i was an alcoholic that's my fucking problem i'm not going to sit around and start to tell people it's cool to drink alcohol every single day no it's not okay to be fat it's not okay to be an alcohol it's not to be okay to be a drug user and being fat is like the equivalent to almost being a drug dealer. You have an issue. You have an addiction to food. You have an, you have zero discipline. It's very similar to being a, a drug addict. But 
we sit there and we, oh my God, yeah, you're so strong. You're so powerful. Oh my God, you're fat. Yeah. Oh, love your body. No, that's ridiculous. I think it's just a bad precedent to set. You know, we got more fat kids in the United States now than ever before I too, which is not good. So, I mean. I think there's like a difference. I can hear where you're coming from. Yeah. I just think there's a difference between criticizing people mm -hmm. and promoting healthy habits. And I think that there's a fine line when it comes to like judging people for their decisions and trying to encourage them to get on a path that supports them being happier and being healthier. You know, like, I don't think it has to come from this place of criticism. No, it has to, because human beings are inherently lazy. You have to shame people for them to change sometimes. A lot of the times, actually. Shame is a big deterrent on bad behavior. So you, you need to shame people. I, I think it's a fantastic way to keep order. Think yeah. about it. Like that's true, though. That's it it, it, it like, helps yeah. me get to where I'm at right now. Yeah. I used to get bullied. I used to get. I got locked under here. Growing up in Oklahoma, that was not popular. Oh, I was glad I got shame. I think bullying is fantastic. It, it's, yeah. it's it's because children are honest. Mm -hmm. Children don't lie. Children tell each other what it really is. That's facts. I'm a product of bullying. I got bullied, but guess what? It motivated me to do better. Showed Giving people knows. participation trophies and you 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 Curse. participated. Congratulations to you. This is fuckery. That's not how the world mm -hmm. works. Everyone is competing whether they want to accept it or not. Inadvertently or advertently, it, it doesn't matter. Everyone's competing to a degree. So for us to sit here and give everyone a participation trophy or you're okay the way that you are, et cetera, we're, and we're enforcing mediocrity. I don't think that's cool. I think that's, that's bad. I think we need to have life. In life, there's losers, there's winners. But in the United States, we love to say everyone's a winner. No such thing. For just for participating. You guys watch that show, you know something? Uh, Big Mom? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just think Please. maybe it's more effective to not tell people like you are bad, but this behavior isn't serving you. Like you don't have to say like you as a person are bad because of your decisions, but well, your decisions aren't serving you into becoming the best version of yourself. It doesn't have to, there's a difference between like shame and accountability. Sometimes you have to make people feel the yeah. pain of shame for them to understand the accountability. That's well, what you about can't, all you can't get to you can't get like if you want to arrive at five you got to go one two three four five you can't go mm -hmm. one eh, i don't feel like doing two three eh, let's take a day off all right maybe four and then get to five it's like one two three four five the shame right creates the stimulus for change once you create the stimulus for change now it's like okay i need to be accountable for my bad decisions i'm going to actually enact on it and then bam it works in a nice trajectory like that a lot of times when people are or, you know, make a commitment to change. It comes from being shamed. It comes from being made fun of. It comes from being bullied. It doesn't matter what the stimuli is. Is the fact is that it needs it, the stimuli needs to be strong enough to stimulate change. The problem is that we don't stimulate people enough. Is my thing. Breakups. Yeah. Lovely. Let's move on. Now. Well, hold on. Did you did you have some? Oh. oh. Go, girl. Yeah. I was going to say, like you say, bullying like helps. So what about all the kids who commit suicide and like do mass school shooting? And that's Twitch. Yeah, you're going to kill oh, Twitch? Oh, yeah, let's switch off of that. Uh, there yeah, we yeah. go. Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. Kill, go ahead. Kill Twitch and everything else like that. Go ahead. Remove. Um, here's the thing. I get it. Like, oh, my God, bullying causes uh, this stuff, whatever. For every person that like, you know, t takes an extreme route where they're going to go and hurt other people because they got bullied or whatever, I guarantee you there's probably a bunch of other people that took that bullying, took that constructive criticism and made the right moves with it. Right. They said, OK, you know, what? I do need to go to the gym or damn, maybe I do need to get my shit together or damn, you have to tell people the truth. You can't lie to them because if you coddle people enough, oh, my God, it's OK, it's fine, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to have the impetus to, to improve. Mm -hmm. You know, the difference is this. With men, I've come to realize you have to be honest and you have to tell them the truth because their reality is reinforced by their bad decisions. If I'm a loser and I live with my mom and I don't get no pussy, well, it's because I'm a loser. I'm constantly reminded every day that I'm a loser because I don't get girls, my peers don't respect me, whatever. But we got fat chicks on here, right? To, oh, I still get attention from men. Oh, I'm on the cover of Sports Illustrated. What incentive is there to improve when you're getting everything that you should not be getting, honestly, from competing? Like, I mean, what incentive is there to improve? True. Very true. Are, we all got it? Awesome. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> you have anything else? I want to make sure that everybody gets their point off before we move on. Yeah, I mean, I just think that, like, that's if they want to improve, like, that's just a personal thing that they will encounter. Like, maybe us deciding someone else needs to improve doesn't necessarily mean that like someone wants to improve and it's you know so then it goes I, in the category of being bad you know you know you're killing yourself so you're gonna still kill yourself if your friends family you can watch them die watch yeah. them that proves your don't. point though i mean i think at it's a certain scary. point you just have to like let people tough love is live, the best love even if you don't agree with no 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 style. i'm not saying that we need to like you know put 
like, you know, let's tax fat people and like put, it'll get them dead. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that for every action, there's a reaction. So if you make this decision, you got to be okay with the consequences, which you're going to lose respect in society. People are going to make fun of you, whatever. And if you decide to still stay fat, fine, that's cool. You've made peace with that. But I should not have to sit there and change. We should not change societal norms for people that can't exercise discipline. People that are mediocre should not be rewarded for their mediocrity. We should reward people that are actually taking initiative and making change and being positive influences versus fat people who are not. That's that's my thing. Is I think I think you can make your decisions, but be prepared to deal with the consequences of your decision. Anything? <clears throat> they mostly just do it for money. Uh huh. What's that? Like I think Victoria's Secret. So they were like everyone was so used to them having skinny models that people wanted to like boycott their products. So they started promoting like thicker women. Like some people, like some company, just do it for money. Like even though they know they like, should have made the cut, they just gonna promote them anyway. When so you lie, can't... women buy. Yeah. I've always said that. When you lie, women buy. Women are easier to sell to. So you 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 don't make money from women telling them the truth. You make money from men telling them the truth. But when you, because you got to be honest with them, because if you tell a guy, listen, bro, you could be a bum and get girls, that ain't going to work. You a king. You you a king. It's not going to work. He's not going to get no chicks. You have to tell him, stop being a fucking loser. But women, it's like, oh, you know what? We can lie to them. You a queen. Women prefer comforting lies over painful truths is what I've come to realize. So, but yeah, I agree with you. I think it's a marketing tactic because it's, you know, with women, you got to lie to them to sell. So anything else before we move on? All right, cool. Uh, All right. Um, We got here. H, 10 bucks. Ayo, shout out to Fresh uh, Fit and the whole damn squad. Q pe- panel, would you rather eat lightning cable or... T- we, yeah, I think we read this one yeah, before. Yeah, we read that one. Chris? Yeah. Uh, official rating, Miss Ponytail is looking wifey status. Take notes, ladies. You want to drop your IG <laughs> for them? two. Ponytail? There's two ponytails, so I'm confused. Uh, the one next to mine, probably. Because... Me? The, the, yeah. <laughs> Baby with two A's, Addy with two I's. Okay. Send your dick pics, guys. Unless you're no. from the UK. <laughs> uh, Cardi Bands, two bucks. Security in Texas. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Do Shout out to security. Oh, do you mean? Um, I think he means a shooting. Uh, no, for the meetup. No, for the meetup. No. Oh, uh, okay. We will we'll address that. Don't worry. Uh, the chosen one. We got Erica by in the middle. These guys, bro. Wow. Well, right. well, well. <laughs> Quick question for uh, first whip. Should I buy uh, in a full or finance it? If I got the paper, I'm trying to get hit at 800 credit score. Uh, yo, finance it, bro. Build your credit up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hit me up for a Dallas meetup, Roderick. It's free, guys. That's from Rod Eric. Okay. So I have a temper. Ladies, remember winning the argument but losing the debate is a L. Control your emotions. No, nah, man, it's fine. We just have a discussion. Uh, need juice. If Rod Wave stopped making music, I would fall off and double my criminal record. Wow. Okay. okay. And that's from Need Juice. Kill a scoot. How to get in contact with Rod Eric for Dallas? Hit him up, guys. He just put his Instagram in there. Her grandma looking for her church. That hat right now who what <laughs> okay myron's forehead vein myron please summon me not yet uh yo purple haze are you ready to get smoked asking for a friend am i smoking purple haze? that's from zotes j i don't know what he means is that a uh hit I, I i don't know like was that a, a sex joke like let me know is he, he's <laughs> trying probably. to get, get at you probably yeah he's probably trying to get at you that wasn't sexy though <laughs> All right, Alan Alik, chick next to fresh looking like the hunchback Quas- Quasimodo and chicken green looking like Norbit. Sheesh. Do you have anything you want to say back to him? <laughs> I'm going to need ice for that burn. Wait, okay, okay I'm in green. <laughs> oh, I love you. All right, she loves you. Uh, we got the only attractive chicks on the panel is the chocolate ones. Plus, chocolate is good for me, my system, especially dark chocolate. Yum. It's good. And that's from Spider Man. Okay, Spider Man. Ready for Myron's left. Oh, he's giving you a 10. Okay. Me? Simp. Okay. Yeah, I hate liberals. He goes, Mars left 10, oh my God. 6, 5, 5, 5, five 7, 7, 5, 5. And then 5's all for the last three. Uh, 7 and then 5, 5. So he gave you a 7 and then, wait. Nope. 5's and then 7. So any of you guys got anything you want to say back to I hate liberals? The vibes. I, I see the cup as I'm a million. of half four though. I need to see a picture. No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's a two. Your dad likes me. Let me see a picture. You're, what'd you say? His dad likes men? No, his dad likes me. Okay. Okay. All right. Ooh. His dad. Your dad likes her. I, I'm gonna put a dollar in that buff nigga stong at Sizzle Miami for the squad. Oh wow. <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. That's a whole other. Do you guys think RP would be used in court? No. 
Question for ladies on the panel. What is your favorite sex position? Oh, <laughs> Are we going to go around the table on that one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Might as well. Then we'll start dead. here. We'll start here. Because you started last time. I don't one leg share up. that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like to be on top. On top? Mm-hmm. Wait, what, what was yours? I'm just going to keep that one to myself. Missionary? Er- no. Yeah. Oh, Wait, she likes on. doggy style. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about you? Um. Oh fuck the nigga. <laughs> what? Oh okay. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> nah. Um. Probably like I'm lazy, so I'd rather lay on my stomach. <laughs> oh, on your stomach. Okay. All right. So, what about you? I guess on top. Okay. All right. One leg up. Right hand on front of. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Does so okay. much work. You mean like? I like to do acrobat. I don't know. I Pile like driving. To switch it up. All right, pal driver. I don't have a favorite one. I'm always spontaneous. I don't know. Thank you. All right, lovely. What about you? From the side. Okay. Oh yeah, in the morning when you wake up on the side. Oh, good <laughs> morning. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm basically on the side, but he's up. Hmm. He's up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then what about you? Everything. That's not very hygienic. <laughs> not hygienic. <laughs> we wasn't trying to be hygienic right there. Just oh, everything? everything. Man, none of the girls said missionary. <laughs> We're all going to hell. All right, shout out to so- <laughs> Saucecast. I got the question from one of his recent videos he did with Rolo, Justin Torsha. It was an eye opener. I think that super chat I made was perfect for the first half of this episode. Good job, bro. All right, homie clicks. Yeah. Uh, hey, FNF gang, did y'all see No Jumper interview with Rico Strong Thoughts? And would y'all ever interview him? I think Myron would ask him great questions for an interview. I don't know who that is. Make no mistake, this is the official rating for tonight's episode from Addy on down. Nine, three, oh my God. six. Two, Come on, two. Seven. Would be an eight, but her grill is a turnoff. God damn, nigga. Uh, Who's wearing a grill? Who's grill? I think he's talking about her. You saying her, her grill is a turnoff. Gap gang. Okay. And then gap gang, yeah. Aww. And then he gave uh, five, six, three. Damn, y'all. See, y'all that's my favorite numbers. Numbers. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the dentists stay at, Com- at, at Komodo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's dentist? The one to uh, tomorrow. I, oh. I've never been to Komodo. Never? Never. Okay. But hey. Yo, we got to change that. <laughs> uh, ladies, I'm 6'5", 175 pounds, preferably good making, good looking, making 75K. Would you take a guy like me serious or need to make millions? Okay, we'll ask this. We'll, we'll go around. 6'5", 175, man. You're thin, bro. Uh, 75K per year. Would you take that guy? I mean, I guess I'd have to get to know what his personality is like. He doesn't like fat girls. So no. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> what about you? You trying to stay there? You trying to go up? I take you if you trying to progress. Okay. Okay. So 75k is, an, is enough. It's good, but I'm just saying like you don't want to stay stagnant. All right. I went more than you. All right. What about you? Wait, what was the question? Fully. Chris. Stupid. All right. He goes. <laughs> He's six foot five, hundred seventy five pounds, good looking, making seventy five k per year. Would you take him serious? Yeah. Okay, that took a while. <laughs> um, what about you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just still kind of <laughs> stuck on the, you know, you six five and only one hundred and seventy five pounds. Funny. That means you probably don't work out. You probably thin. don't lift weights. Don't take enough protein six intake. Five. But you know. Mm, I'll be your friend. I'll be your homie. Don't do it, okay. guys. Okay. What about you? What's your name? Misha. Yeah, what Misha said. Um, if you're if you're not trying to stay there, then I would. Okay, so he's got to make more. Body wise, you'll accept the entry level wise, but he's got to make more. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Sun Devil. <clears throat> um. Um. Nope. <laughs> okay, moving on. What yeah. about you? You just gotta gain some weight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, is the seventy five k enough for you? I mean, if you're not trying to settle, though. Mm. That's interesting. Better. Money ain't everything. So that, it, it's it's okay, but you better it's you better lot, raise yeah. it up. You better do something settling, better next. You're not settling. That's everybody though. You should want to progress in life. Yep. What do women love? Ambition. Ambition. But that's Let okay. Me, for are. now, you just gotta gain weight. We would you date a guy that's five foot eight? 50k per year you 
Five foot eight. Five foot eight. Hey, no. no? He I don't like short guys. I'm okay. sorry. Hold on, hold on. Just, just go around and say it real quick. Five foot eight. Nice guy. Be a good husband. How tall are you? Five foot eight. Five one. Oh, girl, he tall for you. <laughs> so five foot eight, fifty to K per year. No. That's okay. No? Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. That's a no. She lying. You said right, no. What about you? No. What about you? Um, I'm already like I'm five eight point seventy five. So no, I would. Nope. Say what was the question? Five eight, fifty K per year. Nice personality. Good guy. Damn. Nope. Okay. What about you? <laughs> no, because in heels, I'm six foot. Nope. Yes, if he has a good personality. Okay. Stop the cap. <laughs> does your guy make 50K per year? I'm not going to disclose his. I mean, more. Uh, does he make more than it? I'm not disclosing. Oh, damn. Okay. okay. Then okay. He probably doesn't then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you I would don't at least. Talk about him. Okay. And then, uh, hold on. And then, uh, is he at least five foot eight? Yeah. Six foot? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now it makes sense. Six two? No. Okay. All right. Okay. How do girls know, though, bro? Because, like, Heidi. I'm telling you, you y'all really don't know what six feet is. Yes, oh, she's if right. If nigga's like five nine, Heidi. five ten, you, mm-hmm. you're like five two. You won't really know what six. Unless feet. she's tall, then they'll know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about you? Fifty k per year, five foot eight. No. Okay. You say he got a personality. Nope. He cool. Yeah, he cool. No, but he can be a carpet nope. muncher. Yeah, no. All right. What about you? Yes, marriage. Okay. All right. You said cool. carpet muncher. Yeah. <laughs> what does Bro. that mean? <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's an old school term for someone that's yeah, short. Like, I haven't heard that shit since the fucking nineties. Yeah. Well, she, well, she is older, so yeah. God damn. <laughs> uh, and then, and then you said yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, is, is your guy that you're with right now five eight? No, taller. Six two. Six two. Okay, does he make fifty k per year or more? I don't exactly. It's like I don't. I don't even know. It's kind of complicated. He does like online stuff. Does he like bigger women? I don't know. He traps. <laughs> he traps. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Uh, five six one lifestyle. Who's that guy in the orange shirt on the thumbnail next to Big Phantom Junior? <laughs> Some SoundCloud rapper from Florida. Also, big facts to last show being average is the new broke in twenty twenty two. Step up, gentlemen. Greatness is yours. Take it. Yeah, I'm just uh, guys. You guys say I'm kidding around when I say average. Like women don't want average men at all. Even average women don't want average men. Uh. Fitz Listerine, dentist. I'm in the bathroom, alcohol free, and we stay in the gym. Just know we only go in to eat tacos and then coming back to gargle some of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds like a- Insider joke. Don't worry about him. Uh, art by Duchess. We hey. met before at the Art X Mata fashion show in Miramar months yes, ago. Yes, but on a big show. Okay. And we uh, met at um, 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 Kiki, Kiki on the River. River. Yeah. My first time there. Yeah. It was my, it, well, yeah, it was my first time there. I just was in the area. That was a private event, though. It was. I mean, I know I'm well connected with a lot of people actually out here. So mm. just know that. Yeah. Quavo showed up. Quavo, Carucci, um, Terrence J. Terrence J. It's pretty cool. Mm hmm. All right. Fresh would be, uh, would like coding if programmers worked in clubs and on yachts. Okay. Actually, I hate clubs and I hate yachts, by the way, just so you know. Come on, nigga, don't lie. You like it. No, you I go don't. because you, st- but you, nigga, I haven't gone to the club in like. No, yo, five fresh days. hate clubs, man. Five, five days. days. Five, five days. Oh, wow. But like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chris, tell them how much I hate the club, bro. Bro, fresh go, uh, walk in the club and obviously fresh doing this. Nigga, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I'm there like this, robot. Who can I, I talk to? He's having fun. <laughs> nah, fresh don't like clubs. He's nah, a good to network. Uh, That's it. He likes a little bit. Me too, uh, me too. He enjoys it. Dr. Mo, I uh, can't wait to hear Myron's thoughts on this. Oh, that was probably on the fat people thing. Uh, just showing some love. Finally was able to get some merch and will definitely be wearing them to show love and support by wearing it in my future gigs and shows, fam. City, City Boys, boys be up. Up. Hope you're ready for uh, a bunch of feminists to come after you. Uh, to the fellas, Chris, Myron, Fresh, would y'all date a girl slash gal, old girl on the cover? 50 bucks from Dr. Mo77. Um, no, I would not. Uh, no, she's too big. I was smashing. Uh, yeah, and m- m- maybe on yeah. a, if I was drunk, I'd, I'd smash. But yeah, she's uh, yeah, she's, she's a, a little slow too big, Tuesday, bro. I'll sober. Pattern shifter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all face when girl next to fresh started talking. <laughs> bro. Right. real masculinity. She said on her off season. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last uh, last five here or six. Uh, that magazine chick looks like something you would hunt late at 2 a.m. on slow hours when you're down bad. <laughs> That's from a George O'Kello. Uh, Joe, uh, Joe Geisler, all the way from Australia. Coming in from Australia, Myron and Fresh keeps me in facts. We got y'all. Shout to you. And then we got, uh, let's see what they say about Real Femme Sapien. Let's go on that combo because the combo was fire. That's from Douglas Collins. Yeah, they all cap. That's from NL Coach. Five bucks. And then last one here, Kess, 10 bucks. I'm 25, minimal dating experience. I don't go out. Where can I go to find a guy to date? Seriously. Um, oh, this is a chick. That's a chick. That's for another episode, my friend. Uh, but uh, the first place I would start is you can start with school. 
Tell me, shoot. Well, depending on I don't I don't know what you do for fun and stuff like that. Or pick All right, up, so let's get into a hobby. All right, so uh, Chris, from this point forward, what? Uh, twenty and up, guys. From this point forward, we're only going to read twenty and up super chats. We appreciate all the uh, the support. Every single chat that comes in, whether it's a dollar uh, to you know fifteen bucks, it's going to be shown on screen, and then we're going to read everything twenty and up. But um, everything will be shown on screen, guys. So don't worry. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and ask the first question to the ladies. So ladies, let's get the topic at hand. We got a video to react to, but before we get there, real quick. Have you ever met a guy in your time here on this planet Earth where he was so good to you in the moment? First, and this is like a first encounter. Energy was right. He was your type of guy. And maybe y'all did the thing, you know, behind closed doors, you know, wink, wink, sex. And it was so good. You like, you know what? I want this guy right now. As in like, I want to be with him. No cap. This is it. And we'll start right here. Um... I think you can kind of get a sense of like who somebody is immediately. So sometimes like it's easy to like mistake thrill for like somebody with like positive intentions. So mm -hmm. I don't think that I like jump into anything, even if it, like the first time you meet someone is exciting. But have you ever in the past like said, damn, this is so good. I want to be with this guy. Never from the first day. Yeah. Um, I've like felt that way, but never like I knew it wasn't I didn't have enough information. So yes or no? No. Okay. I ain't gonna lie here. No. Hell no. Cause I'm, I'm already talking like five people at one time, so it'd be like, nah, <laughs> at that time, nah. Okay. Mm. No. All right. Never. Mm -mm. I had good days, but no, never to the point where I was just like, yeah, I want to be with him. Like, mm. no. Mm. Um. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I definitely have, uh, and I love hard. That's why. I gotta say to myself. It's just song. real quick. What what made you say in that moment? I want that guy. Was it the dick, the D game? Was it like well, his personality? What was it? Um. Well. Well, I never really have sex on the first date, so. <laughs> Wait. I know you guys don't agree with that or whatever. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> but, You've never um, had a one night stand or never had sex with a guy. I've never had a one night stand. Me either. I've never. I okay. swear. Have you ever had sex with a guy on the first date? No. I haven't. That's kind of crazy. That's uh, crazy okay. though. People, people really do that. I mean, people do it all the time. Like one night, I never had. I never, I never, I never, I never had that. I swear, you're crazy. saying cat. I never had a one night because they, they kept coming back. <laughs> they kept coming back. Kept, kept no, coming back. I never did on the first. There's no like this trick. I there's like this no trick. Cap. It's a <laughs> trick. That's just not who I am. So, have you ever had sex on a first date? No. I guess we ain't live a lot. Okay. Oh, that's another cap. You, you never no, have... I never, never. That's cap, man. I just think I was not... a pimp too. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> uh, have you, have you ever had a one night stand? Have you ever had a or a, a, had sex on a first date? You could put another one up. Yo, we need. But can I say this? So I you did never get have? hit before. You've never had sex oh, on the first date. Why are you making that face? This like, is a good why are you automatically then? assuming that I have? You never have? No. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why? Got, why? Why you we automatically assume though? The cap corner. Yeah, we gonna. I ain't gonna lie, uh, y'all. I feel like some people cap it in here. I love y'all. I love y'all. No, G, I got that hit on the first time, but I never like had. Well, that's that's, 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 but that's that's different though. Right. That's completely different. What that mouth do? I mean, <laughs> do you ladies uh, count bodies? Oh no! I mean, some uh, people don't count nowadays. Do you mean count? Wait, what? 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 we start? So from? some girls don't count condoms. Sorry, bodies with condoms or bodies that are drunk. They just uh -huh. count bodies that are what? What if they? <laughs> That's, exactly. Uh, yeah. So it depends yeah. on how they're counting. Okay. Have you ever had a sex on a first date? Oh yeah, I threw that thing back because okay. why would I wait? I mean, okay. I needed to test drive this thing before I ride it around, you know, all week. So I'm gonna need to see what that thing like. If I like okay. it, cool. If I okay. don't, okay. Yeah. Fair. And then what about you? And then we'll go back to the original question. Have you ever had sex on a first date? Yes. Okay. What about you? Let's see. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, ladies. Fantastic. Over here, I'm yeah. starting to run out of hats. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Going back to the original so question. So what made you want to be with that guy from the first encounter? Good energy. I'm a very big person on energy. Good mm -hmm. vibes. Good conversation. What you got going for yourself. Horoscope signs. I'm not really too big of that, but I am a Capricorn, honey. Okay. I am. Oh, okay. Okay. Me too. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, hear me started, baby. Yeah. So you cap? Oh. I, I'm a Capricorn, but I ain't no cap. Okay. Period. I'm okay. gonna Capricorn, but yeah. What about you? I have, and I learned from that, so I wouldn't. What made you fall for that guy right away? <laughs> the excitement. That's it. Okay. The thrill of it. The thrill. Yeah. Thrill of the chase. What about you? 
Um, I can say this only happened in high school, like a childish date, but mature enough. So never again. No. Okay. No. Never. Like gone out and thought, oh, this is the one for me. No. Oh, like randomly, like okay, if it's randomly, oh, like, random? I just met oh, somebody no. and I'm like, oh my god, you're the one. No, we don't. We don't have like a good night, little talk, and then we just like. <laughs> I mean, like it's... okay, we got a video to play. It kind of like talks about this in more detail, and it's funny because this is how some girls might react after pleasures of the night, you know. So, okay. is there? Yeah, this one here. Okay, okay let's cool. See. You know, we had a great day tonight. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, let me walk you to your car. Be a gentleman. Yeah, it's right here. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. Hey, what you getting from the back seat? Oh, just my suitcase. What? For what? Moving in. Period. Bro, what are you talking about? Well, we mm. had a good night tonight. You like me, I like you. So let's get to going. You know what I'm <laughs> Look, just because we had a good time doesn't mean you get to move into the house. Yes, it does. <laughs> nah, I'm moving in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I got neighbors, bro. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> bro, come on. <laughs> bro, let me in the house. Are you Oh, just let me. Uh, One more time. Are we done together? It's good. Yes, we can. just let me in. All right, come in. My own house, man. It's a nice house. I'm gonna put this upstairs. Hang your doors. Yes, ma'am. Period. 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 I saw that. <laughs> bro. Period. I don't know, bro. Uh, let me give you an option. <laughs> so, someone said I in. And we did the, re the reaction. There you go. I don't know the point of that, but hey, it happens. All right, moving on. <laughs> we got a second, re really, really uh, informative video. Well, we can get the thoughts on the ladies okay, real, th quick on that, real quick. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? I'm going to go run around. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't. <laughs> Never? No. You don't know who that person is just mm. because they give you a first impression. Okay. <clears throat> no, they could be a serial killer. <laughs> no. No, I mean, what was the what was the question? Like, would I do something like that? Yeah, thoughts on thoughts on it. Well, just general thoughts on the video. Oh, I mean, like, don't be looking her, her eye and kissing her name, then that won't happen. Okay, next person. Um, I think the video is a little unrealistic. Like, I don't think anyone would move in the day of, but maybe like yeah. a month or two. Like, if you love that or like them a lot, but no. Mm. Yeah, no, I feel like females like that is kind of crazy because mm -hmm. I feel like, like at that point, like. Then they're gonna know he got you. Like, you know, it's just like you gave me everything already. You don't want to move in my grave. Like, <laughs> I don't have to work for anything else. You that, give all you the know game? What I'm saying, huh? You give all the game one time? Yeah, like, you know. Okay. I just feel like I need to borrow y'all caps. Because that video was cap. Yeah, <laughs> that was foolishness. And I don't agree with that. And I just feel like, Merch. like she was saying, <laughs> guys, you have to work. You are built to work. So it's like, that little first impression is like, okay, cool. I just move in. Hell no, that's crazy mm -hmm. as hell. And they're going to give you the best them. Yeah. Like, like you know, they're gonna now he's going to stop working. He's just easy. Like, right? you just announced. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's pretty unrealistic, but I, I don't know. I think it's kind of trying to like depict that all girls are like clingy after that. I don't think that's necessarily true. Okay, let's have fun with this. <laughs> Can you name one benefit to living with a woman as a guy? You maybe she'll inspire you to be cleaner. <laughs> or clean my place. Hey, that's a, okay. I mean, that's a point though. That's a point. <laughs> Instead of cleaning herself, you mean? What? Because what you, you said she'd inspire you to be cleaner. Why doesn't she just clean instead? Like for you to be just a cleaner, more I don't know. Just, maybe, Why doesn't she just clean the house? Yeah. Because maybe a woman's sole purpose in life isn't to clean. Oh, I mean, well, the, the question is, you're moving into the guy's house. What benefit does he get from you moving in as a woman? That was the question. Well, if you're asking her to move in, then you get the benefits of being in her presence, which might mean emotional support. Maybe that means that she'll cook with you and just enhance with. your life or for you if she wants to. This will be eats. Interesting. Okay. What about you? What, what is the mm. benefit uh, to a woman moving into your house? You got in-house pussy. Okay. Basically, she can okay. cook. She can inspire you to do better, do great, and she can let you know when you're wrong. Because sometimes the dudes don't do it. Okay. I mean, yeah, pretty much that. And you know, add on organization. You know, 
Just like, you know, better quality of life, period. Quality of life? How yeah. so? Because I feel like, you know, a, a man is going to like, you know, make the moves, you know, he's going to bring the money, you know, he's going to, he's going to make certain moves, but there's just certain things that a female brings, which is like, I feel like they give you more like, you know, focus, like they clarity? add more focus to your life, clarity to your life, organization to your life. Okay. Like better meals. You don't agree with that? No, it's okay. I have something to oh, challenge to the ladies after. Ah. Okay. We'll keep going. What about you? Um, Emotional support, interior design, because, <laughs> you know, guy's room does not look as good as a woman's room. Okay. Um, just like company, you know. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, women are nurturing creatures, and we're we're caring. So it, we keep. Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep not trying to hit this edge of this, but um, women are more nurturing and more um, compassion. Okay, but what do they actually? That's I need what they tangible. Offer. But that's that's cool. But what tangibly are they going to bring into the house moving in with the guy? Of what? A balance of different how can i explain this let's just say a balance a balance Bruh. of peace <laughs> okay i've got an a, a two balance. incomes another income so you're now. saying she she makes money as well yeah, of course okay mm-hmm. yeah. i agree sharing. on that two incomes interior design emotional support and anything the housewife would do housewife. such as such as what cleaning what the all that stuff. Wait, not inspiring <laughs> to clean or actually cleaning? We need to differentiate. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, she said inspiring to clean. I'm not gonna lie, both. Both. Okay. I am not. I ain't cleaning shit I about do, paying I, for the I bills. I am not a housewife. I'm a clean. You're not a housewife. Anybody housewife? No. Go to. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, and what were you saying? Um. Yeah. That's, that's it. Okay. So I see here, interior design and cleaning. Okay. <laughs> um. I feel like merch. If we're like a partner, I feel like you can elevate me. So like if you have one such of income, you can make me get smarter like you. No, and how like, are you gonna benefit the guy? Not how's he gonna benefit you? I know. No, like cause it's <laughs> no, it's still like three sixty. Like think about it. Like Bruh. because if I bring if I triple your income, I'm still benefiting. You know? But how? By getting me smarter. Even though mm-hmm. we're benefiting each other, but you get what I'm saying? I get what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah I just I can't see. explain it. I don't but, get it. Uh, stop! <laughs> I mean, I think you're saying, how can, he, like, how can you benefit him off free? Yeah, I know, like, I get, yeah, like, the normal housewife things, like, cleaning. If you have kids, I Cook, make sure the kids clean. are, like, clean, fed, whatever. Yeah, I don't have no kids yet. But I'm a housewife, <laughs> so... I'm just going to put this. All oh. right. What about you? Jesus. Well, I agree with what... I'm sorry. What's your name? Misha. Misha what Brady. Misha y'all. and your name, love? Tati. And Tati um, said, I do agree with that. A man does what provide... What do you agree with? What do I agree with? Specifically, that yeah. Women, I mean, men do all... Most of the hard work, like, bringing in, you know, sometimes even more, like, better income than even yourself as a woman sometimes women don't have the same no, I was saying income as men income. well when m- men come like you have the house clean you have the food they're ready for and him. that's what i mean by a balance everything clean exactly a balance, a balance. Okay. you okay. need to ha- you need to cook for your man don't oh no shit. i'm sorry you do <laughs> oh shit the time. speak you do. agree with that you, she's i can see her face that? just like said, you do have, have to i mean you, he can the cook patriarchy. sometimes but <laughs> you need to provide for absolutely your man no. if he's providing for you. It's equal. It's I, I feel like we're in a new generation now, so it's like I mean, we work as hard. I work hard to see. I, I'm up four forty five no, in the morning, so it's like. And I agree, but I come from. Long. See, but I come from a Hispanic household. Yeah. See, my mom, my mom works just like my dad works, and she cleans, she cooks, and she does. She she takes care of all of us, even at this grown age sometimes. So that's what a woman should do. And I think it's the strongest thing that I don't think uh, they should do that. Now. I mean, like, generation not, all should. right, she's getting married, so what if he's taking care of all your bills? So now you don't need to work. That's why. No, 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 no. I'm still working. working. I, I still have to work. I don't believe in that shit. I'm sorry, oh, yeah, I don't I believe in that. No, 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 and no, and I understand mm. you. I understand you from that point of view because I am somebody that I am. I want to be an, you know, I am an independent woman, and I do see that I don't need I a man. Like, not even you know? independence. It's like if your man, if your but, man like fall off the earth, something happened to him, and like he only had the one income, which we all fuck the whole shit going yeah. down. You know, I got. Why would you be a man with was. one income no, though? I've seen too many movies, and I agree with you. Like, I feel like you got. Do you have anything you want to say to that? I can see your face scrunching up when she said you got to cook for your man. Uh-huh. You disagree? Yeah, I mean, I think 
in if you're seeking out a relationship dynamic where you want that like cool but i don't think that that's like the standard everyone should follow no i'm not Okay. Girl, you better feed your man or somebody no, else. Maybe will. I did, you know, oh, but hey. you do you have to come. You better you feed ha- that man. Exactly, yeah. you, got, you have to. Perfect. It's a thing. He's bringing, Mm-mm. he's he's bringing you money, right? He he pays for your nails, right? He pays for your hair, right? You gotta cook for him. You gotta, gotcha, you know. Bitch. You have anything you want to say? Yeah, back to that? I mean, maybe in your relationship dynamic, but you can't say that that's mine or anyone else's. Right, you know. Agree. It should. That's what if he's a better cook than you, though? Right. What if he's Yo, a chef? Like, no one one exactly. Yeah, you're useless. So no one mentioned anything what if he's a chef? truly tangible. And you then you, you all mentioned things he could pay for outside of you. So for example, I could pay a maid, I could pay a cook. I mean, shit. Y'all never mentioned Yeah, I wanna because yeah, here's the thing. I took notes on everything that you guys said. Basically the consensus is food, cook, clean, interior design, balance. <laughs> uh, okay, and let's see, what else here? Emotional support. <laughs> Uh, and um, wait, that's north though. Was that pigs? That's, that's north. Oink, oink. Shout yeah. to wait. Oink, I thought oink. I thought it just icy. icy? And, <laughs> and companionship. So so ladies, everything that you guys named can pretty much be paid for, whether through it's a maid, a dog, a personal cook, maybe a meal prep service. Everything you guys named can be outsourced. So in reality, what do you bring to a man? It really can't though. So what a is loyal partner? partner. Can, uh, because that's a loyal why. partner. A loyal well, partner in crime. Okay, so now it's a loyal partner. Okay. More uh, than your homeboys. But at the time yeah. you said. So you, you, what was your question? Sorry, you asked something. So what is living with a man benefit a woman if he's not paying your bills, let's say? That's a good point. I'll answer that in a second. There was something else that someone had. Did you say something? Someone I like made a good point. March. It, oh. Someone made Homeboys? No. Income? No. A partner in crime? No. Okay. One of y'all said something. Okay. I guess I'll just address your thing. So you said, what is the benefit to, to living with a guy? Yeah. Well, um, yeah. you get protection, provisioning. And with men, women are far more, uh, women want security in a relationship. I don't know if ladies understand this, but like, if you leave a man to his own devices, he doesn't really want like a, a full on just relationship with one girl. He wants a relationship with multiple girls. Most guys are monogamous by necessity, not by choice. If I'm going to be all the way 1000 with you. You're making a face. What's up? I Go ahead. disagree. Okay. I think um, some men are maybe would be more comfortable in polyamorous relationships and then they should be self-aware of that. But I don't think that the general rule of thumb that all men are polyamorous. I didn't say that. I said most guys are monogamous out of necessity. Yeah, I, That's I, I disagree with that. I don't think that I think men, a lot of men choose to be monogamous because there are benefits to monogamy as there are benefits to polygamy. There's benefits to monogamy for women, not necessarily for men. There are benefits of monogamy for men. Name three. Um, Two. If you want to raise children, it's a really beneficial way to raise children. Polygamy is actually better for raising children because you have multiple women that can care take care of the kids. You don't have to depend on babysitter. Sister wives. Oh, I'd be traumatized. Yeah, but exactly. Like, as is that really a dynamic if kids are seeing their friends growing up in a two parent household where there's that loyalty there and they're not comfortable with that? I don't think that's necessarily a general rule. Polygamy was like a big part of but the benefit of it is for child rearing, that exact purpose you're mentioning now. Right. But that could be my argument is that monogamy benefits women far more than it benefits men. It doesn't really benefit it benefits regular guys, right, to a degree. But most guys, like I said before, have left to their own devices are monogamous out of necessity. But I think then you can argue that women are monogamous out of choice too, because it can be just as beneficial for a woman to be polygamous than a man. Not really. No. Women are not designed to be polygamous. So at why all. are men designed to be polygamous? Because sperm is cheap and eggs are expensive. Yeah, we're carers, we're nurturers, we're we give like you can only how many children can you bring to term per year? One. Okay. I can gotcha, how many or- kids can I bring to term per year? <clears throat> per day. It sounds a like lot. a bust a nut. Right. So far, uh, my, my biological investment to having children is far less than yours. So I don't necessarily have to exercise the same discretion when it comes to mate selection. Right. What but about you're saying that's that, my point. But so you're saying you're like having like the spread your seed. argument. Yeah. Yeah. I think that you can also argue, though, that it would be in a woman's benefit to sleep around because then she has more access to more resources. If you want to use that argument, you can, you know, you can use evolutionary biology to back any type of claim like this like you not, can not say, at all because as a woman has sex with more partners her value her decreases and yeah. as her value decreases men are less likely to provide that woman with security so she there mm-hmm. needs to continue having sex with multiple men to continue to get sec- security from multiple men but if you leave a woman to her own devices and you ask her what do you prefer 
one guy that's stable that's going to give you resources or multiple guy guys that will potentially give you security they're going to go with the one guy that can provide them security the issue is this it's very difficult to find a guy that can provide you security while simultaneously being sexually arousing mm. that's the truth yeah that's why most girls have to get it through multiple guys a lot of the times and they do it in secret but if a girl had the option she would want a guy that has everything in one place i think guys would want that as well some men maybe not you or like some men want to be polyamorous but I think that there are also men that genuinely want a monogamous relationship because of the intimacy and the deepness of that connection that maybe you can't get from a polyamorous Most guys would, are, would want probably, ideal, if they can pull it off, they would want one girl, that's their main chick, and then they'd have other side chicks. I don't think that that's necessarily true. I think maybe for some people, Question for you. Have you ever looked at your boyfriend's browser history on the internet? No. You haven't? Nope. Ooh. Go ahead and take a look. I promise you they're probably going to be porn there. And the reason why that's important is because a lot of guys can't enact on their physical needs. The reason why guys watch porn is because men like variety in different types of women. You're never going to be able to sexually satisfy your guy yourself. So whether he actually actually steps out and fucks another bitch on you or he watches porn and whacks off to another chick, it's the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Men want variety. The issue is that most guys can't actually execute on it. So they have to be monogamous out of necessity because they don't have the sexual market value to command respect from multiple women at the same time simultaneously. Most guys have to be monogamous. But you're arguing that because, if you're arguing like the offspring argument, right? Like because of the desire to have as many offspring as possible. Yeah. But I think you can also say that for a woman to have sex with a bunch of guys, then she has access to higher quality genes. So you could use evolutionary biology to yeah. back the idea of that it would benefit women to be polyamorous but there are benefits to being well here's monogamous. the thing you can't separate offspring from the sexual process because the sexual process exists simply to create offspring and the way we view each other sexually is directly tied to offspring what do i mean by that well when women sexually select they select for survival tra ta 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 um, traits is he tall is he confident is he ambitious is he competent is he going to be able to provide me security for long-term future right men however we look at it as Women are more interested in a man's future. Men are more interested in a woman's past. Is she a hoe? Is she going to cheat on me? Is she going to embarrass me? Is she going to potentially have a child that I can't prove isn't mine? This is why men have a serious point of contention with women that have a promiscuous past. That's why body counts matter to men. Because if I invest in a girl that has a high body count, there's a high likelihood that child that I have with her might not be ma mine. Every man's worst nightmare is having sex with a woman, thinking the child is theirs, raising that child, and then finding out later that child isn't theirs. Whereas for a woman, her biggest nightmare is getting with a guy, thinking he's ambitious, thinking he's going to be able to provide a future, then figuring out that guy's a fucking loser. See how we're very different, as in men are more interested in the past, women are more interested in the future? So you can't really mm -hmm. separate offspring from the mating process because the mating process is intrinsically tied to offspring. It's why we make our sexual selections. Women are interested in survival value. Men are interested in replication value. This is why young, youthful, beautiful, attractive women are what men want. We don't care how much money they make necessarily. Whereas with women, I want competence, accomplishments, confidence, etc. They look for survival traits. Boom. So true. Shaga, laga, 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 boom. <laughs> Shaga, laga. All right. So anyway, right. Uh, moving on. Do you have anything else? No. Okay. Go check that browser history, bro. Booty black girl. Uh, <laughs> I, I, and a lot of girls get mad when I say this, but it's the truth, man. Men want variety. If you leave a guy to his own devices, they're going to want sexual selection with different types of women. If you look at like all the guys that men admire, Dan Blazarian, Hugh Hefner, et cetera, why are these men widely respected by men? Because they're able to execute the sexual strategy that most guys wish they could have. Multiple girls living with me, letting me smash. I don't have to commit to any of them. And I'm just hanging out doing my thing. That's what guys want. It's just that they can't be honest about that because that's considered misogynistic so or toxic or whatever. Or some can't. They ain't got the bad for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you Most guys a, can't pull it off. A certain level of guys so, they do that. Yeah. So regular guys, monogamy benefits regular men and women in whole, because polygamous societies do tend to be less stable. I'll be honest about that. Because all because a small minority of men end up getting all the women. Question: How do y'all know a girl a hoe? <laughs> mm. How do you know if what? A she with her. It's a very good question. A hoe? Mm. Yeah, a hoe. There, there's a bunch of. Yeah. You want to hit it fresh? Go ahead. I want to hear. I want to hear this answer. You can tell, from, answer, you can tell from behaviors. So, for example, someone could be a nice girl, you know, studious girl next door, looks wise. However, her behavior shows. Okay, cool. She's out every night. Girls nights out. Girls trips. Doing random stuff. And 
Her phone is blowing up from Snapchat, Tinder, maybe Bumble, different dating apps. She's on sugar sites. So there's so many things you could see on people's patterns. But the thing for a guy is like, if you're a guy dating a girl, you got to watch with time. Because you could pretend, you could pretend to be somebody that you're not for a little bit. But over time, you see traits and you see actions that people do. And you can find out she's a whore or not. So mm-hmm. I would just say like, look for signs like maybe her phone is face down on dates. Maybe her phone's on DND all the time. Or she's like, you know, busy at certain times of the day because she's out late night with friends. Like certain things you see and patterns will tell you that she's a hoe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also too, thanks for being respectful. I know we don't agree on a lot of things, mm-hmm. but uh, I appreciate the fact that you're uh, hearing out my points and everything like that. And if you think a son you want to say, just, just let no, us know. Yeah, I, think I have no problem with disagreements. Yeah, no, I think it's important to like have these conversations, not out of a place of like judging your opinion, but like genuinely trying to come to a mutual understanding. Yeah. I'm just given the male perspective, you know, that's typically rooted in biological fact. It's just that Man can't be open about this. Like if a if a guy went out there and said, "I want to fuck a lot of bitches," like uh, like if it's not a rap song, it's gonna be awkward. You know, yeah. you can't say this type of stuff in today's day and age. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he answered your yeah. your joint. Yeah, no, but I don't agree. We're going. I want to hear yours too. Oh, uh, I mean, it's very similar mm-hmm. to what he said. I mean, just a pattern of behaviors and then certain lifestyle habits that that you know will make you say, "Okay, this girl." Like we give guys a couple tips. Like like hey, like if this. If this girl's involved in this type of activity, you probably don't want to take her seriously. So two things I'll just say off the tip are like a chick that like does drugs or a girl that's like alcoholic, not the very high likelihood that she's going to be a, a hoe, you know, because, you know, constantly, you know, doing drugs or drink alcohol, it lowers your inhibitions. It changes the, your thought process. Mm-hmm. You, you lose the ability to logically think. And when you're not, you know, logically thinking or rational, you're going to be more emotional, more sporadic. You're going to make bad decisions, mm-hmm. you know? And then the other thing, too, is that typically when you're doing drugs or drink alcohol, it's in a social situation where men are there trying to take advantage. Mm. So that, you know, one thing leads to another, et cetera. You know, so you're saying if she has sex with multiple men, she's a hoe. And her friends. I mean, that is by definition what a hoe is. I'm saying, but how would you know that she has sex with multiple men, though? Well, is she getting paid for it? What you mean? No, I mean you you you'll know by like what I told you. I just gave you two two of two things right there. Like if a girl is a drug like a, a drug addict or does drugs a lot or is an alcoholic, high likelihood that she's gonna be a hoe. Does that mean hundred percent every single time she's a hoe? No, but it's, it increases the chances. And then the more of these red flags you have, the higher the likelihood. So you're asking, how would you know if a girl has a high body count? Mm-hmm. I was gonna say because behind men it's, talk behind every rumor is a nigga like niggas always running them out saying something so it's like yeah then it goes back to she if she's just going I'm, I'm listening go ahead I no, mean that's fine I mean yeah, say so what you want to say go ahead. go ahead no I'm about to say because behind every rumor is a man yeah. the dude's always trying to say okay she's a hoe but he probably ain't much hit but just just and so people go off of what this person said that's not even true okay and maybe she's outgoing she has a personality mm-hmm. that she's a fiery personality and you just assume okay she's a hoe. That's like damn. Because we know a lot of girls that maybe they strip or they're on sugar sites, but they're not per se hoes. They mm-hmm. just kind of have a they're in the I see where she's with, going yeah, with yeah. this. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. saying, like, what's up with guys saying that's a ruined reputation? It's because guys understand like here's the thing. Women slut shame each other more than men do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's actually women that probably pass that rumor around that a girl's a hoe more than guys do. Yeah. And but also, I think it's guys. No, but also it's perception too. No. Here's the thing. Like if a guy's going to call a chick a hoe, he's going to do it behind closed doors. He can't do it openly. Women, however, can call you a hoe openly. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. So men can't like call, tell a chick, yo, you're a hoe, whatever, because he'll get canceled. He'll get fired from his job, whatever else it is. So a lot of the times the hoe rumors come from other women. Like, I think it comes from men. From men? I've I heard some dudes. Men, men, men. Guys run him out more than female. I think it's men. Sure so do you hang around uh, dudes a lot? Yes, I know a lot of uh, well, hang around we call girls like, like that a hoe. Really? Yeah, hang because, yeah, I mean, yeah. If you're around, hey, hey, listen, I'm sorry to say, if you're a girl that hang around lots of dudes, we know oh. dudes want to fuck. So, hey, we just perceive I mean, that. If you're an athlete and you hang on. around, like, you know, most athletes hang around a lot of athletes, and you know a lot of athletes, I know a lot of friend guys. Yeah, but that's dudes, though, man. It's the dudes, all right, whatever. Okay, not hanging business with them. Okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll say it this way. Okay. Um, so when it comes to a girl being a hoe, because you're, you're you're you ask the question and we answer it properly. It's just that your thing is like, why do guys spread the rumor? I think that's the proper question here because you're saying, why do guys lie about that? There could be a multitude of reasons. Maybe they're mad. Maybe they got rejected, whatever else. I mean, I don't know why like random guys may spread those rumors. It depends on the social situation. There's there's a bunch of reasons why people could do it. But to answer your question, it's a bunch of behaviors. Now, let's say a girl has a lot of guy friends. 
on face value, that might not mean she's a hoe, mm -hmm. right? But if you add in the fact that she has a lot of guy friends, she drugs does drugs. She's also an alcoholic. She goes to um, certain types of venues. She hangs out with a bunch of girls that are hoes. She go, takes girls trips all the time. See how when you add other pieces of evidence in there, you take one piece of circumstantial evidence, it's not good enough, but when you add other pieces of circumstantial evidence, now it paints a bigger picture. That's how it is. Yeah. So it's not one thing, but if it's a bunch of things working together in tandem, mm -hmm. that's when you can start to identify, all right, this girl's probably not, and here's the thing, we love hoes. Don't get it twisted, ladies. Like We're not here to slut shame or none of that. I'm just simply saying, as a man, mm -hmm. right? Just like you gotta pick the best guy that, that's gonna provide you security. As a man, you gotta pick the best girl that isn't gonna fuck your life up. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there's, and we have a bunch of studies to show this, girls that have certain types of pasts are really bad for marrying and or taking serious relationship. They will ruin your life. They don't want they get married the most. Yeah, they actually do. <laughs> yeah, the hoes be turned into housewives. Get married the most. Well, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean by that? Hoes yeah. become <laughs> housewives, for real. It mm -hmm. never lasts, though. You think? True. No. I don't know. I, I don't know. know. Look at every major think. porn star that got married. Like it, like you look at like a Mia Khalifa or Alana Rhodes or whatever. If they do get married, they get married to a guy that wasn't their first choice. The dude's a fucking simp. He's a sucker. He's just taking her because that's what the best he can get. The girl doesn't respect him. She endures the marriage for a few years, and then she ends up initiating divorce and leaving him. Women initiate eighty percent of divorces. You got a point, Dad. Now I'm thinking about. It. I'm trying wow. to think of all the hoes that I know they got married. Yeah, the question is how uh, how long, you know, yeah. is really the question. Because a lot of the times when uh, uh, someone that has a a woman that has a promiscuous past gets married, nine out of ten times the man that she's married is not her first choice. Mm. This is true. You got a point. She's settling because it's like, damn, okay, I've been ran through. Reality starting to hit. I'm getting older. <laughs> Yo, Most guys wow. don't respect me. What am I gonna do? There's, there's a, sh there's a show be honest, on Netflix you know? that kind of depicts this called Sex uh, Over Life. It's a very good show because the woman basically married a guy um, that she thought that was the ideal guy, but she wasn't her his first or her. She was he wasn't her first choice. And what happened was she married him, had kids, and then the guy that she really wanted came back into her life. I saw that. And it's a whole like back and forth. It's so good. I've seen that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, it happens. It. But I also want to speak on that. They say girls that has a lot of friend guys are hoes. First of all, them guys keep me on point. Okay, they let you know like, no, what I'm not gonna do. They tell you all the tea. I know all the hoes. I know about all the hoes in Miami. You gotta watch those. You know, they put me on point. There, I'm. You know, the first time girls are Oh no, this is like fifth grade on down. Get fresh. Get fresh. No, no, we don't. Get fresh. Here's the thing: is your your boyfriend okay with that? Yeah. He knows them? He knows them. Okay. Mm. My ex was not. It's not, it's not a lot, guys. Sure. I'm just saying, like, it's like, no, I, I get it. I get from, it. From like sixth grade, like, we've been, we type my, like, my, and my they thing married. Is, my thing is that, like, maybe you're an exception to the rule, but most guys want to sleep with their female friends. I agree yep. with all of them. Somebody said all of them do? All of them do. Like, let's be real. Okay. I, yeah. But yeah. they marry right now, so they don't got, got so, married. No, they they don't care? You, you, what? And, and that's that's actually, <laughs> so it's it better. It, well, it's interesting that she mentioned that. That's actually one of my things when I do, like, nine out of ten times when a girl tells me I got a bunch of guy friends, what happens is there's certain social, like, um, how do I say this? There's social situations mm -hmm. in that friendship that would severely fuck up the situation if they were to hook up. So her, in her example, right, they're, the guys that she's friends with are all married themselves. So that's a very good buffer, so to speak, mm -hmm. as to any potential infidelity because both of them have something to lose. Exactly. Does that make sense? Or um, they work together and like uh, the, if the relationship was to ever come out or anything like that, it could potentially fuck up and ruin both of their careers. This is where... When there's serious buffers in place like that, that's where that friendship, I call it more of an association, can exist. Because I let's keep it a thousand. Are you gonna hang out with those guys by yourself without your husband there? Probably not. Yeah, I would. We like family now. They they like married into the family. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's different. It's like yeah, but you have but you have certain serious buffers in place. That's when it's like a genuine respect there. Like you know, you may look good, you my friend, but I I won't I won't cross that line with oh, you. Wait, you, you may look good. I'm just no. I'm just saying. I'm just giving an example. Like it, it, I'm thinking about if that's if that's what he's saying. I don't know. Like you know, my friend look good, but I would never cross that line with her. I genuinely got. Care I think her. women put that man. That you, barrier, you might not, but, but that guy, dude, if he's guy, lit enough, he no, I'm yeah. Yeah. genuine. Tell you, you say, you know what, Dan? It's my chance now. Boyfriend giving issues. I'm gonna slide in there. Hey. No, literally, that's what happens. And right when y'all break up, they're like, "Hey, yo, hey, like, what's up, boy?" Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, and he was like, "I've always been feeling you." Like, oh wow, even their friends. Mm -hmm. But so, it's like we like family, like, oh, we can't no, they, line. That's like, the line. You, you gotta remember it. That's how you look at it, mm -hmm. but men don't look at it that way. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I get it from your perspective, you're like, oh, disgusting. 
but for the men they don't look at like that yeah like but... i i think women underestimate how horny dudes really be and how guys will fuck anything like it's like men don't have the same discernment that you do no i understand that dudes yeah. fuck anything that's why i'm always on point I'm telling you, I was on point. Gotta be on point. And they keep me on point too. So I be knowing what's going on. So in my head, that's why even with other dudes, I don't trust that you trying to fuck me. I, I'm on point already. Like I'll be on point. I promise you. All right. Uh, we had a second video, or did anyone else want to add anything that's before? The, um, that same thing happened two days ago. So my friend had a homeboy, right? And he was there like at her hospital when she was about to die, like close friends, whatever. Well, yeah. And her boyfriend was listening to our conversation. He was like, hold up, hang up the phone, like on me. And he like called that guy right now. And he was like, her boyfriend name is Lewis. And so she told her homeboy, she was like, oh, me and Lewis aren't together anymore. And she's telling me, oh, my homeboy will never do this to me. He's been there. Trust me. He's, he knows that we're only just going to be friends. And mind you, she's just had a baby. And so she tells um the guy, hey, I have a boy, we're not together. And her homeboy went to him and was like, Oh, can you come over? Like the homeboy that she thought that would never want to have sex with her decided to have sex with her. They and so sex. he hung up the phone and told her to block him because he was just like basically pretending to be her friend like that, but the whole time he wanted to have sex with her. Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you lost right. me at the part where someone was yeah. gonna die. I know, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah she was really quick. dying, and he was in the hospital first, so she thought. So she she thought that. Like, You're a really oh, bad storyteller. Yes, no, 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 she didn't die. So she alive. Yes. So she, she was, good. Did she yeah, die he was there in like in a hotel, not the hotel, the hospital. <laughs> the hospital her while she was dying. So he was there through her hardships. So she oh, thought okay, that, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So they wasn't friends. They went oh. all cool. They're they were best. They were separate. I'm saying like the boy, the two, the boyfriend and the um friends. They weren't cool. Either. No, they were cool. So, yeah, so where was the boyfriend? My boyfriend cool. That, we all friends. We all like family. Yeah. When she was about All to right. die. Hey, man, it's risky. He wasn't there. It's very risky. All right, you know. know who should never write a novel. Fantastic. Stop. All right. Uh, if she don't want to lose weight, she belongs to the interstate. <laughs> the clown world, <laughs> MLK. Okay. Uh, LOL. Oh, uh, no. Chris, 20 no. Yeah, but hair was up before. Okay. LOL. Yeah, she's a plant. Sir Myron and Fresh, please water her nicely. Okay. Hello, Fresh to BBC. Can't wait to get acquainted. That's from Myron's BBC. Uh, oh, plus. right. We don't do sword fights over here. All right. Five, six, one. No sword fights. Yo, tell Lacey Strum, the lead singer from Flyleaf next to Fresh, that when you're on the cover of Sports Illustrated, it means you're a piece of history. It's historical to be on the cover. Girls virtue signal, not delusional, truly shallow. you have anything you want to say back to him? Apparently you're a lead singer on the band. What? Sorry? He's talking to you. Um, I think he's trolling. <laughs> okay. All Thank right. you. <laughs> Ladies, you should realize how useful this information is. You're learning a valuable perspective from men who are your consumers. This is basic customer service. Yeah. I mean, if they want to take it, they can. If not, they'll just be like, fuck you, niggas. Uh, one could argue that people act out in suicidal tendencies and mass shootings precisely because they were cooled, coddled, and were never told the truth and held accountable. This is why dads are very important. Mm -hmm. uh, every single school shooter came from a single mother household, except for, I think, one. It's including this guy from Texas. He came, also came mm -hmm. from a single mother household. And mm -hmm. guess what your dad's job is to do? Beat your, oh. to hold you well no hold, hold you, you yeah, accountable, hold yeah. You accountable yeah. which you him, like man. like my dad was one of the big, first ones to tell me yo you need to go because i was skinny i was playing video games so like, yo, you need to go to the gym and build your body you're a fucking bitch i was like damn and it hurt in the beginning but i was like damn he's right and then right. boom so there you go this importance of fathers you got something i'm about to say i don't know i don't agree with that it's, okay it's, why not because it's like it's you your own person you got your own mental like mom my mom and my daddy never told me oh me she got to go in the gym workout that's something that i just naturally wanted to do myself but, but but I'm saying there's a mask and a burner performance though. Yeah. So like for a guy you got to build your body, but a chick you just increase your body if you know what I'm saying. Body <laughs> count and size. Mm. Tits ass. I'm gonna let oh you have it. Yeah, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Uh, set a K X Y. If you do good, that makes you good. If you do bad, that makes you bad. There is no you did it, but you not it. Your actions define you. Okay. Info Vader. Question, ladies. Ideological feelings and real world behaviors today are often nowhere near the same. You understand and realize the difference. An easy, undeniable example is nice guys finish last. Okay. Uh, Jim, one to one. Uh, follow up on the official rating. Would Miss Ponytail be willing to shut down her IG for her man? That's for you. If you met a guy of your dreams, would you shut down your Instagram for your guy? I feel like women are like, they become submissive to 
the man that they really like you know they want so yeah if you would if he yo she wants a podcast man yeah make a, a instagram together yes or no so. Something yes like that. or no? I need to share. I need to share a little bit of you my life to feel good. Yes or no? Uh, yes or no? Yes. You turning it off? Yes. Okay. If it's, hey. the man of, if, it's, if it's the man of that I want on my dreams, that yes, I support. 100%. Okay. Exactly. All right. Okay. Okay. So I'll turn. Well, uh, let's, let's, let's put it ladies here. If you, d- you disagree with that, okay. I disagree too. Um, yeah. Raise your hand if you disagree with her. Okay. Right. We're right. Go right here. Why do you disagree with her about shutting down your Instagram for well, a guy I mean, that you like? I would get it to an extent. Like, if you're just doing Instagram for fun, maybe, and you're just posting for no reason, like, maybe I like shut it down. I guess if like he really feels uncomfortable. But um, if you're using it as like a career source or to make money off of, I don't okay. think that you should shut it down. Okay. Uh, what if he told you? Because let's be honest, most girls, I would argue, probably ninety plus percent, don't make money on their Instagram. They just True. post pictures themselves to get attention. Okay. So let's, uh, so let's say you didn't make money on your Instagram and you just had sexy photos of yourself on there. Would you take it down? Yeah. Yeah. You would. Okay. <laughs> no. What about you? You said no. Said Why no. do you say no? Because I feel like that screams. Not talking, Mike. Bring the mic closer to you and then talk into it. No, because I feel like that screams insecurity. Like, okay. Why? Mm-hmm. Why? I have to have certain things for myself. Why do I need to take down my Instagram? Like, what is the reason? Like I just want to know: Is there a lot? What logical what, reason would you have? What was the reason? What was the reason? What, reason? What, what, what is the logical reason? Yeah, I can give you the logical reason, but you're not going to like it. What? Okay, let me see what the other lady say first before <laughs> I answer. I that. say no because I just feel as though you have to allow me to be myself. Let me change. I'm gonna naturally want to change it on my own because I like you so much. So I'm just going to change it because I like you so much. Don't just tell me what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to do that. Well, he's not telling you. It's just kind of like. I mean, this is this is. I don't date girls that have sexy pictures well, themselves don't on date Instagram. Me. Move on. Because I'm okay. off. I'm going to change it. I'm going to stop doing what I want to do when I, you know, not you on my own. I don't, don't, I don't force change on me or don't. Not, not You're 29. You got much. No, no, no. Hush. So <laughs> I just kind of feel like, just let me be me. Allow me to be me. Okay. And when I, when I start dating you, you naturally change. You just naturally change. It's things that you, that you naturally change. What if you never change, though? I'm a natural change. I like you. I'm a natural change. Okay. If you learn to stand, like, like say, I'm dating you, for no, example. Not. Yeah, but if you're meeting, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, this, this is a standard. He's an attractive man. Are you gonna, are you gonna change that standard? Or are you gonna say, no, fuck it, I'm gonna keep doing what I want to do? No, fuck it. You okay. Depends, Wait, is he honestly. deleting his as well? No, no. Exactly. No. Wait, what? Well, I make that's money a little for money. It's amazing. amazing. <laughs> what I said. I love it on pre on previous show. Entitlement, ego, can't let go. Okay. What about you? I think Instagram is a tool like nowadays social media it's like evolving into this like mass opportunity so whether or not a girl is making money off of instagram she always has the potential to you know so i think that she could always use that as a tool as a portfolio you can use instagram portfolio of ass pictures it's i mean it doesn't (laughs) have to i mean maybe if you like to model and that's what you want to do like i think it's like a personal conversation that you have to have with your partner. But I don't think that like all girls that post pictures of their bodies are simply trying to get attention for it. I hate the word potential. I hate that word. You hate the word what? Potential. Potential means you mean do shit. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> potential. Okay. Potential. Um, so you're saying you that all girls, so yet. girls aren't necessarily yeah. fishing for attention, posting pictures of themselves on the internet for our strangers to see and like. I think that that obviously like can be a, the scenario, but I don't think it's always the scenario. Yeah. So why, so why would they post? Why would they post on Instagram? Business. Why even post it? Because the same way that you use girls' photos in your thumbnails, the it's you know it's an attention grabber. Well, and what is people, their business? Why not? Why shouldn't women be able to capitalize off of their bodies the same way that you capitalize off of women's bodies? You, you know. You just said earlier that they don't do it for attention. Then you're saying they do it for attention. Which one is it? There's yeah. a. I think a difference. Okay, maybe I meant validation. Rather than gotcha, same thing, attention is a prerequisite to validation because you must get the guy's attention, then validation from there. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, as like a from a business point of view, okay. I think that Instagram is a tool, and I think that if men saw it that way, like maybe nowadays you can see so many people just blowing up on TikTok, blowing up on Instagram just for being themselves, making money just for being themselves, money that they can spend to get gifts on for their boyfriends or whatever it is, or. I think that it doesn't have to be like demonized as like you're just trying to get attention. You want male validation, you know. But it if you're selling tool. weed, you don't need to be showing ass. You're selling weave, like show your head, oh. show 
up here. That's true. Yeah, but, but a lot of people who do sell weave, I mean, they showing ass. So and that's a lot did. of ass too. So maybe you like fashion and everyday. Yeah, ass ain't fashion. And, yeah, but if maybe a bikini line will reach out to you and pay you and be like, hey, if you post a picture in this bikini, they don't all do that though. They want you to buy it, use their code. That's not true. You if you have it. a large following, people will reach out to you. That's a low percentage of people. Very, very well said. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I, I get what you're saying because you're going um, on the, you know, the best outcome possible. You know, you use it, you get some opportunity and you get signed to modeling agency. The unfortunate reality is that not every girl can be an influencer. Not every girl is going to make money on her looks. Not every girl is going to be able to make an income or a living off of Instagram. Most girls don't like well over like 90 percent probably don't make money off instagram you're talking about a very small percentage so but they my, have to start somewhere you know she's optimistic so there's a lot of different places, places to start that. than that though if you want to be truly honest because if you're with a guy and he's like yo listen i'm gonna give you my commitment but i don't necessarily commit to girls that are still attention whores i mean that's a standard and you you should you should be you know be able to do what you want to do but then you need to accept what did i always say reactions come with actions come with reactions and consequences so mm -hmm. if you want to act like you're single fantastic you can be single but you're not going to sit there and you know extract a relationship from a guy that knows his self-worth most importantly while simultaneously being able to you know exercise options and, I, and you said i need you need a logical reason for this right yeah i feel like the only logical reason would be <laughs> control like i feel like once you allow that man to have the control of your instagram next thing you know it's going to be something else next thing you know it's going to be something else like okay He's going to like, I feel like especially Merch. the type of man that you're dealing with is going to require more control of your life. Like, in okay. my opinion, like, I feel like. Merch. So I'll give you the logical answer for this go right ahead. now. Let's go into a dream scenario for these four ladies here only, because you guys are the ones that don't want to give up your Instagram, right? I want to be. <laughs> What's your dream car? Hmm. Lamb truck. Yeah. That's Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Okay. So Yaris, Rolls Royce. I don't even know. I already don't know my dream. I don't have a dream car. Okay. Let's say uh, a year is for you as well. Let's say Bentley a Lamborghini. Like a Benz? Okay. Bentley. Mercedes. Bentley. A Bentley. Okay. Honda Odyssey. What the? What? Okay. What? I like them. A Honda? <laughs> Bro, who is this? You know what? Yeah, you I can pay it off. Fun. That's fine. That's, that's so cool. That's so cool. It doesn't matter. The is cheap. Not materialistic. Like, that's okay. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. No problem. Okay. So let's say you go into the dealership, right? You walk in and... um. You see your car there, your Urus, your Bentley, Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce, Bentley, your Honda Odyssey. And it's there and zero mileage, brand new, the color you want. De dealer comes up to you. Hey, man, you want this car? And you're like, yep. You're like, fuck, yeah, I want it. So you fucking pay cash for it. You work their ass off. You save this money up. You buy it, drive it off the lot. You don't even care about the depreciation because this is your fucking dream car. You've been waiting years to buy this thing. You buy it a week later. Fast forward. Dealer comes back to your house. Knock, knock. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. I know uh, we sold you the car and you paid for it cash and everything else like that. But uh, we're kind of short on this car, bro. Uh, we're going to need you to put a for sale sign on your car and let us, you know, keep it in the in the dealership lot a couple times a week and potentially even people test drive it. What is your answer to that? We'll start right here with your Honda Odyssey. I think that, I mean, in terms of like Instagram or in terms of this No, 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 this discussion, this, this, simply this discussion, how would you respond to that guy that told you we need to basically put a for sale sign on your vehicle and bring it back to a lot every couple, every couple days for display and maybe even have someone test drive it? Yeah, I would probably be annoyed. Okay. You pay me for this? No. 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 Okay. No. No? I don't think they do that, though. There's... It's 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 an example. Exactly. It's merely to. <laughs> okay, I, I guess. And sometimes um... it does happen if the vehicle is rare enough. So, but, yeah. Um, I'd be mad. Okay, so you wouldn't allow it. Um, would you have a choice? No, no, no. I mean, you, you wouldn't. Would you allow it or not? You said no, right? No. Okay. How do you feel when the dealer comes up to you saying, "I want to be able to put the sign on it and bring it back and display it"? Annoyed. Okay. I don't care what you want. <laughs> like, okay, even better. You know, you, but how does that make you feel? With the, when the dealer showed up at your front door, how does that make you feel? Asking you, like, yo, I need to borrow the car. 
I'll be pissed. Like, mm-hmm. what are you asking me? I mean, think I'm a clown, huh? No, no, no. Hold it. <laughs> no, no, that's how I'm saying. I'm gonna tell him. Do you think I'm a clown? <laughs> oh, huh? I think I'm a clown. Oh, yeah, even that's better. Cute. Okay, mm-hmm. even Stop better. Him. So yeah, am I a fucking clown? All right, I like that. Uh, what about you? I would just be confused. Okay. Why? Why would you be confused? Because it doesn't make sense. Like why that would happen. Okay. Confused. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> That's exactly how men feel about their girl showing their body off on Instagram. Now, I know you guys are probably going to say, oh, we're not a fucking car, blah, blah, blah. But when a man commits you and gives you a relationship, that is essentially him paying all cash for the vehicle. Even though he knows he he drove it off the lot and it depreciates in value, because I hate to say it like that, beauty is a depreciating asset over time. He's still committing to you and purchasing it for full price. So... No guy wants to drive a car that has a for sale sign on it that can always be shown on display when he paid full price for it. It's disrespectful to the owner. And I know you guys say, oh my God, does my man own me? No, your man doesn't own you, but your man is the leader in the relationship and the representative, and you represent him. So if you go out looking crazy or whatever it may be, he's going to deal with the consequences of your bad actions, and men don't want to be embarrassed. So you saying just looking crazy and just shaking ass on Instagram and all that stuff? It's, it's okay, disrespectful yeah, yeah. to your man. That's, 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 that's disrespectful to, say, to yourself. Th- yeah, it's, yeah. But, but here's the thing. But a lot of women don't even see it that way. They'll just be mm-hmm. like, I want to do what I want to do, and you can't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you to, that you can't have an Instagram or anything. I'm just telling you that if a man commits to you and takes you seriously, mm-hmm. and you still have sexy photos of yourself, a.k.a. a for sale sign on your neck, it's very disrespectful to that man because yeah, men are territorial by nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and men, somebody liking your, your girl picture that they can't even just get. So, so they can't get him, though. Just down to this point as well. I mean, it's still disrespectful to the guy. It, it is, I'm not it is still. being naked, though. I say I got a nice dress on. I just look nice. Yo, so imagine you bought a car, like you said earlier, right? Mm-hmm. And you parked the car and people could just get in your car at any point in time, right? Like, just say, you know what? I, want, I like your car. I can get it whenever. How would you feel about that? I don't agree with it. Yeah. We got a video that kind of uh, depicts this as well. <laughs> yep. Chris just uh, uh, brought it up as well. I so think check it out. How are we looking at it as two different things? Like you saying that, you know, she's shaking her ass or he, a guy dating your girl, or having sex with your but, girl. But here's, here's the thing. The, case. The, the reason why I have to give it to you in that analogy mm-hmm. is because women have a very difficult time understanding that we're fucking different. So let's say what, visually. What, what a man can do is not necessarily what a woman can do and vice versa. We're very different. Yeah, I agree with that. That's so I have to give you guys like that same pain that you felt. That that dealer comes to your house and says, "Oh, I need to borrow the car for a few days." That's how men feel when their girls putting, you know, sexy pictures of themselves on the internet. It's embarrassing. But if they're getting paid and for it, and it's betrayed, they're not paying you for they're it. They're not bro. paying for it. Must be a thousand. But what if they? What if you are? He wouldn't be telling you to take it off. All right. All right. Uh, we got a video to play. <laughs> yep. All right. We'll we'll play this video and then we'll react to it. Shout out to Rose Star Star Gal. I was so. recording my car to make a post on how blessed I am, and this. What is that? And this happens. And this happens. happens. Okay. Oh, audio. I'm muted. There you go. Hey guys, like the video. We got 10,000 plus here on here. Look at this. 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 Now, if I go off, I'm wrong. If I go off, I'm wrong. I will be. Get the fuck out my car right now. That's disrespectful. It's not a joke and it's not funny. Get, Get the, the fuck, fuck out. out. Do not play with me like that. that. You don't open nobody's car like that. Are you insane? No, you're not sorry. Or you wouldn't have done it. Move. Yo, there's an echo. All right. It's, a, it's a echo. It's not Firefox. Mm-mm-mm. People are weird. Here, click the set, the set, the button settings. Yep. Let me go and do it again, guys. One second. We'll play it again from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Off? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, now play it. It should be good. Give us ones in the chat if it's uh, good. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, Dynasty. Look at this. Look at this. Ones in the chat if we're good. Now, if I go off, I'm Increase wrong. Increase the size on our side, Chris. If I go off, I'm wrong. It's good. It's not a joke and it's not funny. Get the fuck out. Do not play with me like that. You don't open nobody's <laughs> car like that. Are you insane? No, you're not sorry or you wouldn't have done it. Move. Fucking insane. You take a picture outside. I don't care. All right, there we go. No. Don't play with it. people's uh, stuff, man. She should have guessed that. Who's this fresh? Real star guy. You, you she came on the show as well. I, I know you had, uh, you had something that you want to say. Yeah, what if... 
she's posting pictures of her boyfriend all over her Instagram too. So it's not really like a for sale or like showcasing she's single, but like what's the difference? I mean, if you're going to stab like, me in the back uh, and pull it out three inches, that's not progress. Like, <laughs> but like, what if you know? a, what's the difference of a, a girl yeah, posting a picture uh, in a bikini and a girl wearing a bikini? Here's the thing. I'm saying in general, like most guys are going to have a point of issue with it. It's just that they can't speak up about it because we're going to, they have difficult conversations like this or girls say, well, tell me the logical reason. A lot of guys don't want to have to explain themselves. You know, so they're just going to be like, all right, cool. You don't want to do that shit. I'm just not going to commit to you. And I think that's what women need to understand is that this is how men think. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to like it. But if a guy is with you and you put certain pictures of yourself up on the Internet, he's going to have a point of contention with you. I promise he's he would prefer if you didn't do it. So I know what you're saying. Well, what if this or what if that and giving us a different scenarios or whatever? Why not just do it? One of the ones that do be posting like my girl look good. Yeah, there are guys that have girlfriends that have OnlyFans. I'm confused. My thing is this. I don't believe in that. You need to do it, and this is going to sound terrible. You ladies might not like this. You need to do it under the authority and supervision of your man. Babe, can I post this? Or what do you think about this picture? Whatever. If he's okay with it, then that's up to him. He's taking it. Yeah, some of my bikini but you gotta go through him. I'm by my I'll ex, agree. so. I'll agree. Yeah, but, yeah, but taking it, him, yeah. take, taking the picture versus posting it. No, he yeah. take it and edit it and tell me to post see, it. Because see, here's the bad side, right? You guys post whatever you want on your page. That's fine. However, you don't know how your man feels about it. So what happens is you post whatever you want, bikini pictures, you know, you maybe twerking, whatever, here and there. He's like, damn, I was going to wife her. But not anymore. Yeah. So he just talks to you, smashes you, but never is going to wipe you because of pictures. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Ladies, I, I just want women to know that these types of conversations are very difficult and yeah. guys just don't want to have them. Yeah. Like we're talking y'all about it because it's cool. But could you imagine you're in a relationship with a girl for a bit and this comes up and it bothers you? Are you going to tell your girl? Most guys just be like, hell no. You know what, bro? I can't marry this girl, man. Mm. I can't do it. And then next thing you know, you're in a relationship for three, four, five years wondering why you haven't gotten a ring. A lot of the time is because of this. You did something stupid that, and you don't even know. And the scary part, women, is at least with guys, when you deal with a girl and you get rejected up front, you know why you fucked up. You're weird. Maybe you smelled weird. Whatever the fuck, you got rejected. There's a, there's a, like there was a reinforcement on your, on your fuck up. With women, y'all will never know. He'll just say, "I'm never coming to this chick. She's a fucking hoe." But I'm gonna keep smashing. And it could be something you post on Instagram. It could be something you did when you were at the club. It could be something that happened that you aren't even aware of. The difference is that men, when they make their decisions when it comes to mating, they're silent about it. When women make their decisions, they're vocal about it. They go to TikTok. He's a loser. He's a bum. Emo- emotionally unavailable. Like, girls are okay with, you know, talking about their issues. Guys don't, though, because it's embarrassing. I'm not going to go to TikTok and be like, man, I thought about marrying this chick or I thought about committing to her, but she's a fucking slut. You know why he ain't going to do that? Because everyone in chat going to look at him like, <laughs> in the comment section. So that's why guys just move in silence when it comes to... What girls are going to fuck with, what girls they aren't. I get what Actions speak louder than words. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. I get what you're saying. You're right. But then you have their rare breed that really enjoys everything about their woman. They're so in love with their woman. And they don't mind. If you your guy's okay with it, that's one thing. But If he's not, But he's not. my thing is, is that men that are dominant, men that are assertive, guys that are more, how do I say this? I hate to use the term alpha. But mm-hmm. guys that have options that are attractive typically don't like that type of behavior from their girl. And they may not even tell you at all. They just won't tell you. Mm -hmm. They'll just move on to the next chick. Why am I going to sit here and explain myself to this chick? Because a lot of girls, like you said it earlier in the corner there, Miss Trackstar. Well, give me the logical reason for that. He don't look like... I'm not fucking... Like, he'll he'll just be be like, oh, no, baby, don't worry. He'll just like, whatever. But in the back of his mind, I'm not fucking explaining myself to this chick. Mm, She don't know who the fuck I am. He's just going to move on and talk to another girl and keep you in the sex-only category. But at first you said... What if he say just to delete your Instagram? But then you said, what if you're posting sexy pictures on your Instagram? Like, that's completely different. That's like, what if I was going to say, too. Yeah. Throwing, I'm like, sorry. beer ass and have thongs on and titties hanging out. Yeah, that's that different. Is, like, cause at the end of the day, different. once you decide so, to be with somebody, you're a representation of me. You're... So the hypothetical was deleting your Instagram. The actual things that happen in real time with the relationships is pictures that you post. So we're just yeah. saying it's two, it's two different scenarios, yeah. but it's the same premise. Because if the guy's asking you to do it and you care about them, why wouldn't you... Take, uh, take it off. And most it of the time, a- when girls can't post sexy pictures of themselves, they just end up deleting it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to keep it all the way 1,000. They just I'm end up deleting it anyway. This shit don't make 000. me no money. I don't get no lo- fucking likes. Hey, shout out to our boy. Steve will do it. it. Steve will do it. Steve did it. Shout out to Steve will do it, bro. Yeah, we need you on the show, bro. You need to pull up. Steve, come for after hours, bro. Yeah, man. You got to pull up. You're right down the street. We got you, bro. Shout out to Steve. Um, appreciate the donation, my friend. It's going to be a good tax write off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, you were saying something? No, yeah, I'm just saying, like, 
and especially if you're making money on Instagram, if you use Instagram for business purposes, like. But in general, most girls don't, man. Let's keep it a thousand. But what about the ones I that do? do? That's different. Okay, let's talk about the five percent. We're talking about in general. I do. Yeah. I make money. But, off Ninety money. plus percent. Good money. Don't make money off Instagram, and and the girls that do make money off Instagram, they're not showing ass pictures a lot of time, unless they're only fans or porn stars. Which yeah. those girls, that's a whole other category. Mm-hmm. But the girls that you know have a business or whatever else like that, they're not making money off their ass pictures unless they're in the sex industry. Yeah, I would argue that's a whole other. I would argue that you're right. It is a tool, but as a result, girls use it as a tool to get maybe other options of for guys or maybe flights out. The thing is like, it's a dating app in disguise because most guys are going to DM you, yo, what's good? Let me fly you out, this and that. And like, if you got a man, it's like, damn, you post a sexy picture, it's like, okay, now you're for, for so sign because they're like, okay, cool, she's available, she's hot, I'm going to hit her up. Yeah, Instagram is the number one dating app and it benefits women a lot because women just exist and get attention, DMs, opportunities, or whatever it may be. And I know what you said, oh, well, I can get opportunities. Let's be a thousand. These opportunities come typically at the cost of sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Let's be all the way. Yeah. I, feel like I can understand what merch. you guys are saying in terms of Instagram can be kind of uh, something to hold over someone's head in a sense, like subconsciously, like, oh, well, you know, I always I get attention from other guys or something like that. And so mm-hmm. it can be kind of like a, a power dynamic in the relationship that can be an issue. But I think that that's not. If we always think that that's what the situation well, is, then that's not necessarily true. It, it's not a power. And yo, shout out to Steve again with 100 bucks. Yo, man. shout out to you, Steve. Come on, Appreciate it, man. That's the homie right there. Um, Steve thank you will so much, do Steve. it. Yo, go, go subscribe to his YouTube channel, guys. Steve will do it. Go support Steve him. He's out here it. donating money, money giving it to poor families. Yo, my man is back, out here bro. saving For fucking real. lives, man. And he went skydiving with Fresh. Yes, he did go skydiving with Fresh. Bro, that was scary, bro. Shout out to Steve will do it. Uh, you, you should have made sure his parachute didn't deploy. What? <laughs> but anyway. You should have came, nigga. Hey, uh, nah. Hell nah. <laughs> oh, I don't crazy. I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of heights, bro. I can't Yo, the he's not scared of his own balcony, man. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. What you, what you were saying as far as like, because um, you were saying it's a power dynamic or whatever. I mean, you can say that. It's just that women want a guy who other women want. Okay? Typically. He has options, whatever. Men don't want a chick that's all over the place, like, oh, every guy wants her. Like, like dudes would prefer a girl that's, like, low-key, that's, like, kind of like his, you know? It's so like, when a girl's putting herself out there and all the other shit, like, yo, that's just not attractive a lot of the time. It's really not. Because guys know subconsciously, it's not about being insecure. It's about risk mitigation. I think that's hmm. that's back in the days. That's like old generation where they want low key girl. They want girls that can have fun with. Like I, I want to have fun with my girl. Mm. She cool. Like that's that boring shit is out of the picture now. Uh, well, they here's the thing. They don't want to. Oh, you you say that, but do you want your guy to be stronger than you? Of course. Do you want your guy to be able to protect you in times of danger? He, of course. Uh-huh. Do you want your guy to earn more money than you? Of course. Do you want him to be more confident and ambitious than yourself? Mm-hmm. Sounds to me like you want a traditional man. <laughs> Gotcha, bitch. But you're not a traditional woman. <laughs> see what I'm saying? See what I, see what the issue here? You want a traditional man, but you don't want to necessarily be a traditional woman. And my thing is this. If you want to be 50-50 and modern woman and, you know, be non-traditional, fantastic. You can go ahead and get a guy that isn't traditional. A guy that's going to go 50-50 on the bills with you. A guy that's your height. A guy that's going to let you do certain things. A guy that's not going to put his foot down. F- foot down. See, when you use female logic back on them, it doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. But guys are supposed to accept a woman that's not traditional herself. You want me to be there willing to die to protect you, but you won't even de- deactivate your Instagram? Once again, you you naturally going to do that because you love me. I'm naturally going to stop but that doing was these the things because I love you. In the beginning, that was the question in the beginning. That's why it changed after. And that's when you start thinking, okay, maybe if it's for business and stuff See. like that. But in the beginning, it was the men of your dreams. Wow, I'm talking loud. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. No, no. no well, keep I'm going. Saying the me- it, it said, would you delete your account for the men of your of your dream. And I like, said no. Mm-hmm. That's just basically it. Mm-hmm. That if that's the man of your dream, you would change that and you will... I mean, I'm going to naturally change on my own. Just like she's going to naturally do all these things because correct. he loves me and vice versa. I, I mean, honestly, Instagram isn't that important. If exactly. you want to get something done with your business, you can create a website that and actually true. make it look legit. So honestly... For the man of my dreams, yeah, I would delete that thing. If I wasn't making money off of social media, I wouldn't even be on that thing. So, guys, real quick, yeah. once again, Steve will do it. Five hundred and two hundred dollars. Yo, 
hell, five hundred dollars in total, man. Shout out to Steve, will do it, man. Yeah, Steve, yeah, I appreciate like, it. Steve, thank you so much. Yeah, um, but um, shout out to Steve, will do it. Go subscribe Steve to his YouTube channel, it, man. guys. He's a philanthropist, pretty much. He's <laughs> He's a, you guys need to see. He gives away Fist like $10,000, 20000 right? $30,000 support yeah. people on the street. Like, Do you oh, know? So he's he changing people's lives. Money God was still had if he didn't give, give it away. Yeah, he'd, be really, he'd be probably a billionaire by now. He'd be donating a lot of money. Wow, yeah, bro. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Try to see if he'll do it. So he got his whole fist in his mouth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, he actually, and people don't know this, he donates a lot of money off camera too. Yeah. Guys, like a lot off camera. Um, But going back to what I was saying, I mean, my thing is just this. I get what you're saying. Hey, we're in a different world nowadays. Like people are different, women are different. That's cool. I'm all about that. But I look at it like it's not a fair bet for the guy mm -hmm. where he has to stick to his traditional roles, mm -hmm. while you could pick and choose when you want to be a lady. Does exactly. that make sense? I'm always Which expected is. to be a gentleman, but you're not necessarily always mm -hmm. expected to be a lady. So my thing is, if I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna be a breadwinner, I'm gonna be confident, I'm gonna be ambitious, I'm gonna check all these boxes for you, right? You need to check certain boxes too. True. It's just that women don't like it when men have standards and reinforce them. Women can have standards all day, but when a man has standards, which honestly are easy to appease, just don't be a hoe, don't embarrass me, don't look ridiculous, don't fucking make me look like a clown when I walk in front of people. That's all guys really ask for, but women never want to forfeit the ability to act like they're single when they're in a relationship. And my thing is like, yo, that's disrespectful. It's just that a lot of guys don't have the balls to tell women this because if you say that, it's considered insecure. It's not insecure, it's risk mitigation. I'm not going to invest in someone who doesn't have... You're not gonna hire someone to work for the company that isn't qualified for the job, right? right? If I if I own a prestigious law firm and you come and you show me your resume, you need to be qualified for the job. Absolutely. Right? But if a girl comes in and she ain't qualified for the job, she looks all fucked up, she looks crazy, whatever it may be, why am I gonna hire her to work on my law firm? My law firm is prestigious. I'm learning the value of my own law firm by hiring someone that's not qualified for the job. I mean, yeah. But women be out here pretty much expecting to work for a high high quality law firm showing up in pajamas. And my thing is like why should the employer accept you no matter how you come? No, you have to self-improve too. Mm -hmm. Women will show more respect to their employers than their own goddamn man. That's crazy. That's so crazy. And that that's a fact. That's the truth. Vice versa. Women are more submissive to their bosses than to their men. Vice versa. What do you yeah, mean vice true. versa? Men the same way. Same thing. The same way you put it in them females, the same thing with males. But, males. but a, a submissive man is not attractive. A submissive it, woman it, is. You're right. You are so, totally right. So a, a man is not designed to be submissive. A submissive man is actually counterproductive to you as a woman. So we can't use this vice versa crap. Men and women are different. A submissive woman is attractive. Mm -hmm. A masculine man is attractive. But if you flip it, a masculine woman is not attractive. A submissive man is not attractive. Yeah. We're different. We're attracted we to different traits. A masculine woman and man. What was that? Mm -hmm. well, both of them are the same. Well, I, I say I'm an alpha woman? female I'm in a way, but I'm not a, a masculine. <laughs> I'm, I'm submissive as it comes, but the business that I, you know, that I do, I have to have a alpha female vibe. But no, There's I'm no such thing as alpha female. You can be. I don't agree with that though. You can, you're, you're giving me. You submissive to the guy that you love, but you still, you, you still have that alphaness in you. Like, oh, you know? so well, then let's just change the word. I got the. Yeah. I got a. Yeah. I got a, uh, I got a uh, business minded boss. Aggressive. Wait, but okay. don't. Okay. But don't change the word because that's not an alpha. Well, uh, well, let me change it back. Um, <laughs> let me change it back. Um, I'm an alpha female that is very submissive to the right one. You know that. That earns and deserve it, but that's just how I, you know, was brought up. I provide for myself. I've been doing a lot of things on myself. I mean, y'all can label it what y'all want, though. You okay, know? that's that's fantastic logic. By the, by your logic, then I'm a very masculine man when I meet the right woman. Otherwise, mm. I'm wearing heels, though. <laughs> what? No. Oh, it, when, oh, you, when, oh, when you meet oh, the right oh, woman, oh, 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 when you meet the right woman, oh, you're oh, more. Oh, 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 the show, stop the show. You stop the show. See, funny. see how when I use female logic back, it sounds fucking dumb. I want because no you said Nikes. no, no, no. But here's the thing: you said I'm an alpha female until I find the right guy. So in other words, con translation: I'm conditionally submissive for the right man. I actually didn't say that. I said I am an like, alpha female with alpha female traits, but I am a very submissive woman to the right with guy, the right alpha, which is verbatim, I, which is which is submit. the definition of conditionally submissive. On the condition the guy reaches a certain metric, you're submissive, correct? Mm. Yes. Uh, it's literally what you it, just it's said. Not, it's not really that because, like, I've done submitted, tried to submit, and it was just didn't work. So, I don't know. It, it, the point is this. You said you're alpha female, which, tr translation, that means you're masculine. Because you're alpha female, which means you're a go-getter, you're assertive, you're dominant, you're a hard worker. You're a-type personality. Nothing embarrassing about that. Cool. Fair, that's definitely but true. these are masculine traits, whether you want to accept it or not. 
So then you go ahead and you say, well, I'm submissive to the right guy, which means by default, you're conditionally submissive. Fantastic. I'm using your same logic with you. Mm -hmm. I'm a masculine man for the right woman, baby. Monday through Wednesday, I wear heels. If I find the right girl Saturday night, I'm wearing them loafers. See how crazy that sounds? True. So, I mean, so yeah, my thing is this. Sounds very crazy. That was a push. You, you no, but, but that's, a, that's what I'm trying to say is that women expect, well, I can be, I can pick, just going back to what I said before, mm -hmm. I can pick and choose when I can be feminine, but you always got to be masculine. See how ridiculous it is? Like, I should be able to say, I want to wear heels on Saturdays. I want to be conditionally masculine. And it goes back to what but I was right. saying. Once you're you get right. in a relationship with that person that but you love, you're naturally going to change for that person. Yeah, when I get in that relationship that I love, I'm going to wear shoes again. But you're skipping. But, uh, but you know what? You know what's funny, though? You're, you're skipping step, uh, steps because let's say, for example, the guy doesn't know you yet. You act masculine. He's like, damn, I'll never wipe her up. And, and so before you even get to that relationship, he's like, nah, I'm not going to mess with her. Because how you act. Guys so. love to throw the chase. So so even if I give, I, if I give defense, guys gonna be consistent. They love to throw the chase. Y'all love that shit. Men don't want to so date other men. Like so I give you, I'm, I make you hunt a little bit, but and honestly, then once we get together, we're, it's like... we're, we're hold on, we're we're moving the goalposts. The argument is simply being conditionally mm -hmm. submissive is retarded, just like me being conditionally masculine is retarded. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not saying you can't be a go getter and a boss and all that. You could go ahead and do it, but you got what do I always say? For every action, there's a reaction. True. You're so right. the thing is, is that I love a woman saying this. Oh, I'm a go-getter. I'm a boss bitch. Well, if you earn a lot of money and you're successful, guess what? You can't turn that shit off, bro. You can't. People that are successful have certain characteristics that make them. They're successful for a reason. They eat, breathe, and sleep their success. They always think about their business. They're always competitive. They're always grinding. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you can't pick and choose when you want to be a lady. Like, you might fake it. Like, you know, oh, I'm on a date with a guy. Let me act like a girl right now because I'm with him. But your real self is going to come out to some point. Mm -hmm. It's so true. All I'm simply saying is that what, what's you're making those. Just well, I'm very girly, you do though. That, don't mean you can't be girly. Like, was I'm that? very girly. Just I uh, penis, so, penis, so, but penis. Go penis. One, one mic at a time. Oh, mic. Go ahead. You I just feel like just because I make a mic. certain amount of money and I'm successful and I'm a go-getter and I'm ambitious, I don't mean I can't be submissive. Like, because I'm a hardworking female, I can't submit to a man. I mean... No, I don't see. I don't see the problem. No, well, here's the thing: it's not that you can't submit to a man. It's that now your threshold to submit to a man has increased. Okay, so I'm not settling for less. That's great. Okay, that's a good point. You're not settling, right? So why should a man that's high value that meets all your requirements settle on you? Okay, so would you rather a leech? Would you rather somebody who's not making much money and then yes, it'll be, all right, but it'd be the no, same. No, let her it, finish. Go it'll ahead. be the same men that say that, and then hmm. once a female then complains, say, "Oh, bitches are bums. They just want to leech on me. They're gold diggers. They're this, they're that." Like I see all the time. They say that to appease your ego so that they can sleep with you. Hmm. Yeah, but then they like, answer me this: bitch. Men lie all the time. Actions speak louder than words. You work at G Five. Okay. How many of them dumb bitches do you see hanging out with millionaires that you know that bitch is retarded? Hold on. Thank you. So actions speak louder than words. Ooh. They'll say that because they know you're a go-getter. They know you're a higher earner. They know that you're not necessarily a dancer, but you're making money behind the scenes doing other things. Mm -hmm. So they're going to appease your ego and tell you, yeah, I'm tired of these fucking dumbass bitches that just use me for my money. Mm -hmm. Why? Because men understand you got to build rapport with girls. Let me appease to her ego. So <clears throat> girls that are successful that make money, what is the guy going to do? He ain't going to tell you, man, you act like a nigga. This ain't attractive. He's going to tell you, oh my God, yeah, I love a girl that gets her own. It's cap though, because the actions show men typically want girls. Right, the successful men that you know, and you see, you've already proved it for me. They're what? what? Girls that don't make money like that. Yeah. You want to know why? They're easier to deal with. Girls that make their own money have high standards. They're assertive. They're dominant. They're non-compliant. They're competitive. These are great traits to have as a man, but it's not that great for a girl. Yeah, but ideally, I feel like a quality man March. wants a girl who has some sort of quality. Period. Like, how and can he you love be it? Here's the problem. Me are you, you a man? No. You can feel how you want and you can say what you want men should like, but men and women are different. We like different things. Yeah. You want, here's the thing. You have become the man that you're looking for. Assertive, dominant, aggressive, competitive, ambitious, etc. Great for you, but it's going to it's gonna hurt you to a degree. And what I mean by that is that you're a higher earner. You live here in Miami. You're accustomed to a certain lifestyle. For a man to even get to you, for you to even notice a guy, he's going to be a small minority of men. And you're tall. So you probably want a guy that's six foot, Hundred grand at least a year, attractive, confident, ambitious. You know how many of these guys are around? Only three percent of the U.S. population is six foot two or above, and we haven't even added in a hundred thousand a year or more. Mm -hmm. So how many of these guys are there? And then more importantly, how many of these are these guys out there that are going to want to date you? That's true. I mean, that's so true. who has the leverage here? The man or the woman? But so sh I should hold on, hold on. Answer the question. Who has the leverage? The man or the woman? Supply and demand. The man. Okay. So who dictates the terms? But. <laughs> 
There you go. But what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that necessarily <laughs> men complain a lot when they have females that don't bring enough to the table and then they complain about them. But when you do have females that bring things to the table, it's considered who's on the boats she, though. They complain about them. Who's getting dates? Who's Thank getting the bags? Drama. The dumb bitches that you're talking about. Yeah, but they're not actions getting... speak louder than words. But are they is it long term though? They're rant like oh, those bitches that's getting the bags, that's doing the, they gotta run from the next nigga that got the money to the next nigga that got the money. They gotta keep they gotta keep that up because they don't have nothing else to bring to the table. They body but count. They're, but it's a look. Their value goes down. And I mean, like a real said. thing. I mean, females date niggas' pockets, you know, and niggas date females' bodies. Like, yeah, but, but you're you're missing the point. That, tough. that for the guy that you want being assertive and competitive, etc., is gonna hurt you. That's all I'm trying to say. It it's not the a man that has these traits is sexy a woman that has these traits loses her sexiness and you're educated yeah. too you got a bachelor's degree your standards are fairly high they are okay but again those standards are high how many of these guys are around and most importantly how many of those guys are around and want to date you I seriously never had an issue but i did get Do you, you have know, a I ring like... on your finger no there you go but i'm not necessarily gotcha, ready to get married like when what do you mean when what age I mean, I'm not saying I don't want to get married in the near future, but what, what I'm age? saying, I would say like 27, 20, maybe 28, 29. Okay. Damn, that's 20 How old years? are you right now? 25. I don't see 27, but 28, 29. Oh, probably I mean, I if you kids. want to be married by 28, 29, you're going to probably need a few years to, you know, date, date the guy, get to know him, etc. Yeah. That's going to take a couple of years. So like, you should be actively looking now if you want to find that guy. And the thing is, is that the older you get, the more that window closes. When you're 30, when you're 30 years old, you won't be able to compete with the girls that are 20. That's true. Unfortunately. So it's like, you know, it, it, I think I think women need to have a, like a serious sit down and think to themselves like, all right, if I'm not going to settle, am I okay with the fact that I'm not going to find a guy? And most girls are not okay with that, but at the same time, that. they don't want to settle. I definitely thought about and if, that. And I'll mm. be honest with you, your standards are really high. If you do find a guy that you want, he's going to fuck other bitches. That's a fact. Are you willing to accept that? Well, damn. Are you willing to share your high value man? No, mm. not necessarily, No. I mean, it's case, more so. Yeah. It's not so much Get a dog. like you. I feel like it's more so reality <laughs> and yeah. what you want to deal with. Like, no, I don't want my man to cheat on me. But realistically, if you look at man's nature, how much men, you know, look at the ratio. Like, how much men is really cheating in marriages? How much man is cheating in relationships? Like, it's realistic. Like, oh, am I gonna sit, sit here and say my man is never gonna cheat on me? No, I'm not gonna say that. But am I gonna say, oh, I'm just gonna accept the fact of cheating? No, I'm not gonna say that either. Like, you need to though. I mean, yeah. listen, the rule is like Jesus say, don't get caught. Just don't get caught. <laughs> I mean, don't put it in the face. That's the rule. Let me know. Find out. Yeah. Just don't get caught. I, I've been not catch your ass. Just don't get caught slipping is all I can say. The I thing is, men are going to sleep around with women. That's like literally in their nature. It doesn't matter. Not all men. Uh, but yeah, if they can, all if they can and they don't have options, but if a man does have options, he will. It, there we go. Uh, there you go. He ain't got no options. He get I wish one. women would understand that like men are men, right? They're gonna move how they move. Put your ego aside and say, you know what? Damn, this is facts. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna lower my expectations mm -hmm. and step into reality and say, you know what? Cool. This is what I'm getting into. Now I know, so I'm not gonna be hurt. That's the biggest thing here. Once you know, you know. But if you don't know, I'm just having a tough Them talk that your yeah. that your brother, your dad, your cousin should have told you because a lot of girls, be honest, have an an unrealistic um, expectation yeah. as to what kind of man they want, and then most importantly, what kind of guy that they can attract, and most importantly, retain. If you want a guy that's high status, that has a shit together, that has money, etc., you got to be prepared to share him sexually. You want him all to yourself? Cool. You're gonna have to date down and get a more average man. But we already went through. And I asked y'all, most of y'all don't want an average man except for her. So do you think Justin Bieber would cheat on Haley? Because he's like, okay, he definitely down. has been. They have it. Four hundred, six hundred, Baby, I mean, baby, that's a bad baby. Example. That's a oh, terrible example. Because he's like a, a baby, Christian. Baby, he's, baby. Celebs are the biggest yeah. ones that be fucking these chicks. Yeah. True, that's true. But he Group. always make it seem like he's such a loyal man. You he make to. it seem. He's in the public eye. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Scream. Because of, and he that's always talks about his exist. background. That's why NDAs exist. That's why, like, Right, no, true. like, what if there's some people? Because I watch like oh, Criminal Minds <laughs> and like FBI Profiler. There's literally some guys, there are literally some guys that literally just can't cheat because they're so into the religious purposes. Like, 
Okay, that's a buffer. That's a hedge against infidelity. Is, is a very yeah, religious man. Yeah, some of them that just mm-hmm. can't dis- disrespect. But, but God, how many religious guys are you gonna run into in twenty twenty two, bro? A lot. Mm-hmm. Let I me tell you something. I'm sorry. And even if he is religious, he's still gonna fuck bitches. Exactly. Because <laughs> oh, that's some the of them. Main, but that's that's fake ones. Those are fake. The thing is, the main one, like you, you, you'll be surprised, but a lot of the men, a lot of men that cheat, a lot of them are Christians, and yeah. they, and they have beliefs. So you talk to all Christian 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 religions. Yeah, Yeah, that's statistically accurate. I'm not saying it's accurate, but I've seen it multiple times. Speaking in general. Ladies, remember, you got to remember that the exception is not the rule. We're saying in general Mm -hmm. how the world Mm -hmm. works. If you're going to take, you know, straw man like, oh, well, this guy didn't do it. All right, oh, a guy here that didn't do it. You know, you're talking about a very small percentile. Like, we got to go off of probability, not possibility. Women always like to go off of the possibility. Hey. You know, I know that that guy's out there. I know it's a half a percent chance, but you know what? It's possible. (laughs) No, we got to go off of what's probable. What is probable? Okay, if I make meet a man that's six foot three, that's attractive and can get and and got me. Well, there's probably a lot of other bitches that want him too. Damn. Okay, there's gonna be bitches sucking his dick in the bathroom. He's gonna be smashing chicks every now and then. But you know what? He comes to me. I can live with that. I have the house. I have the kids. Whatever. I agree. The higher quality of the man, the bitch you gonna cheat. That's why my rule is just don't get caught. I mean, I can't. I don't know where you at at all times. Just don't get caught because I'm not from the don't show. Me your scene, yeah, show don't location. put it in your face. That's all. Right. Don't, don't look though. Face. Like, I, I, <laughs> okay. And she better not disrespect me. Or and be you honest. Better, yeah, you know. Right. And be so, honest. You got something? Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead. Please. I think there's a big difference between high status and high value. Like, I think that if a woman has respect for herself, then she doesn't, maybe she wants to be chosen and not treated like an option. And if I think, too, it kind of plays into this argument where we're talking about, like, a woman should be submissive and a man should be dominant. Let me just stop you real quick. She doesn't get that choice once you reach a certain level. If she wants to be with a guy of that level. But I don't but, think the majority the of women want that. Once, once you deal with a guy of a certain level, you forfeit all leverage as a woman. Yeah. That's of an status. uncomfortable reality. Yeah, of, of income, too. Right, but you, I think that there's plenty of men who make an income who want to have a family, who don't want to have this huge extravagant life that want to be monogamous. I don't think that it's like every single man. They're going to step out from time to time, bro. I'm telling you. Some those work trips. If you don't cook for them. Those work <laughs> trips when they're out with the guys, when they're on the, you know, whatever it may be, they're going to step out from time to time. I know what you're saying. What you're saying is ideal. Hey, that's the best way it could be. But I'm preparing women for reality. That's true. Because that mindset that you have is going to, is why so many women are sad, depressed, whatever, when they get, mm-hmm. they, they catch their guy cheating on them. You think you're with a Chad? that makes money is successful, that he's going to be all to you? No, <laughs> this guy is extremely rare. But I think that if a woman, like, chooses... if I think that it's not the issue that he's going out and having sex with other people. It's okay. that you're choosing consciously to commit to a monogamous relationship. And then you're breaching that trust. So it's not about, like, oh, like, you have the desire and that makes me upset, making me... What's wrong with me? It's like, you decided that you wanted to be in a relationship with one person and because of your you want to hear a dirty little secret Mm -hmm. no you decided to be in a relationship with that guy monogamously Mm -hmm. men and women are not the same if you leave a man to his own devices our sexual strategy spread our seed far and wide your sexual strategy meet the best guy consolidate on him so one person has to concede in the mating process the problem is that most guys on paper concede to the women but in reality they don't yeah but if they have the status to not be able to do so so monogamy, you're looking at it. Here's the problem. You're looking at it through a female lens, looking at it like monogamy. Yeah. But for guys, monogamy is not what they want. A man's sexual strategy is have sex with as many chicks as he can, bust nuts till the day he dies, spread the seed far and wide. A woman is, let me get the best guy and consolidate on that man to get security for not just me, but my children. I understand what you're saying, but I think that... In a society where there are benefits to monogamy, like people might be drawn to that. And I think that also this idea that all men just like want to spread their seed, like we're human beings living in a society and have rational thoughts. So we Mm -hmm. can decide like, oh, I have these urges, but this is not necessarily like the lifestyle I want to live. Like if you're going into a a monogamous relationship, then let that woman know like, hey, down the line, I'm going to step out. It's not the we tell guys to be honest about that. Yeah, but but but, but that's an ideal world. Most guys are not going to be honest. Right, mm. but then that's that's a problem because it's not the it's not the fact that you want to step when out. We can't handle it's the truth. That's why. Look look at right now. I don't know if you guys noticed. I've been watching all of you very closely. I've given you guys the raw truth. 
and all of you have been very unhappy with the raw truth. No lube. Not mm -hmm. all, but like you guys have had points of contention with what I've said. It's been a fairly difficult conversation, fairly uncomfortable. Do you think I would want to have this conversation with a girl that has my children, has my family, could potentially divorce me and I lose half my money? Fuck no. True. That's why guys can't be honest. Women can't handle the truth. Mm -hmm. We went around earlier. What do you think about this chick? She's beautiful. She's a fucking whale. <laughs> but again, Shemble. women can't handle the truth. This is, this, is, like, this is what I've come to realize. I've interviewed well over a thousand of y'all, man. I know you guys better than you know yourselves. Women can't handle the truth. They prefer comforting lies over uncomfortable truths. I think women. I think That's you're saying true. women can't handle your truth. There's not the truth. Everybody, <laughs> there is no the no. truth. That's why there's a lot of girl drama. No, it's it's true. Fitness. As a coming from a woman, yeah. you sometimes can't handle the truth. That's how beef start. Here's girls. the thing. There's only one truth, man. There's not your truth, my truth. Truth is not subjective. It's objective. Then and I'll make an argument that saying that truth is subjective is extremely dangerous. Mm. Because when you say truth is subjective, well, now that truth is based on someone's interpretation. And that person might not have the cognitive ability or awareness or knowledge yeah. to even be able to distinguish what is true and what is not. Right. Clearly, Could you imagine if we went around and said, well, you know what, ma'am? It's my truth. One plus one is three. <laughs> oh, we really? would be living in a dysfunctional, fucked up society. Nothing will be built correctly. Everything will be fucked up. You need one truth so that we have a stable line of foundation that where we can all come to and build from there. So this whole ideology of my and I'll, I'll, I'll honestly I only hear women saying this stupidity. Most guys I've never most guys at least like masculine men understand there's one truth, but like this whole my truth, your truth, whatever. No, there's just one truth. Your appreciation of the truth is uh, is relative, but the truth is not. So you don't have to like the truth. Some people don't. There's facts versus opinions. Yes. If there was one truth, why are there many different religions? Why are there many different opinions? Some are false. Well, because somebody, they, somebody ain't like something, they took that and yeah. built their own Some are thing. false. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. But everybody sees the world through their subjective lens. Doesn't so mean that's right. Even you saying, like, this woman is a whale, that's not the truth. That's your truth. Somebody else might look at her. She's and, technically obese. Okay. That's a fact. For her age and her height, she would probably be technically obese. She's obese. obese. No, she she's is. a fact. Well, somebody though, might look at her and think that, like, that she's not a whale. Like, so you're saying that, like, that's hold on, just hold on. the let's, truth. Let's go back. Let's get the feelings out of it. Sentence ends right here. She is technically obese from a numerical standpoint. She's yeah. obese, which therefore means she's fat. Then I can use a joke. She's a whale, which means fat. Yeah. But your opinion on relationships isn't the truth. It's a or truth. What part was not true? The fact that all this idea that every single man, like I said, most, not all. It's not. Yeah, even that. Maybe, maybe. Let's men take a poll. You know. We got ten thousand plus people in here. Almost eleven thousand live viewers. Like most video, of them man. are men. <laughs> like the video, by the way, guys. If given the option, would you want to be monogamous or have multiple women? We'll ask the guys in here. We got almost eleven thousand guys in here. They're going to be able to vote, you know, anonymously, so they can be honest without necessarily losing their jobs or getting embarrassed or whatever else, or maybe getting their wife mad. So we'll see right here. We're going to do a poll, and you'll see what they say. I just think. Actually, Myron. What? We had a poll already. Oh, we already had the poll? We already did oh. that exact oh, okay. question. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like your niche. So it's yes. like your niche that follows you, obviously, like, believes what you say and your opinion. They're your fans. Like, so majority of the poll is going to be on, like, you it's know, completely the side that poll, you're it's, saying. Yeah, it's yeah, biased. It's not as accurate, I guess. Yeah. Okay. More than one, 80%, only one, 20%. That's fairly accurate. That's so I'm saying yeah, the majority of guys. people that follow you, so it's like you're well, a niche. We got a lot of haters that watch this too. So yeah, I was saying like, all, 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 all over the world. Have spot haters. UK, Netherlands, yeah. Africa, right. Australia, From all over the world. So all over the world. Yeah, but you're, yeah, but they like you. Yeah, the so people, no, there's, people there's people that watch that don't like what they, you know, they just haters. Yeah, yeah but, but you're still doing a poll if like. You know, no, they, they wouldn't work. do a poll because I, they always want to call. Hey, watch this. She's trying to say that they haven't tested like the whole entire world. So, <laughs> what, what, really so here's the thing <laughs> what is not true? So, your argument is that most guys is your argument that I'm not correct and I say most guys want to be able to have multiple women? Mm -hmm. I don't, I think that m maybe some guys, I don't think we, like we should throw around these words like most when we don't have like the statistics. I'm not gonna lie, this not is all. popular in the Asian most. culture. Though. I want to just say this, I kind of feel as though. Like for the role switch for females, when we growing up, not I say 19, 20, most likely we, we have most of our shit together because our parents help us out, give us that push, right? So we have the option to meet different guys and do all that stuff. Once we get older and then the guys finally get their shit together, it's like you are okay. older. 
Hush. <laughs> <laughs> Once Damn. the guys get older and actually get their shit together, it's like now they got multiple women they can go. They go to the younger, they can go to all like the things flip. I mean, here's the thing. You can say that, but since the beginning of time, powerful men have had hordes of women. So again, it adds credence to what I'm saying. I mean, it's a very simple concept. Men want quantity, women want quality. I don't know why this is very difficult to understand. But, but hold on. Her point of reference, right? Is probably her boyfriend. No, no. Because uh, our point of reference or yeah. origin is a group of men, right? That feel the same way. What's your reference? Because you said, I feel like it should be this way. What, what's, your, what's your reference? I'm not saying I feel like it should be any certain way, but I think that there's a reason why many women, not just women, but people have in contrasting belief in this regard so i think the saying that the, this is the truth isn't necessarily true like i think that there's it's an opinion not a fact that most men want multiple women that is a fact and I it's proven it's a, by biology since the beginning of time it's just that most guys can't execute it you can use that same biology though to argue that women want multiple men too just they because don't. that's not necessarily true and i think too, let's go around the table right now if you can have sex with multiple guys at the same time, or just one guy, Who'd which you would pick? you prefer? I would prefer one guy. One guy. One. One. You need more chestnut and uh... Mike. Mike. No, go on, get it. Oh, Mike. oh, shoot! I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. One guy. Yeah. Got one you. guy or multiple. Let me. Um. Hmm. All right. I'll get one. I want one. 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 Oh no. <laughs> one. Gotcha, bitch. It's just Your own too much. panel of women prove my point. That's if my given point. the choice, women prefer one guy. If man, give him the choice, multiple girls. It's too very sausage? simple. I don't think That's there's anything much. wrong with wanting multiple partners. I'm saying that why don't you seek out a woman who is either polyamorous or see, you have to accept the fact that I have to find a woman who's going to accept that I'm going to sleep around and like someone who's going to be okay with being I already answered your on question. Her. Most women can't handle the truth. So you lie? So they're gonna a lot of guys lie, yeah. Yeah. So and have you had a girlfriend that was polyamorous? What does that have to do with what does it have to do with anything here? <laughs> well, no, I'm just asking. Like I'm, I'm I'm the argument here simply, guys, is that men want multiple women, women typically want one guy. That's the argument. What men want it? quantity, so women we, want quality. I can't believe what we, is always our our personal Yeah, what is our things? personal because what's... I mean you give like the dating advice and stuff, so like have you talked about like your relationships and you know? <laughs> Actually, what our the, thing is, our, our shit's public. What the, yeah, our shit's yeah. public. I, mean, I don't shit. know. But why, why, th that doesn't take away from the argument that men want quantity and women want quality or deflecting. I'm right saying, now. like, have you been in a relationship where the woman was okay with that? You know what I mean? Yes. So? So you If you're high her? value enough, women will share you. That's, that's yeah. it's just the way it is. It's been that way since the beginning of time. Multiple. And her the thoughts difference don't is matter. that you have to really have your shit together to be able to execute it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you don't lie, you just tell them, right? I tell them. But here's the problem. I'm being... I tell girls I'm honest, but most guys aren't going to be. So I'm preparing you guys for the future. Most dudes aren't going to be honest about this. Appreciate it. And the dudes Look at Diddy. So then what are women getting in this trade-off of a relationship if it's not the bills anymore? Mm. You will learn well, with time. Yeah. Well, women, you get, you get security. What you, kind of you security? Can't, so here's the thing. Men can easily replace all the things that women bring to the table, but a woman cannot replace what a man brings to the table because... Women are creatures, social creatures. Women are more interested in people. Men are more interested in things. So women want that relationship with a man. Women need men. And I know people don't like it when I say that, but it's the truth. Women biologically need men. Well, I think men, we all need each other. There's no way we can have a, an evolving society. Women need men for survival. <laughs> men don't need women for survival. Men need women for social, societal propagation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's That's a difference. In, in yeah. The yeah, it's proven. That's actually true. We got Fifth Thick Licks, 300 bucks says, stop it, get it's some help. With his ad. Stop stop it. It. Three Thick Licks in the building. To the point. Yeah, I'm not saying, <laughs> I, here's the thing, I'm not saying men are better than women or whatever. I'm just saying that the things that we tend to be better in are very important for survival, which is why women need men for survival. It's only in modern day times that women have been able to exist without the provisioning and security of men. Yep. Right, but it's, but, I mean, a, whim, a woman if raising we were to take a child. Wait, hold on, let's let her finish. Please go ahead and then, and then we can say her point. A, like men are able to do these things after being raised by women after these women gave birth to them like their women play a major role in society i'm not saying women are useless you're, you're making the mistake of thinking that i'm saying that women are useless yeah, i'm saying simply need women in that sense no men do not need women for survival strictly that men can survive on their own without women 
We can't propagate a society without y'all, though. Mm-hmm. So we need women to continue the lineage. Mm-hmm. So then you can't survive necessarily, and women then women. You absolutely can. You yeah. just can't have another generation. Yeah. yeah. So why can't a woman sur- What what? Why can't a woman survive without a man? A woman cannot force enough calories for herself and her children by herself. Yeah. It's only in modern day society that they can with modern conveniences like convenience stores, you know, electricity, technology, whatever. But since mm-hmm. the beginning of time, there's a reason why women. When when a new army would come in and take over, the women went with this with the victors because they can't survive on their own. Women cannot defend themselves against the elements by themselves. They're not strong enough to manipulate the world and change things like men are. I understand what you're saying, but I think that <laughs> our society has evolved a lot, and now we do have these great points. Okay, so why keep that old social ideology? constructs don't adhere to reality? In other words, you've been programmed for a millennia to be a certain way. Just the fact because we have electricity or whatever doesn't change the fact that you're programmed a certain way. You still want a tall man. You still want a guy that's stronger than you. You still want a man that's ambitious. These are hardwired traits in you as a woman to look for these survival traits in a man, even though we have all these modern conveniences. That's not necessarily true, though, for everybody. Not everybody they wants, teach, like, a big, tall, strong man. I would argue a majority of women want a guy that's yeah, taller, bigger, and stronger yeah. than them. They teach that Let's be honest with here. cartoons, like, superheroes. They always tall, big, strong. We just live, we watch I mean, the man that you're with right now is six foot two. I'm think, willing to it? bet that was a large component in your attraction towards him, which is a survival trait. I mean, you can't fight your biology. Attraction isn't a choice. <laughs> I think in general, though, like, these conversations aren't actually applicable to the a real relationship dynamic because attraction is deeper than all of these rules we have before we go into a relationship okay so we were on the point of (laughs) men need see you're moving the goal the the point i'm trying to make here is women need men for survival i explained to you why even in modern day society right women still look for survival traits that was argument he's the leader he's i give her three months women women need men for for survival three months (laughs) i mean what (laughs) <laughs> I said he gave her three months. <laughs> there was someone three else I was going to say something. Right here. Um, Go ahead. Kind of similar. I was basically saying if we had like an apocalypse and everything was destroyed, nothing, no phone, nothing. The yeah. We would all rely on a man to like. Facts. Well, you never know. Yeah, you have light and electricity. And, 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 and the out, reason but... why for that is because like, let's say like the power went out tomorrow and people were scavenging the streets, whatever. Would you physically, realistically be able to defend yourself against a man? No, you wouldn't. You would lose nine times out of ten. Yep, Women cannot foolish. physically compete with men in any degree. A high school boy will destroy you. I just think that regardless no of no, it's okay. I'm just think that regardless of like these truths or whatever about like men if, even if a woman did like need a man to survive i don't think that that has to play into a relationship well a man isn't because women need me not i'm entitled to having all of these freedoms that she's not three weeks <laughs> would you be yeah, able to weeks. do construction work it's not about <laughs> men are entitled to to these 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 privileges i'm saying that when a man has worked himself up to get to a certain point you cannot dictate how the relationship's going to go now. The man's going to do what he wants. You either get with the program or get left. You women will be lose, submissive. Women lose leverage when the man becomes successful. That's what I'm trying to explain here. Yeah. And there's more male uh-huh. as construction workers than women. Like, I don't know. Wait. Just take the L. Wait, wait. <laughs> Just take the L. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm all for the open forum, but do you ladies see where I'm coming from here? Like, I this is... Once you get shit together, we, we fuck. Coming mm-hmm. from a strong father, I understand. Yeah, I like, am a daddy's girl, and I understand. Yeah. So, no, like, like women are not right. the same as men. Like, women cannot actually. No, they did a shout out to Kevin Samuels. He talked about this, and uh, they did a they did a Survivor series called Bear Grylls. They put women on the island. They put men on the island. Within a few days, the the cast had to come in and say the the production crew had to come in and save the women. They couldn't get clean water. They couldn't hunt. They mm-hmm. couldn't get food. They couldn't build shelter. But with the men, within a couple of days, they had shelter, they had water, they had food, because men kind of understand there's a hierarchy. With the women, they're all trying to say, okay, what do you want to do? Let's vote on this shit. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Nothing gets done by community. You got to establish a hierarchy right off rip. Men understand this. So what the guys are like, all right, you the most dominant guy, all right, you go get build a house. You guys go hunt. We're going to go clean water. The men were able to, you know, divide the labor up. Bam, make it happen. (laughs) Fuck your feelings. We need to survive. With the women, oh, how does this make you feel? Oh, let's not kill the animals. Oh, my God. So... This is this is what happens when women are in leadership positions, and this crew had to come in and save the women. I was in the army training, and I remember a guy. He just, hey, Samson, do this, do this. He just started putting us to work. I'm like, okay, well, I guess he's the goddamn leader. Like, yes, that's true. Yes, Guys daddy. Do just jump in yep, and be assertive. That's the lead yeah. Tour. So, 
So you can say that, but women really do need men for survival because without a man's protection, who's going to protect you against the other men? You're right. I wouldn't have survived without my father. Mm. Mm. I survived without mine, but you got a point. Okay, so let's do chats and then we'll do questions and answers. Hey guys, and guys, there's 11,000 plus you on here. Like the goddamn video. Come Fresh. on. Can you read like the like channel like as well, guys. Like, like, we got like, Samuel, like. 20 bucks says, Samuel. bullying is very different from telling someone the truth. I'm all for telling a fat chick or dude they're fat, but that's not bullying. That's, that's no proper way to get someone to change uh, IMO. Love and respect to FNF crew always. All right, shout out to you, uh, Samuel. Raymond Jimenez, 20 bucks says, we need a fresh and fit sound effects app so we can use the sounds in our conversations. Oh. Believe it or not, the sounds actually help deliver the message. Having a talk at the dinner table after the other night and needed a Don DeMarco. <laughs> All right, uh, that's possible. Don DeMarco. Uh, now to explain, 20 bucks says, Break out the delusion calculator. These answers are insane. <laughs> Very insane, bro. Um, we got Wayne. 20 bucks says, Miami is full of unicorns. Possibly. Even if Simone is, 20 bucks says, So the nine can admit that she smashed the first night, but if I think that they a P is so, so special and amazing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fast and Furious. Um, thanks for all the value, fresh and fit. Any tips on how to train on being assertive and control your emotions? I get triggered a lot after this content. You guys are putting 10 years of knowledge in two hours in our ears. Yeah, bro. I mean, don't take it personal. Just be grateful that you're understanding the knowledge and you could apply it. I uh, understand that, like, yo, like, now you know, now you know the knowledge, Um, you know, use it to your, to your advantage. So th- don't take it personal. Dr. Mo77 says 20 bucks. Do ladies know how to cook? And I'm not talking microwave meals. Sure do. You know how to cook? Yes, yeah. Sir. You know how to cook? I know how to make a couple of things. Like what? Hot pockets. You know it's funny because the first one I was gonna say was Alfredo. Oh, God, what about you? Oh, I'm vegan. I know how to cook my butt off. Okay. Period. No meat. No meat. Yeah, I like to. I love to cook actually. So. Favorite dish. Um, I like to make pasta like um uh, ala vodka. What's up, what's up with y'all, Alfredo, man? <laughs> but, like homemade, pasta, obviously, good. like from scratch. You know. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I used to run a food business at school. Yeah, I used to run a food business at school, so what? I cook heavily. What's your favorite? Well, I'm Jamaican, so I cook a lot of Jamaican. <laughs> food. Fire! Bye bye. Bye bye. I can cook. I'm just not your grandma. I can't. I'm. You know, grandma so so full. I'm not the mm. best at so so full. Girl. girl, but I can cook. Put you you won't be it. hungry. Okay. <laughs> I like to cook. Really? You cook? What? What do you cook? Really? Toast. A little bit. Toast? toast? <laughs> Avocado toast, right? Oh, water. Wait, you said toast? Man. Uh, what's so tough? Hey, toast? chicken, no seasoning. Don't get out of here with that toast. Avocado. What's up? <laughs> okay, well, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Joshua yeah. Kimber here, 20 bucks. If a man is paying most of the bills, the woman should want to cook for him. If you don't want to cook, yeah. fine. You pay most of the bills then. And I wonder if the women on the panel who disagree with are from single mother households. So you're saying if the guy pays the bills, you should want to cook. And if you don't want to cook, you should pay the bills. Sounds about it, right? I what, guess. Why are we both paying bills? Both cook. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I'm both bill cook. prepping and everything. We got I am TMK. 50 bucks says, ladies who say equal relationships or they make their own money. Say you meet the perfect guy. And after a while, you talk about living together. And he says, join account for expenses, mortgage slash rent, or separate accounts otherwise. What then? You said what? You read, read that I'm sorry. So you say basically, if you want equal relationship, um, he's saying, say you meet the perfect guy. After what you talk about living together, he says he wants to join account for expenses, mortgage and rent, but separate accounts otherwise. Sounds about right to me. You want a joint account for no, bills, so for expenses for and rent stuff. is joint, but other stuff is separate. Sounds about right. I mean, so, so it means you know, that you're sharing the majority of the heavy bills, basically. No, my mortgage sure. didn't be paid. No. Okay, so that's no. <laughs> but I've I don't know. Like you like bill? Together? What a bill? I've been like bill? What a bill? I buy the food. Question for the ladies. I'll go real quick. And we, we, we shout out to our guy, Kevin, right? right? Rest in peace. If you're in a relationship with a guy, your main guy, married, living together, whatever it may be, would you want to pay the significant amount of bills? I mean, I guess it depends on like, yes or no. the situation. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind necessarily yes no. if I'm making enough. All the time? Mm-hmm. So that means you would have to work full time. You have children. You're working. If I loved what I, if I had a, like my dream career or whatever that was, then I would be happy to work full time. Yes. With kids and everything mm-hmm. and pay half the bills. Yeah. If I, and if I could afford a nanny, that would be cool too. To well, help out. Okay. What about you? What's the question? Would again? you want to pay a significant amount of the bills if you're in a relationship or married to a man? 
Not the main bill. I put like the waters and lights. And okay. Stuff like the that. water lights. No. No. Cable. Cable. Uh, I don't mind what about you? You pay the mortgage. Would oh, you want to pay the significant bills oh, if you're um, in a serious relationship with a man living with him? Serious relationship. Yeah. Um, no. No. Okay. No. What about you? <laughs> no. No. Um, fifty-fifty. You'd be okay with that. Um, what if you make half of what he makes? It's not that like, what if he goes broke by it? Like he does like a bad gamble and he's broke. So now I have to help them. Yeah. Gamble, go your money. It happened before. I mean, let's assume no, he's not a gambler that. that you didn't marry a guy. No, that's not, a gambler. No, not a gambler. Before? Like he gambled, like, no, like say he had a business and he sold his company, but he spent his, the money he sold like fast, like a gamble. Like I'm just being like extra. Oh, he just did a bad, bad, bad blow yeah. Deal. Yeah. Yeah. Deal. Okay. Would you want to pay significant bills if you're in a related, married to a guy? Yeah. Ish, yeah, 50. But right now, no. But if something <laughs> were to happen, <laughs> All right, yeah. Yes or no? Yes or no? What about you? Yes or no? <laughs> if we're married, no. Like I, okay. like she said, I'll pay the water bill. I'll help out. But no. The main we're okay. married. No. I feel like the guy should pay that. All right. So one girl would be okay. Oh, we didn't ask you. If you're married to a man, would you want to pay the significant amount of bills, or or a portion? Um, I would help out. Like, I would be willing to if, like, he needed me to and whatnot. Well, preferably? Preferably? No. Nope. Okay. And, and that's okay, because when we've asked women this, most women say they don't want to pay significant bills. They'll pay maybe a water bill, light bill here. But, like, when it comes to mortgage, big expenses, they don't want to pay that. So, yeah. I mean, you're the one that's okay with the 50-50. Um, Mike, check. Productions. <laughs> buy a dog. Wait, oh, it uh, goes, uh, buy a dog, die alone, hit, <laughs> hit the taps, effect, Myra, I know you guys are fucking hilarious, bro. Wow. All right, uh, to the lady next to Fresh, only one egg can fertilize, I think it means one, one sperm, can fertilize the egg. Having more partners will not ha have her get more children with better genes. Bio 101 for you. Well, the sperm has to compete, so that's like survival of the fittest. Oh, my God. But he busts a bunch of sperm in her. Yeah, but if you're sleeping with multiple men, then that's multiple sperm with different genes. At the same time, same man. like at the same exact time. They yeah, are but most girls don't want to have a gangbang run on them. I'm not saying, so I'm not saying at all that it's but... ideal. I'm just, I was just using your argument for evolutionary biology just giving you the flip side. I'm not saying it's ideal or common. Yeah, but that's, but here's the thing. We got to operate in reality. Women don't want that. And I would argue that there's a bunch of, like, w when women have sex, they have a higher percentage of oxytocin released. And that's for to pair bond with that guy. Mm. Connect. So in other words, like, women experiment, experiments, uh, excuse, excuse me, women experiments the detriments of casual sex far harsher than men do. Yeah, but th there's also men that I have met that argue that, like, they personally find more benefits in having sex with a single partner. Yeah, for sure. I'm not yeah. saying that doesn't exist. But what I am saying is that men are far more capable of being promiscuous without serious consequences than women are. So you're saying you want 10, ten different nuts? No, oh, I'm not saying anything She's about saying just myself. because it's, but here's the thing, just because it's capable doesn't mean it's optimal. One more time. Just because a woman is capable of doing it does not necessarily mean it's optimal. Optimal is one guy, one nut, have a kid with him, not nuts from multiple guys mm. and that was proven when i went around the table and asked the girls are you okay would you prefer one guy or multiple guys yeah so one. just because it's possible doesn't mean yeah like you know what i'm saying like i understand i'm just saying too that even like guys aren't trying to necessarily impregnate all of these women that they're trying to sleep around with you know what i mean so it's like it's not necessarily like clear cut like well, my biology wants me to spread my seed, so I'm going to spread my seed like most of the time i'm sure you're not trying to impregnate these women speak for yourself on accident yeah, but there's still there's still, but here's the thing you can't tie the act of you can't differentiate the act of sex away from like where the biological urge comes from. Does that make sense? Like you're trying to like kind of compartmentalize it to like be like, well, we can separate it. And I'm trying to say you can't separate it because everything that a guy does to get sex is is from a biological hardwiring. There's a biological rooted reason why they're doing the things that they do. All right. Does that make sense? Like, mm -hmm. I see it. You're trying to compartmentalize it to, to make an argument, but you, I'm, my argument is you can't do that. Period. Like, because everything builds upon itself. Having strong offspring, men's sexual biological urges, women's, bi uh, you know, my mating strategy. It all works together in unison to see to to the situation that we're in now when it comes to dating and relationships. You can't you can't separate and compartmentalize it because it doesn't make sense without the other. Any 
Okay. Oh, it makes sense. All right. Y'all went to a whole biological science, all that over there. <laughs> all right, we got all Ben right. Anderson, 20 bucks. Can uh, you do? Go ahead. I got to say, Myron, that was probably your best calm, surgical, to the point explanation of difference in mating strategies you have ever pulled off. Shout out to the respectful disagreement and discourse. Yeah, it's all about it, bro. Uh, Ramon Anderson, perfectly said, Myron, out here smoking these arguments like the Celtics smoking that heat pack. Celtics <laughs> and six, baby. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, Fit is right. I'm the only single guy amongst all my friends, and they love their girl, and they still call me about the streets to live vicariously through me. Damn. That's very true. Yeah, it happens. Damn. A lot of married guys, when I was working as an agent, um, they would tell me, "Oh, bro, tell me about your exploits." You know, the worst ones. Where the holes? Ooh, I got it. Ooh. Yeah. Conscious TV. Uh, you gotta go back. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, if you, if you and your man were being robbed, and you both were to get knocked out, who would you want to get knocked out first? You or him? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit, that's a good question. Him. Really? No, I can't. I can't. I don't want to feel that pain. No, Wait, him. What? Okay, so you want him to get knocked we out first? We just gonna have to jump him. Okay. So the question, ladies, is: uh, if you and your man were being robbed and you were both to get knocked out, who would you want to get knocked out first? You or him? Him. Okay. Him probably because he wouldn't get knocked out like right away. You know. Wait, if me and my man. You and your man are being robbed. Uh -huh. That's a trick question. He's about to go. Yeah, it is. He can protect me. He has a gun, right? The fucking guy shows up. Hey, give me your fucking money. He and then he fucking up. just pistol whips one of you. Oh. Who would you prefer to get knocked out first? You or him? Me. Probably me. Because he better handle that situation. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like he going to get the You? Um, wait, so you're saying that would I want like my man to get hurt first Bro, or me? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Bruh. You just said like, who would you rather get knocked? Do you want to get knocked out? Or do you he want to get knocked out first? I'd rather him get knocked out first because. So you're gonna protect yourself. You gonna beat his ass? Probably get because I wouldn't be able to take it. <laughs> Here, here's a gun for effect. Here's a gun for effect. There you go. All right. Who do you want to get knocked out first? Since we gotta re physically represent this shit for y'all. All right. Him. You want him to get knocked out first? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Who gets knocked out oh, first? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to get knocked out first so he can help me. Help me. Okay. Help me. What about what about you? Him, but we're gonna both get knocked out anyways. You want him to get knocked out first? Yeah. Okay. So aggressive. What about I'm... you? <laughs> so aggressive. Um, honestly, fifty fifty. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Oh, I'm... fifty fifty again. Uh -uh. We're both gonna get uh -uh. knocked out. Yes, because out think about it. It depends on the robber. Now, what if the robber is one of those guys? That if so the robber is a feminist? Hey! No, 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 no. What if Bang! he was one of those guys that if you're a female assets you can use against no, him? No, so you suck his dick right there? Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 like you'll just be like, like yo, yo, yo. Hey, don't suck your dick. Just let me pull it out. Pull it out. It's always that one weird dude. I hate that type of pain, so yeah. Listen. You better knock me out no. so my man can hear the head of it. No, you can knock me out first because okay. he need to handle the situation. All right. <laughs> like so, you said. I that. <laughs> okay, real quick. Uh, raise answer. hand of who, who wants their guy to get knocked out first. No, their guy uh, to get knocked out first. The man. The man gets knocked out first. So, not 50-50. I have to. He not said the man girl. get knocked out. The man gets knocked out first. You literally just said you get knocked out first. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't listening. Down. So you want your man to get knocked out first. You want your man to get knocked out first. Who else? You, three, four. You were 50-50. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. You want your guy to not get knocked out first, too. Well, I think anybody... Wouldn't you want anybody to oh. get knocked out before you? The yeah, same, that's why right, the, the same answer you're going to yeah, say, okay, knock me out. But reality, who thing. wants to feel that pain? All right, well, yeah, okay, the reality is, I, I, I don't know why. Damn. You don't yeah. know that. You're still going to feel it either you way. Know that. No, no offense, ladies. You stupid. That wanted you to get, your guy to get knocked out first. If you get, if he gets knocked out first, you can't defend yourself against a male robber, bro. You can't. He's going to take it. He's going to take you. The number one go to the rule in the hood is, listen, you, somebody rob you, no, give it up. No, you want to get knocked out first so that your man can defend you. Listen, exactly. the reality is, I don't yeah, want to feel exactly. that pain. It sounds, that, it sounds, I just feel like, I'm going to take you for the team. I can't, gonna, I don't want to get gonna hit. You're going to feel, you're, you're going to feel worse pain if he can't defend you. You're going to die. Getting knocked out is better than getting knocked out permanently. What if he takes him? What if he don't kill me? What if he just takes me? He knows I'm sweet, so he just take it and keep going. All right. We're gonna keep going. I'll take that. Uh, I think that was a good. I think that was a good uh, question. It, it really revealed. It was <laughs> like what? It, like you, you could tell which girls like think they can fight a guy off, and then which girls. No, we're not trying to fight nobody off. Yeah, I know I can't fight. Exactly. I'm saying he probably. Just so then, why would you want to be in the position where you have to defend you and him now? You didn't say no. Like, like if, him. maybe when they were not, if they're knocking him out, like, oh, man. run or something. 
Girl. Defend but, your man, girl. You what if that female has a skill that they just saying safe and sound? Let's keep going. just saying safe and sound. Let's just keep going. All right, PL Myron, do you think a fair compromise would be your girlfriend has a private Instagram and you have full access to her profiles? Her boyfriend, her password can go through her DMs at any time. Yo, bro, it's up to you what you're willing to, uh, you know, compromise on. That's up to you. It's not up to me. Addy is the only woman on the panel that would be a good mother. West Park and the others will end up settling for men they don't like. Okay. I rebuke that. All right. Women are still advertising for a better man on IG while in a relationship. Why would a guy ever wife that? She is, is it committed? Why should he? Okay. Shout out to FNF Road to a million, 20 bucks. Uh, Dollface TV. Shout out to you, Dollface. Uh, Richie, 20 bucks. Thank you so much. West Park Rich demeanor is too unattractive. Okay. Uh, anybody have anything they want to say back to him? I don't even understand, but let's West get it. It's about me. Hey there. Oh, your name is West Park. Okay. That's not my name, but oh, you know, that's, that's where I work. Are. No. Oh. All right. Uh, man wants significance. If you make yourself insignificant, then the man see you lesser. You no longer are significant to him. You are giving yourself to the world. Should be giving intimate photos to him. We aren't your man. Okay. Uh, Richie, it's so crazy that women would rather keep an app over having the man of their dreams. Majority of women are much happier with a man and kids. This world is sick. Eh, it is what it is, bro. Uh, Jay Hardbody Fop. Shout out to Myron for keeping KS's message live. Traditional value trumps modern. Can I get a, I'm a PhD. I got you, my friend, right now. Uh, I'm a PhD. Okay, and then what else do we got? Um, NBA Mastermind. The side girl gets the D and the ride in the Lambo. The low-key ladies get the house, kids, and a trip when I go on vacation. Men move in silence, okay? Oh. Rena Arthur. Ladies, I'll go in 304 category when guys see y'all with half naked pics on Instagram. And I'm, what he means is like smash only category. And a man will stop doing uh, something because he loves you, not vice versa. You'll stop doing something if you respect him. Okay, that's true. Bougie, stop selling Section 8 merchandise. Okay. G5 ain't getting married by 29. I got a stack on it. You have anything you want to say back to him? Watch. All right. Uh, yo, FNF fam in the streets walking chameleon. It's crazy how you re refuse to see the consequences of your actions. You LARP a Disney queen, but move and act like a 304 thought creature in your prime as a mating partner. Damn. What the fuck is this that? What are you talking about? I don't know. Huh? Okay. Had to support today, Myron, is on point more than usual today. Teach these 304s. Okay. The thinker. Ooh. AL, uh, when men ask, what do you bring to the table? It has nothing to do with your income. It has everything to do with how you can add value to his life other than your use box. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, can Salma Hayek shorty next to Myron cook? I think he's talking about you. Can you cook? All right. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> that was, that was, that was a no, well, What's your favorite maybe dish? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I mean... The test. I can do the test. What's my favorite dish? Yeah. Like to make? Yeah, yeah, to make. I need the ingredients. All right. Pasta. Oh, the God, easy that's cook. the easiest thing. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right, but it's my favorite, but I'm not going to lie. It's my favorite, but I can cook rice, steak, chicken. Boil water. You say you're Spanish. You don't know how to make rice. Nice. And gocho. Right. You mean like a rice soup? And beans? Those rice, yeah, I know how to make rice and beans. Uh, okay, All right. that's pretty. We easy. got uh, <laughs> Master Mustache. Yeah, go ahead. Twenty fresh. bucks. Um, her BF must be a beta, beta simp. Okay, <laughs> Alexander. Do you have anything you want to say back to that? I mean, he's definitely not beta simp, but okay, he's pretty cool. <laughs> all right <laughs> all right lucas 100 bucks 11 year marriage turned down two three uh two threesomes countless girls and still got cheated on and divorced my wife god damn bro that sucks <laughs> just because we watch and can agree to what is being said doesn't mean we don't have our own thoughts and opinions stop trying to invalidate our views because you don't agree with what is being said okay uh 20 bucks fractal rise on women what do m men want what do men want Men, more women, that's not true. Okay, what he's trying to say is that I, I told you what men want, and then you're like, that's not true. Which is why he's laughing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it, like, guys are telling you what they want, and you're like, no, that's not true. Not all guys want multiple girls, you know? Uh, and then we got here, tell her about the minorities analogy with guys who stroke the corn. We talked about that already. Girl Next to Fresh is arguing for the patriarchy, which treated, created monogamy so that society could function. Womanism has changed the dating game with these three or fours going around and the chat catching on. Okay, Alexander Chalmajikin. Uh, if you don't want your man to cheat, add a second girl you know personally to the relationship to boss babes from future chads. Okay. No. Nah. No? Okay, you guys are not sharing. Uh, Joshua Kimber, great panel tonight, ladies. Our brains are physically hardwired oppositely, so we can never think the same and want the same things. Pay attention to what has been said all night. Once you realize that, you will be happy. It's very true. We're very different. Very true. Our, 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 we're adversarial in what we want. Women want security. Guys want abundance of women. 
Uh, girl next to Fresh can't take the L. Whoever is dating her right now, save yourself a headache, brother. Take the door. <laughs> you have anything you want to say back to NBA Mastermind? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's really suffering. That's why he's still with me, but I'll let him know the advice. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's probably watching the show right now, deleting all his internet browser's history. Yeah. <laughs> like, she gonna check my porn sites. God damn it! Facts. Please skip this debate. Myron is good goaded. Go okay. Uh, game shooter two, three, four, five F, uh, uh, for the win. Started hitting the gym in December and officially lost forty pounds. Stay motivated and keep improving, everyone. Okay. Uh, I do love me some boiled toast. Chick next to fresh. Holla at me. Oh my god. Aww. I do make good toast. Boiled toast. Okay. Protect Question TV. Boyfriend. Would you respect the guy after seeing him get knocked out? Real quick. Would you respect your man the same if you saw him get knocked out? Yes or no? Let's keep it a thousand right here with you first. No. Okay. That's fine. Nope. What about you? No. Thank God she didn't say 50 50. Nope. All right. What about you? Right. No. Nope. Yes. Honestly, because. Stop it, the cap. No, it just, it just depends. Like, if you, like, what's the situation? But this is yes or no. I'm not to the mic again. I'm sorry. It's, it's simple. Yes or no? Well, I respect him. Yes. If he's my man and I already have respect for him, then yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'll still respect him. I'm the, I'm I'm gonna be like, damn, but I respect him. Well, it's okay, baby. Come on. Come damn, on. but I ain't fucking though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't All fucking right, another guy. Low key, behind the scenes, I'm looking at him differently a little bit. Like, damn, nope. he got knocked down. Let's go to the gym. Can you repeat it one more time? I'm sorry. If you watch your boyfriend yeah. get knocked down in front of you, would you respect him the same? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stop the cap. Uh, all right, where are we at? No, we don't. All right, caught up. Jokes cool. Actually, uh, that's mm -hmm. one last one. Uh, Cole Epps, Rod Eric document the meetup, bro. Okay. Guys, this is the last episode uh, until uh, next this Monday. Week? We're going to be in Texas on Friday until uh, yeah. Sunday. And um, yeah, I mean, this is a great episode. Once again, shout out everyone on the panel here. And um, last thoughts? Yeah, sure, thoughts? do it. Yep. Chris, what are you? <laughs> All right, girls. Last thoughts of of the show. Oh, um, it was awesome. Yeah, it was cool. awesome. Chris wants to end the show. Yeah, we have to. Oh, looking for Freshy. Hey, Fresh man. Freshy wants to end the tour, bro. He just he doesn't want hey, to play. Hey, man. Chris, he wants to end the show. Hey, so I'm like, All right. He just wants to play. Chris, no, Chris uh, no last thoughts. I'm like, All right. Was Chris Brown? Actually? Now, you know what? Now, okay, ladies, we're going to turn it to y'all. If you have a question or a comment or a disagreement or anything, we'll turn it to y'all. This will be your chance. We'll start. Well, whoever wants to go first. Me, me, me. All Was right, Chris ahead. Brown actually watching? Oh, my God. No, that's not Chris Brown. Okay, I have a question. And, um, um, Back to like the alpha female. I got y'all, Chad. Don't worry. Bro, sometimes I feel like merch. Us women sometimes are a little brainwashed to think that we should be this powerful and stuff like that because we was raised by a strong woman and certain things like that. And I'm not even gonna lie. I can admit when I'm just like, okay, let me get my shit together because I want a man to lead. And that's that's some what you said. I've actually already like kind of heard. So it's something I've been working on with trying not to consider myself an alpha female because that's not attractive like that's not that's honestly not a strong woman yes that's very very attractive but actually considering yourself a full-blown alpha female i'm not manly i'm very fucking girly and i love to get dressed up Plus, but i hit the gym so some people think that about me because how i look in the gym but um, but yeah, but just back on that, um, you know, we sometimes as women are really brainwashed to think that we should be alpha for females when we shouldn't, we shouldn't. You're absolutely right. We just, you know, have to be strong women, but very submissive still, you know, we can't just be like, you know, every time <sighs> you're totally right. You're totally right. Let me, all right. Let me get my uh, shit together. <laughs> anybody, anybody else comment, question, concern, disagreements on anything that we discussed today? No. I just want to say thank you so much for like having me on. Um, I just think that it would be really cool if like we could. I think it's awesome that you guys are encouraging men to become the best versions of, of themselves. I think it would be cool if we could do that and also uplift women at the same time and like make them feel good about themselves at the same time. <laughs> not, I'm not saying oh, trying dying. to be a backhanded compliment. Just like <laughs> the difference is, is that see, I, I like what you said. Sounds great on paper, but so does communism, and we know how that ended up. So what I've come to realize is that women don't like to take criticisms well. They're taught, accept me for how I am. This is how you're going to get it. I'm not going to self-improve. Because girls get attention and validation no matter what happens. With men, though, it doesn't operate that way. Guys have to self-improve. They don't have a choice. A girl could be fat, obnoxious, and rude and still walk into a bar and walk out with a dude. Guy can't do that. 
So women don't feel the need to self-improve a lot of the times. And if you don't believe me, look at the Sports Illustrated cover. There's a reason why we put fat women on magazine covers, but we'll never put a fat man on a magazine cover. Mediocrity is accepted within women. It's not accepted within men. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I just think it would be cool if we could all just like support one another rather than like. How about you make your own podcast? <laughs> yeah, uplifting. Here's one. the thing about because exactly. uh, because there's a bunch of podcasts that uplift women, and, and and unfortunately, when you uplift women, you have to lie to them to uplift them a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. You know, That's right? Because to uplift, you must sell them some false bullshit. You know, and the thing is, is that we tell women the truth. We don't lie over here. We're like, yo, listen, bro. You're fat or you're kind of bitchy or you're obnoxious. That's why you can't get a guy. That's why guys don't want to take you seriously, whatever. Your past matters. When we say these things, it comes off as, you know, misogynistic or whatever. But we're just telling you guys what men look for when they're looking to take a woman seriously. Just that guys can't do it. I, so. I, I hear you. I just respectfully disagree. So this is their platform to share. What, 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 what part do you disagree with? The fact that they don't need to be uplifted or that it's a lie to uplift women. I think that we uplift women a lot already in society. And where's that gotten us? I, I think anybody who believes in themselves and is like lifting themselves up is being kinder to themselves is a good thing. I but, don't... We, but we already, that's what I'm trying to say. Mainstream media already uplifts women a lot. Okay. This is I don't the think only place on, on the internet where men are uplifted. Yeah, bring, bring them back to reality. Great. No, I think it's so, incredible so you, that so, you're uplifting So you want us men. to also put the mainstream media in our platform to make you feel good no i don't think you have to do anything to you, make anyone feel you good. just said that i just think it, you don't have to. three days i think the not the only <laughs> way days. to lift up men is to put women down who's putting women down saying. how did we put women down we just told not the putting truth women down just like i think I, i'm just saying that we can all learn from each other that's it but everyone has their own opinions True. as well. Well, here's the thing. I mean, we we already mainstream media already uplifts women. I would argue to a ridiculous amount where they're almost delusional. Um, we don't tell women the truth at all. Here's the cold hard facts: one in four women walks around on antidepression or anti anxiety medication. We have the highest rates of single women than ever before. The divorce rates are at the highest they've ever been. Women initiate eighty percent of the divorces. Uh, Women are reporting lower levels of happiness since the 1970s. Since feminism has started, as women have made more money, become more and more successful, they've had reported higher levels of unhappiness. So I think we uplift women a lot. But why are the happiness and life approval ratings still going down? Because we lie to them. We don't tell them the truth. You need to lose weight. You need to start being more feminine. You need to stop being annoying. Your college degree doesn't matter. To lock down a guy, you need to be submissive, friendly, and fit. Being fat with a degree and obnoxious does not make you more attractive to men. And men, you know, they vote with their actions. And the, and the actions are showing very clear. Men are walking away from marriage and relationships. We have the lowest birth rates ever recorded. These are facts. This is not me disputing, you know, anything. So this is what happens when you uplift women like we do right now in modern day society. We lie to them and we don't tell the uncomfortable truths that I just mentioned now. And I know it's uncomfortable to have this conversation, but this is the truth. This is where we're at now. When you lie, women buy. Women are also 80% of the consumer base. I just think that there's a lot of happy people in happy relationships. For and sure. They might not meet any of these ideals, but they're because relationships are all I'm saying is relationships are these things that we're talking about are certainly aspects of relationships, but yeah. they're way deeper than that. She so I think body. that like three hours. She lives <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. What is this countdown? He's <laughs> uh, saying how long you would live if like the power went out. Uh, no, no. no. Um, I mean, I get what you're saying, but my argument is that this uplift culture, this politically correct culture, this uh, this society that we're in, where we're afraid to offend each other, I say fuck that. I understand. Both, both I genders agree. need to self improve. Women are too fat, obnoxious, and rude. Men are fucking pussies. Both genders need to self-improve. The I women agree. are too goddamn masculine. The men are too goddamn submissive and feminine. Pussy. And we need to change mm -hmm. things and make things better because it's not working right now. Like, relationships are in the shitter. And to be honest with you, women lose when because women are the ones that want relationships. Women are the ones that want marriage. And that's what's been plummeting. Yeah, I think that I absolutely agree that we shouldn't be afraid to speak our opinions. <laughs> Two ever. minutes. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just think that 
you sometimes like just because you have an opinion it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the truth well everything that's i stated just now is fact <laughs> it was like, all right well the divorce yeah. rates the numbers the the anxiety <laughs> like all of that you know the medication rates all of that that's all fact <laughs> and this is a product of modern day society now where we're uplifting women right they've gone fatter and sadder Battered, and, yeah, and just because the truth isn't negative or positive doesn't mean it's still not no. true. The truth will set you free Thanks, and it will hurt. I think personally, I think uplifting women is the worst thing you could do. You need to tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. gonna get if you're a loser, you're a fucking loser. Just like I tell men, you're a loser, you're a fucking loser. You need to tell women they're losers too. The problem is that when you criticize women, it's meant as mean or shaming or rude or misogynistic. No, because it's women realistic. Are more emotional. Yeah, but then when women have Nine this like, tough it's exterior, the truth, then you complain when, saying she's not, she's not when, seductive. When women have what you said? When they build this tough exterior because men want to bash them all Penis. day. What? Mike. Mike. Oh, I said when men want to bash them all day and they build this tough exterior, then you complain saying they're not sit like you know they're not submissive and they don't want to like devote themselves to a man and this and that and the third. But when you have men bashing them, it's like you build a fence almost like you're in defense mechanism because men always have something to say. I feel like nowadays sure. men want to play the female role. They want up, they want appraisal for absolutely every single little thing. And female is, females are building more independence because of the fact that really, I don't see guys walking around saying I'm strong and independent. Men want their roses. They come. I feel like I've seen that multiple times. They I would argue female, women are more female vocal. Female things. Women are far more vocal about being strong, independent, having careers, making money True. than men are. Men understand that's just a prerequisite to be a man. But when women make money and become independent, they want to let everybody know. We have songs about it. Yeah. Let me know when Future makes a song saying I'm strong and independent. But I definitely know Destiny Child, Beyonce, all them, all the single ladies, strong and independent. Blah blah blah. I got. I pay my own bills. Women make sure to let everyone know when they're independent. When a man makes money, he thinks about what he could provide for his wife. When a woman makes money, she thinks about being independent of a man. That's the difference. I feel like that's in the new era, though. Like March. The whole this has been going on since the two early, since the nineties, two thousands. I don't want no scrub. Oh, this guy <laughs> get no bad, love for Boosie me. Boosie Badass had one too, but he was talking about a female. I N D. Well, that Webby and Boosie. Yeah, because that's how you sell records exactly. when you when you appease the female ego. Women yep. are eighty percent of the consumer base. That's a fact. The hip hop sure. market understands you need to market to women to sell records. Mm -hmm. yep. that's why these pyramid schemes women be getting caught up so, on and broke I mean I get what you're saying you build up a tough exterior because men are blah 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 but at the end of the day who chooses to build out that tough exterior yeah but like I said like you said you gotta deal with the consequence of your actions if I decide to wear a dress should I be mad that women don't want to date me no hmm. yeah. huh? I mean yeah I mean you shouldn't be I mean you decide Scotland to wear a dress no 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 <laughs> if I decided I'm gonna wear a dress and act like a woman and get mad when girls reject me whose fault is that yours Thank you. That's so if you build up an exterior and you become masculine, whose fault is it? It's not about a fault, though. It's about what just is <laughs> no. natural. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I if you're con though. like, it's, con it's you're not natural for a woman to be masculine at all. It's natural for a woman to build a fence up because of no, men that's a brainwash. Because, like I said, that's that's really brainwash it. Like, I can attest to that so much. And I've been, oh, I've been attest, I can attest to that, that so Okay, go ahead. Um, Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, that's a brain. That's literally brainwashed because really, we're we're honestly not even supposed to be like that. Though. I feel like the only reason Arch. I'm like that is because of what I've been through. You know, just getting myself to a certain place, moving me, somewhere. Ladies, let me just stop y'all real quick. The world doesn't owe you understanding. You make I your know. decisions, and the world reacts accordingly. If you become masking because of your background or whatever else, and you've been through some adversity. I get it. I'm not demonizing you for it, but you can't expect a man to accept you the way you come. If adapt you come. or die. He wanted you. That's what it comes came. down to. Adapt or die. If I so if true. I went through some shit, right? Let's say I went through some shit and I decide, you know what? I want to cross dress every now and then. And girls decide they don't want to date me. I can't get mad at the world for not accepting me as how I, how I come. But why is it that women go through some adversity? They become masculine or whatever. Men don't want to date them, and then they blame the men. You can't blame the men. No one owes you understanding. No one owes you a, a a violin and, oh, my God, that sucks. Let me hear your problems. No one yeah. gives a fuck about your problems. True. Men understand this. Women don't, however. We should feel sorry for you guys or whatever. You made the decision to become a certain way and to, as, as, a, you know, as, a, as a reaction to your reality. I get that. I'm not saying that it doesn't suck. But what I am saying is that why should a man have to forego what he wants in a woman for you? 
Because I know damn well if we switched it the other way around and that guy was a victim of his circumstances and he was a bum or maybe he wasn't that attractive, y'all would have no problem rejecting him. Mm -hmm. It's just that when the shoe's on the other foot and the man is in a position to pick, women don't like it when they don't get picked. But you have no problem not picking men. Couldn't you argue, though, that like, oh, a oh. woman who is independent and maybe in some areas has these masculine traits in her business, now that she fills that void within herself, now she has the space to actually be the wife that can actually support you because she's filled her own cup. So now her cup is overflowing and she can fill that into supporting you as her man because she has taken care of herself in that sense. Three seconds. People that, are, that sounds great, but A-type personality people don't compromise. <laughs> That's like you're saying, hey, uh, a lion that eats vegetables. It doesn't work that way. When you're a go-getter, you're a go-getter all the time. You're A-type personality. You work all the time. You bust your ass. Like You're not going to just like give up your business and your life's work for a man. You're going to want that guy to conform to you. But here's the problem. A dominant assertive man going to look at you? Fuck that. I'm building my empire. Fuck you. I'm going to go replace you with a chick that's younger and better than you that's going to go on my journey with me. These are facts. All right. Men lead, women follow. That's just the way it is. That and is dominant fair. men are not going to sit there and conform to you. You have to conform to him. And if you don't want to conform, fantastic. Comply or goodbye. That's a fact. Okay. That is fact. That's all I'm saying. All right. Anything else? All right, cool. You in a row, huh? <laughs> nah, it's not even that. It's just like, it's just like, I, Come. You right. find I'm, just, away everything, I'm just telling y'all the truth, the man. The truth. Everything. I, I know it sucks to hear it like that, no. but that's what it is. We need to hear it. Mm -hmm. It's fine. You'll, you'll, you'll find a guy. Just just be willing to share him. Uh, all right. Uh, honestly, I can't stand how the men that send super chats always write, oh, poor grammar. Come on, guys, sign up. It's probably because YouTube has trigger words. Um, Top only. Question for ladies. Two guys DM you. One makes 100K with no car. The other makes 60K with a car. Who would you go on a date with and potentially smash? Answer. Car. All right. Raise your hand for the guy. No raise your hand for the guy that was has 100K with no car. 100K with no car. He can have a car whenever he wants. Yeah, exactly. Right. He got a car. Why he ain't got a car? Right. Think smarter, not harder. It looks like it looks like 50-50. Probably a boss. Right. Okay. Transportation is no problem. So it looks like 50-50. Majority of women are on Lexapro, antidepressant medication. Uh, I just think, bruh, let it go. Okay, that's from Doctor Mo, and that's from Ban, and I think we're caught up. Yep. Cool. Yo, guys, there's ten thousand y'all in here, man. Do me a favor, like, like the, the video, video. Sub to the channel. Some losing hair follicles here. Thanks to Miss ASU from Arizona. Uh, what's wrong with men wanting their roses though? Men are treated like crap in today's society. So what's wrong with actually building and uplifting the men that you want to take care of you and build the infrastructure you need? Anything you want to say back to that? I feel like there's no issue giving men their roses. I feel like men nowadays March. want roses for the bare minimum. Like, like what? Like what? I oh. just, the bare minimum. Like, I just feel like the average March. things men are supposed to do. So like. let's say, take out the trash. Oh. Okay, let's say, I just take you on a like take you on a regular date. It like, is the little things that matter though. It is the little things that matter, but I feel like when you present yourself in the beginning. Your watch. Shit again. I'm so sorry. When you present Stupid. yourself in the beginning, you're presenting your best self and I feel like if you're just going to if you want me to say like, "Oh my god, like you want me to be a simp over you taking me out to dinner or you want me to just throw myself on you, you taking me out to dinner." Like that's just the bare minimum to me. Okay. Oh, that's true. Shoot, spending uh, time. That's that's. I mean, right, what's what's your opinion? I I mean, I don't think that's necessarily wanting rose. I'm talking about from like a societal standpoint. Like women are far more vocal about getting validation for their accomplishments than men are. Like when a woman is strong and independent or a doctor, or whatever, she mm -hmm. wants to let everybody know, yeah, I made it, and I'm a woman. I don't know, because men be, be doing this. all the money stuff and all showing flashy money, money. Oh, yeah, man. grills and jewelry. And, and they, a lot of men do stuff to shit for on, women. When they get money, they try to shit on us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, but, but they do that to attract I mean, women. Sure. There's yeah. a difference. That like like we, like we like Men do that because women like guys that are assholes that have money. Yeah, true. They do it to attract. And to smash when, women do it to like kind of look at me, give me validation. I'm strong and independent. Yeah, they don't care. No, they know we look at that it. is exactly what it is. You be okay. All right, fair enough. Anything else? Nope. All right, last thoughts? No, no, no we're good. First favorite part. Last thought. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Good. You don't want last thoughts? All right, go ahead, Fresh. Last thoughts on the show. How's the show for you? Hate it, love it. Any comments? It was cool. I'm glad that we can have like 
conversations. She wants to uplift women, arguing. guys. We'll do it. Don't worry. I'll no. uplift them by telling them the truth. Shut the podcast. Personality is on point. <laughs> Making them strong. <laughs> Making them strong. Anything else? Is your boyfriend? Sorry. <laughs> Say it. Go ahead. What? You already said. No, it. I was gonna ask. Is your boyfriend big bone? No. Or like, big is bone? he skinny? I don't think there's bone? actually anything <laughs> such <laughs> thing. As big bone. I'm sorry, not big bone, because the bones don't grow. Is he yeah. big? I'm just. I'm is so he, used th- to like th- th- very bad <laughs> habit slang. Is she's saying is he fat? Flesh, like thick. She's saying thick. is your boyfriend fat? No, he's like a average size, like six two. What is that? Like just like in shape, I guess. I don't know. Like in shape. He's skinny. Chris what? asked that question oh, by the way. Yeah. Behind he the scenes. works out too. He's in good shape. Okay. 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 Don't worry. <laughs> ah, interesting. More survival t- traits that he has. <laughs> Three <laughs> seconds. That he likes. I mean, he might. He. Wonder he if that's tied to your biology as a woman. You be working out with him? I'm sorry, I'm just going. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, that's dope. Okay, you know, that's fucking dope. I love it. You gotta, you gotta be in she there. She capped, she don't work out with him. No, <laughs> yeah, we're just do. like, don't yeah. be, we do. You get up in there every, with him every, uh, every right. day. So, question. Sorry. Um, what do you provide for your boyfriend currently? Oh, Me? Yeah, that's you. Um, I provide a lot of. I would say like Arguments? emotional support. Oh, okay. He's what? like building his <laughs> business. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> Chris. So he's building his business up so she emotionally supports him. Okay. So he gets my. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I guess a, somebody to spend time with, enjoy time with, to learn from each other. Okay. And to provide like a safe space to have a connection with someone. It's cool. That's oh, man. Chris, you're the one that asked the question, That's bro. Exactly. He <laughs> laughing while she's trying to talk. All right, go ahead. Chris, what's you're the one that asked the question, bro. She said emotional support for his business, man. What's your rebuttal to that? Uh, <laughs> I mean, if all right, so if a guy has a business, right? It's like what emotional support he needs. Like for example, if I have a business, what do you? Uh, for example, I come home, I work, I'm tired, I'm frustrated. What can you provide me as emotional support? Well, he can like talk to me about issues that he's having, and he's I gonna can... be hungry. Yeah. First, first and <laughs> thank you. I need my food cook. first. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> Let her finish her point. Okay, okay. All right, go ahead. Don't jump on her. We're we are we do things for each other. Like we, you know, do things. To, and sometimes I will cook him a meal. Sometimes he'll get me flowers. Sometimes he'll, he'll buy me a meal. It's not we don't live together because we like live in different places. But we just. Oh, support- he's not here in Miami. No, I don't. Li- I live in New York City. Okay. Yeah. And he's there in New York City with you too. He's in Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. All right, Chris. You want to ask the question, bro? No, I mean, uh, it's only been seven months, so I'll see you in three months. <laughs> oh, you saw this nigga, bro. Okay, <laughs> All right. be a good sport. I'll send you a selfie. All right, All right no problem. You remind me of the baby, bro. I don't know why <laughs> the rapper, the baby. You sound like him. You kind of look oh, like him a little bit, female yeah. version. Really? I'm waiting for you to punch you say somebody. You <laughs> <laughs> but Go the ahead. question was about the show, right? Yeah, last thoughts, comments, que- I mean, it was whatever. Cool. Last I, thoughts, yeah. I thought it was going to be crazy at first. I really thought it was going to be crazy. I thought you was going to be, ooh, but nah. you, you, you're so smart. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Cool. Really I'm not that uh, asshole on TikTok or whatever they all thought. Yeah, you all right. I like how you think. Yeah, see, they take the clips out of context and make it look wild. Yeah, hey, they, anyways, they do. Yeah, I'm, I'm an asshole, I guess, allegedly. <laughs> yeah, the show was pretty good. Okay. Are you going to cut, cut, uh, lower your standards a little bit? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, all right. Uh, six foot three guys that make a lot of money hit her up, guys. All right. And you better be loyal to only her because she is not going to share you sexually. <laughs> you know, yo, guys, four. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, I thought it was a good show. Thanks for having me again. Um, I always. You're the deflection queen. The what? You're the deflection queen. You're like, well, wait, where? Do you have a girlfriend with multiple? I was like, what, the, what does because that have to do with Sometimes, you know, it's nice to know, like, your side of experience, you know? I mean, does it really... If I you say, ask us ours. I mean, if, if I say one plus one is two, are you going to ask me, are you a mathematician? What? That has, I don't think that has anything to do Thank with... Thank you. It doesn't. <laughs> no question. Do you have a girlfriend? Point. Huh? you have a girlfriend? I will just about it. Multiple. Many. Ooh. Both of y'all do? Many. Both? Both? I'm a no man of comments. I'm a man of God. Yeah. That, oh, no, oh, not in quiet. This is crazy. Not, hey, man. Do they have Instagram? Don't cheat. Now he quiet. No, 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 cheat. You got it. I'm yeah. Yeah. All right. Right. But yeah, that, I mean, cheat. yeah. <laughs> you proved my point just a second ago with that mathematician thing, but it's fine. Anything else you want to say? Um, great show. No? Okay. Great, 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 great show. Okay. You still have a female? 
No, no, I'm you taking it out. I'm taking it out of my body. You Thank know, that's you. some toxic. That's some toxic stuff that I honestly picked up from my ex. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. And he ch- he kept telling me, "You are alpha female. You are alpha female." Like, da-da-da. oh, that was insult the whole time. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> oh, shit. Bas- oh, shit. So, oh, question: no. Did you uh break up with him or vice versa? I chose my career over him. He was trying to change me yeah, and exactly. get me to be certain things that I had to. <laughs> I had to. Because I wasn't moving to New York. Because and... you're awful. Mm. You said what? Because you're awful. No, it's it's not that. I mean, it wasn't even a potential marriage even there. He was trying to change me too much, and I started to resent him. So mm-hmm. okay. Interesting question. Did he make more money than you? There you go. There's the answer. Mm. There's the answer. Honestly? Yeah. I, I mean, if we talk about, like, consistent money, I was, I was doing that because I'm, yeah. I'm a tattoo artist. But... Yeah. Being a social media influencer, you can only get paid when they actually certain people pay you. So there's, I don't know. There's the answer right there. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. The problem is that he wasn't able to provide you the security that you were looking for. So why are you going to take a plunge with someone that isn't even sure of their future? You're actually absolutely right. What did I say in the beginning of the podcast? Men want a woman with a without a past. Women want a man with a future. You're right. Y'all be confirming the truth all the time for me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, what about you? Last thoughts? You didn't say much. Oh, is she here? I didn't. God damn. <laughs> it's okay. Who's keeping her company? Okay. Um, I love the show. I feel like I learned a lot about the male side. Okay. And I'm not going to lie. At one point, I felt like deleting my Instagram real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're single right now, right? I am. Yeah. So yeah, when I'm not single, I'm definitely going to take that into consideration. <laughs> I sure okay. am too. Or at least hide the pictures that, you know, yeah. well, revealing the kind of art, you know, pottery yeah. and Talk with your boyfriend and, you know, hey, what do you think about so, this profile? Yeah. So we archive. We know a girl, You'll right? really appreciate that. Trust me. <laughs> we know a girl that actually watched the show. And when she got a match, she hit all her, she archived all, all her pictures. When she's single, she puts it back up. <laughs> so, wait, which one? See, that's smart. Like, tell me after. Or, or wait, unless you want it. No, you no, know. let's not put her on blast. Okay. No, yeah. Say it. <laughs> nah, nigga. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. <laughs> Do it. Nah. Do it. <laughs> all right. Miss ASU? Oh, man. <clears throat> um, this was something that i already knew but really it was yeah okay so yeah this is good just to be a reassure uh, it was actually reassuring. Was good reassurance for my knowledge like how i think so i'm not wrong okay shout cool. out to you just whatever you do don't write a book worst Stop. storyteller i've ever had on the show <laughs> by far even though the other girls like you know what's funny i looked at all y'all faces and none of y'all knew what the hell she said and i have to say it yo you're a terrible storyteller and then died? you guys started smiling I'm and laughing sorry. yo you guys prove my points all the time <laughs> women can't be honest with each other no did i was waiting she get no. it out and when she was done i was going to ask oh, her I was yeah, because y'all, y'all all too me so y'all did not ask me yo you guys did not ask questions until i made a joke and said you're a fucking terrible storyteller that's what you guys felt comfortable that, that's when you guys feel comfortable to finally ask her questions to actually figure out what the hell is going on. How familiar rules to us. When they talk to you, be quiet. I was just on some get to all the right. point. Mm. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> None of y'all knew the story because all you guys asked a bunch of follow-up questions to try I to said understand. I was you lost, basically had to break the ice. How when did she finish? Yeah, because I'm like, when well, everyone's looking at me and like especially me, I'm like, oh my god, everyone's so I, I like it's like right. right now. Usually it's I don't do this. Like, I usually speak proper to <laughs> others. Like, oh, don't be shy. Girl. Okay, <laughs> you're just a sucky storyteller. Fantastic. No. Just own it. What about you? Oh, thank you for having me. This was an amazing experience. Cool. And yeah, I. This conversations were really, you know, I learned a lot. Open. <laughs> Cool. I'm glad you guys had a good time. I know we had some disagreements or whatever it may be, but you know, was, I think this was a great show, conversations. Man. Yeah, this is a very good show. And there's 9,000 plus y'all in here. Like the fucking video. And we got a uh, Nevik 20 bucks says, want some evolution sense? Google why men's a word that is close to docs are shaped the way they are. Works like a shovel to extract other men's seed. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Dicks. I think what he means. Oh. I'm confused. Little baby, for watching this. Video. I'm confused. Too. All right. Well, uh, guys, we'll catch you. Uh, we're we're gonna be off air. We'll catch you guys on Monday. Monday. When we get back uh, from Texas, we're gonna go meet the people. Yeah. Uh, shout out to our boy Rod. If you want to see in between, I'll be going live stream on my YouTube channel, Fresh Prince CEO. So I'll, I'll kind of vlog a little bit too as well. Cool. Uh, guys, all the ladies' Instagrams are below. Go ahead and send a dick pics or shoot your shot. We'll catch you guys later. Peace. Peace. All the night.